We are in Texas. Uh, just finished hitting the gym. I was gonna go live in the gym, but honestly, just ran over the fucking curb. Honestly, there was nothing you missed out on. Uh, it was one chick in the gym, but again, the thing that I don't like about Texas is everything is so spread out. It's hard to find a place where everybody's at. Like I said, you can go to Smart Fit in Lima, anywhere in Brazil, and it's packed. To this day, I don't think I've been to unless if it was Planet Fitness. I don't I don't think I've been to a gym and that shit was just like packed. And if it was packed, it was packed with a bunch of dudes. Uh so the gyms might not be the best move while we're in Dallas, cause I don't I don't really see that happening. Now there was like I said, there was a chick in the gym that I good looking chick. Nice body and all that. I don't know, bro. I, I just couldn't I couldn't fix my face to, uh, you know, hey, you know, I, I couldn't do it. And it's not that I don't know how to approach, because you guys have seen me approach. It's just, shit, bro, I got the PTSD. So, right now, we're driving. We got on the black tank top. We got on the black tank top, uh, the success tank top. I should call it the success tank top. So we're gonna try to see if we can find somewhere where some people are at and uh, do some walking. We could go to Uptown Dallas, but man, that shit is a waste. Man, being in the up, I think Dallas, Deep Ellum and Uptown, that shit is so snobby. Uh, at least last time I was here, and it doesn't really seem like it changed too much either, but it's like very snobby. So like trying to talk to people is like asking for too much. So not worth it in Dallas, go back to Brazil. Yeah. He said the Puma shirt not working in the States. I don't know yet. We ain't really tried yet. Uh, I've only been to the gym, so we're gonna, uh, I need to get a prop to put this phone on while it's in the car. But guys, we're gonna stay positive. <laughs> we're gonna stay positive and enthusiastic. My mom and my brother are at home. I'm only gonna be out for a little bit uh, because I got some business to handle at the house. And then uh, from there, you know what it is. I appreciate everybody that's been donating the cash apps. He said, bro, is your main focus in life women? You know what? I'm going to answer you. Uh, yes, you know what? It is. Because that's what you want me to say is yes. So, yes, it is my main focus. My, my hands are ashy. That's my main focus right now is getting some lotion. But guess what? If you're offended by me saying that uh, we're going to go cold approach women, unsubscribe from the channel. This This channel was founded on social issues. If you have a problem with that, watch somebody else's channel. I'm not gonna switch up for you. Promise you I won't. This is what I talk about, take it or leave it. Um. Yeah, man, that's that's what we talk about over here. We talk about women. But no, uh, after today, it is sad, right? Because I'm like, oh, shit, like I need to leave. But I have some, Jesus Christ. I have some friends that want to meet me before I leave town. So I can't just leave because uh, I can't just abruptly just, oh, like, you know, I'm leaving town. I can't do that. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, like after today, depending on how today goes with the approaches, let's say it doesn't work, I'm done. We're just going to do documentaries and uh, discussions and this approach and shit got to stop after that. Because, uh, ugh. But if it works, which I doubt it will, uh, we'll, we'll do, we'll continue. We'll continue. So right now, I think we're going to head to somewhere here in Plano. Yeah, if I get rejected, it doesn't matter. Dallas got some of the baddest women. Uh, it doesn't really seem like it, right? Uh, and I know that we have some beautiful, we have some beautiful women in Dallas. We really do. But when you're here, it doesn't seem like it because the way how the cities and DFW are designed, you want to go to the group, that's fucking journey to get there. You want to go to the club, that's a journey to get there. You want to go to the gym, that's a journey. Everything is so far away and spread out to the point where, like I said earlier, I keep saying this, there's not one place that's like congested versus when you're in Lima, everything is pretty much, man, especially Buenos Aires. Come on, motherfucker, if you're going to go, go. Yeah, especially Buenos Aires. Um, places like that you can walk everywhere so if you can walk everywhere women are walking everywhere most of the women in these other countries can't afford a car so they're gonna walk or ride but so they're gonna be outside versus the over here in dallas is the complete opposite most people can afford a car so most people have cars you know it's kind of odd for you to not it's a huge inconvenience for you to not have a car in dallas so if most people in the cars there's not a lot of people walking around if everything's spread out, uh, where are all the YouTube channels with dudes moving to Dallas for the women then? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, But most of the stuff is all spread out. So it's kind of like, uh, what do you do? You know, you, 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 literally, you literally have to go on a hunt to go look for women. You can't. You know, people be like, oh, just, just meet them organically. Just meet them organically. Bullshit. That's not happening in Dallas. You're not just going to be walking around a grocery store and just bump. Oh, there you go. I mean, you could. But it's not like with these other countries because people are not out in huge groups like they are. It's just not the same, man. So you have to go look. And this is what makes you desperate. <laughs> Because because you're not bumping into them left and right, you can't have the abundance mindset of, oh, there'll be another one. Yeah, fucking right. Let me know when there'll be another one. I would love to know so I can be there too. But uh, you have to, you literally have to go look. You have to go look. You can't, there's no bumping into shit. That's not happening. You have to go look. So that's what we're doing today is looking. And that's just one aspect that we're not even talking about uh, the attitude or the demeanor or the cost of living. That's just one aspect. And what I just described makes it hard by itself. We got a $10 super chat. Uh, greetings, Austin's, and keep up the good work from Tyrone. Thank you very much for the super chat. So yeah, that uh that's what it's like. I got my birth certificate and so now I got to go to the uh state office to get the uh what is the little the thing where you have the the secretary or where they, they put the apostrophe whatever it's called i gotta get them put that i gotta get them to put that on there so i can go back uh to paraguay and apply for my uh residency keep it with me 
then go to uh, Chile and do the same thing. It's basically like getting notarized, yeah, but it's it's a it's a seal that they put on there. So, yeah, it's a seal. So I got to do that. Um, I got to figure out where my other Capital One card is because I have this card, but I forgot I ordered a new one when I was in Kenya. So this card I have doesn't work. I have to go get. They said they mailed another one, so I got to figure out where they mailed it to. Uh, got to get some new bank cards. I just need to go to Bank of America and tell them, like, hey, I need my money back for that shit that happened in Chile. Because they, they gave me my money back, and then they said, oh, you don't have enough evidence that you were actually scammed. So they took the money back. So I need to get my money back, because that was $550 on a damn taxi ride. That's nuts. Ugh. I hate that even happening. But, anyway, uh, it feels like I've never left this place. Like, the ride in the car feels normal. He said, if you're not charismatic and playful, it's going to be hard. Actually, you need more than that. You need to be a god, actually, is what you need to be saying. You need to be a fucking god. You can't, being charismatic and funny is just not enough. Like, that's, that's not enough. I think we're gonna head to Uptown, see what's going on there, uh, get something to eat. be out for maybe two or three hours and then go back to the house yeah being care see being charismatic and funny works just fine like you ha, 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 he you know that's what that's gonna be just fine uh, but yeah there's no amount of laughter you can make somebody laugh if last time I was here that that laughing shit that yeah that uh, that that that, that does nothing charismatic good fucking look Char charisma is creeping here oh anonymous says stay out as long as you can <laughs> Go into uptown, see if the workout clothes. You guys know I've been to, I've been walked around all of South America with my with my gym clothes on, and I got some. Ooh, we look good. Let's see if that happens here. Let's 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 just we're doing a social experiment, you guys. Lots of rich men in Texas. Yeah, and that's another problem too, right? So a lot of these rich men, uh, the charisma does not work for them as well either. So they resort to simping. When they resort to simping, you now get priced out because they're so rich. Well, I guess they ain't so rich, but they're rich and they spend so much money. By the time the chick gets to you, you got to compete with these $300 like this unrealistic shit uh, it's just bullshit man it's, it's really just bullshit like you, you you get priced out quick so what do you do you lower you lower your standards and you start dealing with the ones that haven't been exposed to being priced out uh, and those are usually fat and ugly. And then you got to go see a psychiatrist.
the, yeah, even the bottom feeders have some, uh, woo, shit, I can't believe this, I'm back over here. I'm from Fort Worth, grew up in Arlington. thing is man it's I ain't gonna lie to you I enjoy uh flirting more in Spanish and uh Spanish and Portuguese than I do English like when I saw the chick at the gym I didn't even know what to say like I'm sitting there thinking and I've been approach you guys have seen me approach approach making you know I don't even know what to say no more it's that bad like my memory is that bad like I'm like Hold on, how do I do this again? Because the last time I did it, the shit was taken the wrong way. <laughs> but maybe it'd be easier in a... Uh we just gotta go back to South America, man. Yeah, and a lot of guys, uh, from being in this scenario, uh, being in, in Texas, let's say, from being in this scenario, a lot of you guys' standards are just fucked, right? So what y'all start to do is y'all just start going for anything, even when y'all travel. And listen, if you don't, if you, if you have mental health issues, don't travel first. That's not going to fix it. Get checked out for it. Go seek a therapist first. Then travel. Should have got over, but this motherfucker was in the way. Yeah, approaching when I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I think it was easier to approach in Bolivia than it is here. Like just reading the body language of a lot of these people, I'm like, hmm, how the hell do dudes talk to them? Like, how did I do this before? Oh, that's right, I didn't do it. Eventually, I caught on to the energy, and I just, I just, I remember I checked out. I was checked out. And I haven't checked out of too many places in the world, but Texas, I checked out a long time ago. And you can't check back in. But we're going to stay positive. And we're going to try. Yeah, my homeboys had invited me to a club last night. Uh, but I got... I was too tired, man. I didn't... I don't know if y'all could tell yesterday. I really didn't get a lot of sleep. Both the night I was coming to Dallas and the night before... The night after I arrived. Uh, I didn't get sleep really either night. So I was tired. And then, I don't know. The chicks that are at the clubs in Dallas really aren't that attractive. Like, you have a better shot meeting them at the restaurant or at the mall. But the ones that are at the, uh, at the clubs is like, eh. Well, you know. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I really don't want to do this shit right now. But I'm gonna do it for you guys. I really don't want to do this. I think I would think I would just rather just sit around and complain. 
<laughs> I'd rather just complain. Uh, I never diss code approaching. I'm just saying it's a waste of time. Uh, if you guys follow my Patreon, all the chicks that I talked about I hooked up with, this is my Patreon, which I keep it playing. I don't display no real details. I'm just telling stories. Uh, those were not code approach. Like, I met them in person, but there was always some sort of signal that they gave me before. Like, the Colombian that I told you I met in Lima. Like, she came up to me and said hey you were using the machine I was using and she made some she added some extra words to to create a conversation and I ended up just shooting my shot at her because she kept talking uh, the first night when I got to Lima that chick she looked at me and smiled and I went up and talked to her uh, the second chick who was the second chick that was, that was from Bumble. The third one was not... Like, none of these stories that I have are, like, cold approach. Like, literally, when you guys see me cold approaching women, almost 100% of them, I'm not smashing. Like, I'm not even going to go on a date with 100% of them. Like, um, like almost all of them I won't see again. Uh, it, it is... A, if you want to talk about return rates, it's a waste of time. Now, I do it because it keeps me from being socially awkward. Uh, I think we can all agree walking around talking to random people. Uh, talking to random people keeps your social skills up in a way where whenever you do see somebody, it's not, not going to feel unnatural. But um, in my pro-code approach, uh, not if you want to hook up. I mean, that, it's good just to to fuck around and just talk but <laughs> i mean i'm telling you guys the truth the majority of the chicks that i've cold approached that shit went nowhere the chicks that i meet on the street that i ended up going on a date with later they always gave me some sort of signal first the cold approach is a waste of time now i'm sticking to that like it, it's it's a waste of time if you want to talk about uh return rates but so keep it i say still do it to keep your social skills up but no uh, the the choosing signals that shit's more effective like all the chicks that I, I pretty much all the chicks that i've met in person since i left the united states i think i can count on one hand maybe two chicks i went on a date with that i cold approach two or three bro i've approached i've approached a lot of chicks Shit, just in the past two, three months, I've approached a lot of chicks on camera. I, I'm telling you, we did not go on dates. <laughs> we did not go on dates. That shit does not go anywhere. What's more effective is you putting yourself out there for women to see you and uh, paying attention to your surroundings. And then you can see who's choosing you. Like, oh, look at, you know, you can see who's looking at you like they're attractive. Uh, those women that I meet that are looking at me and I and I jump on it and I go approach them because I caught them looking at me or I caught them showing some sort of interest. I go on a date with them and I fuck them. <laughs> That's, it's that simple. The ones that I just walk up to, oh, uh, yeah, I seen you from across this way. Like, yeah, that doesn't go anywhere still do it yeah you gotta uh, that's again so I'm doing code approach but I'm doing it just to just so I can keep my social skills sharp but that shit does not it's not effective and it's just like in business like if you would I would you do you think you'll be more successful with customers that are looking for a barbershop or just walking around passing out your business cards? 
Like you're walking up to people that probably don't want it versus people that do want a haircut and you just saying, hey, I can cut your hair. Like which one is going to be more effective? Now that doesn't mean you shouldn't pass out your business cards, but I'm just being honest with you. Uh, go for the people that's looking for it. Yeah, I'm never pro code approach. I'll tell you, do it, do it. Yes, but no, that's that's not. It's 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 good just to be a funny guy, like just to be a cool guy, funny guy. Yeah, like you guys notice how the chicks laugh, like they oh it's funny. Random guy walking up asking me, you know, can I can I learn Spanish with him? You know, like oh it's funny, but that shit ain't going nowhere. <laughs> it's not. It really doesn't. I'm trying to think in Bolivia. How many chicks did I cold approach that I went on a date with? The one chick, the, the first chick that I uh, smashed in Bolivia was literally somebody that was a waiter, waitress, and she was looking at me and she was smiling and it was a smile where it was like hmm, no nah, you know exactly what the hell that means go talk to her ended up going on a date with her same day same day uh because i'm i'm jumping on somebody that's showing me interest versus shooting in the dark uh the second chicken bolivia i was at the gym and she claimed she left her phone at home so can she call her phone but what she had to do something and i was like this girl didn't leave her phone at the house, so I, I like I flirted with her. The next, the no, not the next day. The same day we went on a date, and the first date got her too. The third one was a uh, one that I'm not gonna give up too many details, but the third one was another one that Jason and I were just walking, and I said, Jason, did you see that? No. They were just looking at us. Walked over there. Uh, had an insta date. The next day, went out again. Got that one too. So it's undefeated when you jump on somebody that's showing interest. Versus, those are three chicks that were showing interest, right? But how many women did we cold approach? <laughs> that were showing no interest. Didn't go on dates with them. shit didn't even get a number so it, the choosing signals yeah man the choosing signals uh is undefeated but still code approach to keep but i will credit code approach because my approaching skills would not be as good if i didn't constantly approach women that aren't interested because it helps me deal with rejection better which i really don't give a damn but it helps me deal with rejection better and it helps me uh, be quicker when I approach. I can say things quicker without having to think about it. I, ha I damn near have, I, I, yeah, and then I st start thinking of new things and new ways to become uh, more charismatic. You're correct about women seeming, seemingly being unapproachable here in the States. It's customary for women to be friendly in South America for the most part. From Hollywood TV, thank you for the $10 super chat. Yes. But what if the if the woman giving you signals is not your type? Then I mean, make a decision. Either you either you gonna jump on it or not. Now, if you in the states, listen. If she's not your type, bro, go ahead and settle. Because God knows when you're gonna get another signal again. Go ahead and settle. Why'd you come back? I thought you hated this place. Uh. I had no. I'm coming back. I came back to get some documents and stuff, and uh, I wouldn't be here. You know, I was supposed to meet my mom in Nicaragua, but remember, I couldn't get in the, in the Nicaragua, so I came here to see them. Otherwise, if she would have came to Nicaragua, I would have had her bring my birth certificate and all that, and I st it would be another year or two or two years before I went back to the states. But I'm only here because. Of Thank you for the two dollars super chip. 
just approach Latina women during your state. That sounds like it's going to be the best option, man, because uh, everybody else is not. I don't know, man. Where the immigrants at? Shit. Where are the illegals at? Not nice calling them all illegal. I'm just joking. Uh, hey, hey, why did you say wow? Where the yeah, where are they, where are the immigrants at? Take me to a Mexican restaurant where don't nobody speak English. Yeah, where the chicks have no papers at? Uh, he said, bro, is a migrant hunter. Yeah. So we're going to go to Uptown. We're just going to walk around because uh, that's what's important when it comes to cold approaching. You got to find walkable areas because if you're trying to drive everywhere all you're gonna do is burn up a bunch of gas and be disappointed so find a walk i mean because that's what you guys saw me doing in lima right what did i do just walk around mio flores and uh bronco just walked around you're in dallas they definitely have them my parents own a restaurant uh, from around the corner from the Galleria. I mean, I heard that area of Addison is ghetto as hell now. I should have went there instead. I think the people in Addison are a little friendlier than the people in Dallas. Man, the people in Dallas make you feel like you ain't shit. I mean, they'll make you... I mean, they might as well just spit on your ass sometimes. What about Mexico, bro? Easy jump from Dallas. I'll go to Mexico eventually. Yeah, I'm trying to find... Where is every where is the area where everybody's walking around? That's what we gotta find. Where are people walking? Everybody can't be inside right now. It's too early. I don't know, man. I done been a lot of places in the world and on a Sunday at one o'clock, people are outside. There's people outside, but it's not, I'm not gonna get out and walk to, to come across a person every five minutes. And who's gonna say the person that I come across every five minutes is a, a, a female, and if that, a, a approachable female. I gotta find somewhere, maybe I should just go to Addison. gonna go go hook up with philip scott show you know what here we can we can go back uh towards addison and we'll just stop by the mall on the way over there americans don't walk i forgot <laughs> they don't walk that's what that's what's happening. They I forgot we don't walk. I think if we if we did have a lot of people walking around the country we wouldn't have so many fat people.
He said, go hit Harry Hines. Yeah, I might as well go back to Cartagena. I might as well go record those prostitutes in Cartagena again. If you want me to go to Harry Hines and record. Difference is this time I'm not I'm I'm at home, so I'm not uh, we don't have to worry about that. I can properly take it there. Austin, can you name five um can you name five cities and countries that you would recommend for meeting fun women and having a serious relationship? Chile, Brazil, uh Uruguay. Tanzania and Peru. Thank you for the five dollar super chat. What the hell kind of street is this? Yeah, those those uh what kind of people are you all around? Oh now oh here we go. Here we go. Now they don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you, you know, I don't like it when y'all do that, ma'am. Don't do that. When we get when I get on here and complain, I got I got evidence of what I be complaining about. I don't do yeah, don't do that. If I call Americans fat, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. <sighs> okay, we need to go east before we go to this Highland Park area. We don't have time for this. All right, either you gonna go or you not gonna go. Come on. Damn. Should I look for a wife in Kenya? I'm going there for the first time in October this year. Uh... I've always said Kenya is a place to have fun. Like, I would not tell you to go find a wife in Kenya because the culture is too, uh, it's not designed for that. Let me put on my GPS. Yeah, the culture in Kenya is not designed for you to have a wife. Like, it's, it's designed for you to just kick it. Now, if you stay there for a while, you'll start to figure out like, oh, OK, like this is how you do this. But. Dude, you going to stay there for a while. Like, you got to stay there for a long time to figure that out. And yeah, we got on the Puma shirt, man, got on the Puma shirt. Got on the Puma shirt. So we're gonna get something to eat too. I just wasted a lot of time driving. Like I drove past where I'm going. And I'm about to go back, which is something I did often here when I was in Dallas. You know why I did it often? Again, because everything is so spread out, it's hard to find where to go. So you can spend a lot of your time just driving around Dallas, trying to figure out where the hell to go. And then the issue is you'll see like pockets where it's like, uh, where it's like, uh, like it looks like maybe I should stop here. It's a little busy. But it's not as busy as I want it. So you keep driving. And then you see another place. So it's, everything is like evenly spread out. There's no there's, there's no official spot. I'm just saying that. There's no official spot. Now this area right here though might be a good walking area though. It might be. 
It might be. We probably pull over right here. Where do I park my car at? Little walking trail. Boy, it don't be no chicks outside over here. I mean, it do not be no chicks outside. Okay. What's some over here? Let's pull over here. Pay $50 to park this car. Shit, I'm tripping. Yeah, it's pretty busy over here. Nowhere to park. Gotta pee. Bad. Nowhere to park. That's a good thing, though. That means we're at the right place. Yeah, this might be a good place as well. Let me go over here. anxiety right now man do you know how many places I've approached women I've never been anxious oh shit that dude just pulled out of a parking spot this guy behind me is behind fuck okay where else can I park at this is only this is another thing about being in this side of town is like this is another thing about having a car is you have to find somewhere to park purpose served what is your platform about for real what was the purpose served that you're speaking of that's what i want to know what was the purpose that was served you are you saying my job is done i don't think so i told you guys i still i need to go to about 70 80 countries in total before i even start thinking about being done purpose served what purpose mm. here go a parking spot right here Stopping, I'll go right here. Let's see, we might be able to pull right here. I hope so. I hope they don't tow right here. Cause that'd be bad. <laughs> he said a good shovel gonna run you about seventy dollars in the states, <laughs> bro. That shit does not sound too uh, far fetched either. I really don't want to do this. What's the purpose of your platform? The purpose of the platform is we go around and we compare social. That's a better way of asking that question. What's the purpose of my platform? You throwing that remark of purpose served, uh, that really wasn't. And that really didn't sit well with me. It was kind of like, why would he say that? Anyway, uh, the purpose of the platform, we're doing a... social experiment. Yeah, he said purpose served. What the hell? Let me uh, go into... I hope my car is safe right there. Let me go into this Chipotle 
get something to eat. And then we'll go from there. Yeah, I hope the car is safe. <laughs> Yeah, we're going here. I don't see why it wouldn't be safe. Uh, let me use the bathroom first. And we'll go from there. Something at least for your time. Thank you for the $5 uh, super chat, Michael. I truly appreciate it. Uh, you said we'll have a better result with women that speak English? I don't know, man. I think we might have a better result uh, in Spanish. So, let's continue. Let's go to this. I'm gonna do the carnivore diet today, man. We're only gonna eat meat and maybe a few vegetables with it. Hello, uh, can I do a bowl? Uh, no rice, only uh, chicken. Uh, cheese. Can I get a uh, look? Can you put double chicken on there? I'll pay extra. Yeah. And cheese and uh, these vegetables right here. And that's it. Well, actually, uh, can you put pico too? Uh, pico, Let's see. And that's it. Thank you. I don't even know if I can compliment them and say, oh, you know, like in Spanish, I would say, oh, like, you know, I'm awesome. I thought you were very beautiful. You know, I don't even know if I could say that in English. Can I say that? Something to drink and Hmm? Something to drink and Uh, no, no. Only that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I pay with cook. Yes. All right, that was fifteen dollars, you guys. I mean, it was thirteen dollars. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Let's go. Now, uh, hold on. <laughs> we'll eat our food outside.
too much sodium. What sodium? You, what sodium is in chicken? You know what? I should have brought my bag. Yeah, they skimped me on the food, man. Shit was some bullshit. That's how I tell them to put double. It tastes like shit, don't it, compared to South America. Let me see. It's all right. It's not bad, but compared to where I was just at, yeah. Definitely gonna sit outside. Yeah, it's not all that. Should have brought glasses. I should have brought my bag, man. That way I had to walk around with this huge battery pack. Yeah, man, the food tastes completely different. Mm, fucking crow almost flew on my table. Uh, the the flu the the um the food in Peru the at the like the restaurants it had a lot more flavor. said get a travel rewards credit card easier said than done he said you have a not a negative mindset in america gotta stay positive to make wise moves easier said than done very salty he had a negative mindset in South America no I didn't in Uruguay I would recommend uh, I would recommend uh, Montevideo because that's the only one I went to You don't need to stay on the western portion of town. It's fucking birds. taking notes yeah you go to Montevideo don't stay on the western portion of down stay in the more south central out to Texas YouTubers that would be that'd be cool
harder for me to eat this. I think it's all that salt they put on there. It's very salty. The way you eat, I can tell you grew up spoiled. No. I just don't like to have a lot of sound effects in a TV show going on when I eat. You know when you you know when you eat with people and you can see all the food in their mouth? I don't like that. I don't like that shit. Shit's disgusting. They show you so much food in their mouth, you might as well eat eat the food right out of their mouth. with my mouth closed. I don't lick on all my utensils and shit. It's just disgusting to me. You can do what you want. I think it's just disgusting enough. Everybody's so shocked to see me back. I'm shocked. It's still surreal to me. I think I had to stay here like a month to even snap back. Yeah, this the salt will make you bloated. It's very salty. All right. I think that's all we're gonna do. That's not true. I will say America has great cigars. I bought some of the, Now when it comes to stuff that's bad for you, America has got the best. The best dope, the best cigars, not the best alcohol. Or whatever that was I drank the other way took me out the game. But that kind of stuff, yes. We got the best, anything that's bad for you, we got the best. Let's go. I'm gonna go get some, uh, I need to get a drink. I'm the only guy you know that can drink and smoke right after the gym and still be in shape. How can you determine the way you eat by, uh, yeah. I don't need, I don't know if you could tell by how somebody eats that they're spoiled. Usually, I would think a person that's spoiled would have bad table manners. Because they're spoiled, so their parents don't hold them accountable for shit. Frisco star, lots of women doing brunch. I'll tell you this about Frisco too, man. Uh, in Frisco, I think the best city to date in the DFW is Addison and uh, uh, Plano. Outside of that, the people are like hella snobby. Like whenever I went to Frisco, shit, man, it's just like Dallas. They would treat you like you ain't shit. 
So it seems Houston, I mean, you know, yeah, rich white people and uh, there's black people like B-Dub and Frisco that's going to say, <laughs> that's going to call you a nigga. For me, I would say Plano. I had the most hookups in Plano. Like, I had the most success in Plano. DeSoto, DeSoto is good too, but it's ghetto. As hell. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of salt in their food, man. Definitely was a lot of salt. Cedar Hill, DeSoto, Dallas. I mean, Cedar Hill, DeSoto, Duncanville. Uh, all that is pretty much going like the the dating scene gonna be hitting the same. That's that. It feels like you're all in the same city. Those three cities feel all like the same city. It's not like Dallas and Fort Worth where they're completely different. Austin is not a hater on any country per se. Thank you. We'll go with that. So, we're gonna figure out where was, there's people down this way, uh, down this way. I think we'll keep walking straight. I'm so used to being in uh, Latin America, I'm just tempted to just walk across the street. But I forgot that it's a, you can get a damn ticket in Texas for doing that. Uh, no, I'm not going to. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta figure out why. ticket for walking no if you they call it jaywalking if you cross the street whenever the thing says not to cross the street he said you scared no i'm definitely not scared i talk for a living it's just us i gotta get broken in man <laughs> it seems like everywhere you look is an obese person. How long? How long am I staying? Uh, I'll be in Dallas three weeks. I do talk for a living. That Chipotle was hard on my heart. This salt they put in there. He said, man, time out. Yeah, I remember whenever I was in Lima and that guy left a comment and he was like, Austin, the last girl you had was a teenager. That shit was hilarious. Uh, Wood sent $20 for a cigar on me. I'm in the Dallas. I'm in the, hold on.
He said, uh, cigar on me. Thank you very much. I'm in Dallas at the cigar spot is what he said. So I might slide through there later. Give it some time. You've been sour on some countries and eventually it warmed up. It would be the same with the return. Because I thought about that. I had a feeling maybe the first week it may be dry. And then after that. Hold on, let me strap up my shorts. Because these... This heavy battery pack is weighing down my uh weighing down my pants. I'm having a culture shock. He said <laughs> that was hilarious. He I guess it was the timing that he said it and the setting. Cause he said the last girl I had was a teenager and it was funny because the girl was 19. So it was, <laughs> it was funny. It, it was funny because he said teenager because it made, it made it sound bad. Like, like, oh, like this dude can't even get a, a grown one. He had to get a teenager. So I think we're walking the wrong way. Uh, I think most of the action might be behind me or maybe I go back and go to the right. told you they have they have they have to be sodium they have sodium warnings on it sodium is deadly to african americans they are literally killing you thank you falcon for the five dollar super chat yes uh that i think i felt better before i ate that food like that that salt now when i look at my old pictures i can see why i was so big and I can see why I lost the weight so fast because it was mostly just water weight. I just pissed all the weight off basically. I bet you know now why food. Yeah, so th the trick is to drink a lot of water to, uh, cause when your body is holding water weight if you give it, ironically, if you give it more water, it releases more water because uh, your body starts to think the water is in abundance. But if you don't drink a lot of water, when you do drink, your body will hold on to it like a tree root. <laughs> uh, or no, I should say like a cactus because it's thinking that it needs to reserve the water because you don't drink enough. Now, I guess I, that's why I was so big. I used to eat Chipotle every single day. Salt holds water too. Yeah, so the, the sodium is what, uh, the sodium is what makes you, oh, it's been months since I've seen a squirrel. What do I ask them? What do I ask her? Let's see, let's, let, me, let me break my, my ice. Hello. Hi. Oh shit, she just kept. What's your name? Are you I'm on live right now. You want to see? Live for what? I'm a YouTuber. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Do you have Instagram? Uh, yeah, I do. Why? You you ready to run away from me? I'm on a run. Oh, okay. Well, look, before you run, let me get your Instagram. Oh, yeah, uh, your phone. Because oh. I'm on I'm on live right now. What's your name? Tatiana. Awesome. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Where do you work out at? Uh, normally recess. Okay, yeah, I've never heard of it. It's um, Tatiana underscore bed. Oh, this is you. Yeah. Muy bien. Thank you. Oh, here. No, I have to put mine in. I'm on love. I, I know you got to run. I'm not trying to take up your time. You, but, uh, you guys, she's ready to run away from me. Why don't I save it and then I can follow it later? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. This one. All right. Have nice me. Nice you too. She was trying to run away every 10 seconds. That's why I said, why are you trying to run away from me? Because at first, I thought... Hold on, let me switch the camera. At first, I thought she... Uh, I don't even know what to say to these girls. Like, you notice I didn't call her beautiful or nothing. <laughs> Cause usually I call them beautiful uh, when I'm in other countries. Oh, you know, I thought you looked good. Oh, I thought, you, but I don't even want to say that shit here. Uh, 
But no, I thought she was rejecting me. That's why I was like, oh, damn, she just kept walking because I, I asked her how she was doing. And then she, it's, it looked like she picked up the speed when I started talking to her. I was being regular. I'm just going to have... I'm a, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna use the Instagram to our advantage, and I'm just gonna be like, I'm just trying to build my followers up, and I'll see where it goes from there. She was attractive, yeah, she was. That's why I stopped her. He said, I mean, with all ladies, no lines. I don't use lines. She shocked that picture, yeah. So we'll keep walking and uh, we'll see. Stop a black chick. There's not many black chicks in this area. I think if we want to look for that, so I'll tell you where I successfully look for that at is uh, in Addison. So we might stay over here like another 30 or 40 minutes and then we'll go uh and this motherfucker in the chat is like no game i don't use game like i don't use i don't use game like the dating course that i'm talking about that i'm uh that i made it's not about game it's more so just about how to naturally interact uh without stuttering and shit the game hold on don't say that to the American women. The line will fall flat. What do you mean? Uh, the game is... The game comes off corny, man. I've tried... And trust me, I've tried all of it. I've tried the game. I've tried a... Uh, normal combo. You're only going to find divesting women in these areas. Yeah. In this area, the black chicks you do see more, more than likely ain't going to be into you. So that's not going to be the goal in this spot. Now, we go to Addison. Uh, Addison has officially gotten ghetto. So that might be a, a better option. Floyd is more confident than you. Thank you. I'm glad. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad that another brother is doing better than me. That's what I. That's my response to you. I'm glad Floyd is doing better than me. Matter of fact. You should get that five dollars of Floyd. Austin, what country do you think you'll eventually settle down in and live permanently? Your top three picks: Chile, uh, Paraguay or brazil are my top three or if not that we could say kenya that chick just came out of starbucks looks good but uh we'll see what's going on man that food made me feel like shit Put a one in the chat if I should get a drink. See if we can find a uh, Pisco Sour somewhere. Did you hear, so did y'all hear that girl? She was like, are you recording? Why? And I was like, oh, I'm a YouTuber, I'm on live. I wonder what, what did she think I was recording for? Did she think I was one of those guys that just goes around uh, cold approaching American chicks and then, uh, let me cross the street at the crosswalk. I keep forgetting I'm not in South America no more. You, you pretty much have to cross at the crosswalk in the States. So a lot of people are saying get a drink. So we'll get a drink uh, back this way. We'll go from there. 
I do have friends. <laughs> he said Floyd got a lesbian fetish. Now I will say one thing is uh, this, is, which is that if you're standing on the edge of the street right here, you don't have to worry about uh, somebody on a motorcycle rolling up and snatching your phone. Hello. What's your name? Catherine. Catherine. I'm awesome. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Dallas. Look, I'm, I'm a YouTuber. Can you say hey to my camera? Hello. Hello. Hi. Do you have uh, Instagram? I don't. Oh, no. Oh, dude, I'm yeah, I'm about to walk across the street, too. All right. Nice meeting you. Hasta luego. Look, she 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 ran across the street on the on the do not walk because uh, she wanted to get away from me that bad. It said don't walk and she ran across anyway. He said ask her out for her number. Listen, if an American chick doesn't have an Instagram, that's a rejection. Now, America, that's not a thing where they don't have an Instagram. We got 771 watching if you're watching get a video a like make sure you uh hit the cash app at dollar sign austin holloman yeah i'm the only i'm the only uh ninja out here we can see that oh we can see that but it doesn't you know let me tell you something about between south and north america and united states when you're the only black dude it can feel like it uh when you're in Uruguay, Chile, Peru, and you're the only black dude in the room, it doesn't feel like it. Uh, because again, those white people are different. They're, there's a different type of white over there. So they're not the same. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. What is your name? Kate. I'm a uh, YouTuber. Can you say hi to my camera? Yeah. yeah. Where are you from? <laughs> Virginia. Virginia. You have Instagram? I do. Can we uh, exchange Instagram so you can see yourself later on? That's so funny. Give me some motivation, you guys. What made you want to start? Uh, I started traveling, so now they want to see me walk around everywhere. <laughs> Are you from here? Or? No, I'm from Brazil. Oh, wow. Yeah. Welcome. Have you ever been out of the country? I have. Where? Yeah, I've been to Aruba. We had a house there. Mm -hmm. um, really like a lot of the islands cruises mm -hmm. stuff like that. are you gonna take me with you <laughs> my boyfriend's in there oh no <laughs> okay well let me get out of here Bye. before i have to get, before i get deported back to brazil Bye -bye. so she gave up her instagram while her boyfriend was in the store <sighs> ah, let's go this way i told you i'm gonna start telling motherfuckers i'm from brazil it is what it is. Hola. So, so she got on camera. She got on camera and entertained me. So does she really give a damn about her boyfriend? Anytime you, it's one thing to entertain, but it's another thing to, uh, unless she just lying, but it's another thing to just get on camera and entertain like let me show the whole world that i gave this handsome brazilian guy my number so as you guys saw i threw i threw a little bait at her i always say something slick like oh so you're gonna take me with you which is nothing it's not no game or nothing right but anybody with some common sense would catch on that I'm flirting with them when I say that. Because why else would I say that? You see, and she caught on, that's why she immediately said, well, my boyfriend's inside. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Let me go get my pistol in case that happened again. You know, you American dudes, y'all be ready to die behind a girl. So I gotta protect myself from you crazy motherfuckers. Hola. No, I'm from Brazil. 
Yeah. I'm a YouTuber, so I'm doing a live stream. Why, you want to be on my channel? Oh, no, I'm just curious. Oh, okay. You, you as well. You have Instagram? I have Instagram, yeah. yeah. But I have, my fiance gets mad if I... Oh, yeah, your fiance should get mad. Thank you. Yeah, have a you as well. Okay, she was a, she had a little more integrity. So we're at the Trader Joe's now. See if we can stop somebody on the bread aisle. Ask why am I recording? That in South America. I guess the difference is in South America, they get creeped out and they like, oh, like, oh shit, let me just, let me hide my face a little bit, you know. Hello. What's your name? Austin. Nice to meet you. Uh, where are you from? Arkansas. Arkansas. How long you been here? About 10 years. Well, look, I'm on live. Can you say hey to my camera? Hey to my camera. Oh, to my <laughs> camera. Okay. You have Instagram? Really, you don't have, don't have Instagram? Yeah. Oh, don't play with me. I don't. I don't, I don't like to play like that. Where, where's your? Let me see your phone. Por favor. Now, what is this for? This is for me and you. You don't want to talk to me? Mm -mm. Oh, you don't. Well, I mean, I don't mind, but. Oh, you, no, I don't do out of minds. No, I need. Right. A, I need some. I need some clarity. Oh. Oh no, you guys! I got rejected. You just embarrassed me in front of my whole career. Shouldn't have put me on there. No, it's all right. It's part of the game. Right. See you next time. I think her boyfriend was right there too. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. I gotta go get the strap, man. These chicks gotta quit talking too much. I know I'm handsome, but you don't have to talk to me for that long. I that motherfucker I was from Brazil. <laughs> I'm from Brazil. I ain't even from around here. I just got a Texas accent. I stayed here long enough to build that accent up on your ass. Okay. We got 904 people watching. Let's keep going. Y'all hit the cash app. Let me check my cash app. Uh, Los Cabos, $7 for Have I Been to Los Cabos, Mexico from S&W. Thank you very much. No, I have not, but I, boy, that sodium and that food is killing me, but I'll consider it. I'll consider it. Okay, so I don't think it's too much action going down this way. So we'll make another lap around this way. Oh yeah, put a one in the chat if I should pretend like I don't know English. I'm gonna start pretending like I don't know English. I'm going to start speaking broken English. See if that works. I got to work on complimenting these women. I can't compliment them. You already going corny for the views. You know what? I don't ban people, but I just might ban your ass. Yeah, this is a social experiment. This is a social experiment. So we're going to. Uh, we got to test all theories. Just pretending like you don't speak English give you a... Because, you know, people, the American women, let us say, oh, y'all are only women in abroad because y'all are foreigners. So let's see if that works the same way with these women here. Start telling these motherfuckers I'm from Salvador Bahia. This is the American Austin, not the traveler Austin. <laughs> Yeah, uh, be a little less aggressive. I think you're being too direct right away. Overseas women like that, but American women get scared off. Thank you, TLO. 
I don't really know how to bullshit around with a conversation, though. I mean, I'm not... Here, here's, a, here's the thing, right? I'm asking them for Instagram, right? So I do that because, number one, I have some leverage with my account. But number two, Instagram is less invasive. So if anybody could find... You know, anybody could find them on Instagram. Like, I could see them at the grocery store and then they just pop up on my explore feed a week later so instagram is not really aggressive by itself. it comes off very passive when i ask for instagram now if i ask for numbers that would be more uh, aggressive but i'm not even am i really being too direct because it just sounds like i'm talking he said american women get scared when you direct too quick so uh that's why they're the least married and that's why the passport bros is if you you can't win you want to be I, I ain't worried about this shit. we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing we're gonna find out this is a social experiment let's keep doing it he says sounds thirsty no uh whenever you sit around here's what women don't like what i know when you sit around just talk 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 you could talk yourself right up out that pussy <laughs> So I get straight to the... I'm not trying to be your homeboy. But I'm not coming off sexual either. I'm just throwing a little flirt in there and then asking for the info. Eh. It's been working, so I'm not switching it. Fuck that. Yeah, you always got to be direct. Women, women like dudes that have clarity. Being direct shows that you know what you want, right? So... Man, that sodium got my mouth all dry and everything. Or either I'm talking too much, one or the other. He said, come off rude first, then flirt. Well, you guys did notice the black chick. I, uh... I, uh... She kept playing with me. And that's when I was talking about there's a banter. When you try to flirt with women from the States, it's like a banter. Like, it's like who can crack the most jokes before we get into a real argument because the jokes aren't uh the jokes aren't really funny you know we got a five dollar super chat I, if you did this at the gallery in houston it would be a great experiment we could do that he said you got that white saliva like that peruvian oh so you watched the patreon video yeah man that that peruvian girl i was with ugh, ugh. i mean God damn, that was nasty. She had so much spit. It was just sitting on her tongue. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, this motherfucker's nasty. Awesome. Yes, sir. It's me. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Hey. Nice to see you in the country. Oh, yeah. I'll be here for a couple weeks. You as well. Uh, so, we got the Apple store here. We already walked on this side. You see the black folks recognize me. Uh, what are we gonna do now? We should put a one in the chat if we should go to North Park Mall. He should have approached me in front of a chick. Oh, that drops the panties instantly. Worldwide, that works, right? But in the States. You notice how eager the chicks are to get to social media in the States? You'd be like, oh, you're an influencer? Like, their whole, their whole world just lights up when you tell them that. So we're going to go to North Park Mall. He said, go get drunk. I'm going to give me a drink or two. North Park Mall is a good place to walk around. And then after that, we'll do Addison. And then after that, we'll go to Plano. See Hello. Let's see what's going on there. That's why they're not outside. You can go crazy in the mall. Yeah. He said fat lesbians. Yeah, man. So we got two, ins we got, how I many, we got one Instagram. And I don't even know if we're going to get back in contact with her because I had to screenshot my name. I should have just put y'all on pause. <clears throat> but I had to screenshot my name.
No more pisco sours. Yeah, no, that shit is. Those pisco sours were giving me diarrhea too, man. It's something about the pisco, and they make my teeth hurt. They really now that's that's some good alcohol. That's why I kept drinking it. It's some good alcohol, but damn, man, that that food I ate was not healthy. I can feel it. Like it was not healthy. All right, gonna get in the car. Yeah, you're too direct and mean, bro. Foreign women love that. American women love tongue wrestling. It's like sparring. You have to finesse them. I mean. The Puma shirt is undefeated. Maybe that is what it is. Thank you for the two-hour super chat. And this dude done pulled up so close behind me, I can't even fucking back out. I mean, come on, man. Who does this? I should just hit his damn car. Pull it up that close. All right. So we were able to make it out. I'm gonna go to North Park Mall. I'm not going to uh, Galleria Mall. Galleria is ghetto as hell. Like that, I'm not even gonna want to approach nobody in there. It's too ghetto. Oh, that's right. I got two Instagrams. The other girl that said she had a boyfriend inside. Scroll up and read the Black American women's con uh, comments. You see six more. You seen you six more related relaxed with the Black women. Oh, I seen more. Yeah, she Black. I'm always going to be more relaxed with black folks, but I'm not afraid of them white folks either. Uh, but the black girls, are, uh, we're black, more relatable. She, The black girl was also giving me uh, more conversation. Like she, not conversation, but she was giving me more to work with because she was making all these facial expressions while I was talking to her. And moving her body and doing like this, you know, it was easier to talk because she was more engaged. The white girls, I was basically having to pull a fucking note out of a cat in a hat. Yeah, she was more engaged. It all that, that's why I said it all uh It all depends on uh them. Cause I can talk. It just depends on how they respond. Which way am I going? Hmm. Okay, here we go. I know where I'm at now. The black girl rejected me. She did. She wasn't as rude as I thought. So, because you know, usually, man, when I would get rejected before, boy, they would feel they would make me feel like I wasn't shit. Maybe I have improved enough for them to. Uh, reject me nicer this time but
you got to be indirect with non-black chicks. I can see that. But what I will do is I'll get the hell out of the United States where shit is more simple. If I can go back to Chile and I can just approach and that's it. You know, just I ain't got to play no game. No, that's what I do. Some women here said you were being aggressive. That's fine. That's why I'm going to stay the fuck away from you. Stay direct. The rejection is worse when you're indirect. Yeah. I'm not going to be indirect. I'm not doing that. That shit's silly to me. He said, stop relying on your Instagram blue check. The blue check don't mean shit. I hope, you do know you could buy that blue check, right? Like, I had to buy that blue check. I had to buy it. Even though I damn near got 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Because they ask you, show us another platform. Uh, you can apply for the blue check if you have another platform. Like, to show that you're a very search person. Like, And I think my name is getting, like... I forgot how many Google searches a month. Or YouTube searches a month, but... I still had to pay. So the blue check don't mean shit. It did five years ago. Doesn't know. And no, the blue check don't speak for me. Because you can have a blue check and have 50 followers. My, my shit is undefeated because I have followers. I have content. I have pictures of me with other women having fun. I have pictures of me with a circle of friends, a pictures of me in different countries. Like, no, my shit, the blue check don't mean shit. I was getting pussy off Instagram before the blue check. I just put that on it just because. Meanwhile, what's your first name? So you, you rush to the women's Instagram first and seconds. Uh, yeah, because I'm not unless if so. The only so I've told you guys this before. The only time that I actually sit there and converse is if the woman is worth conversing with. Like, so if she's giving me the same energy I am, I'm not gonna walk away. But if it seems like she likes me, but I need to wrap it up real quick. Okay, let me just give me give me information. Let's go. If you don't understand that, I can see that you don't approach many women. The last thing you want to do is annoy the, wo the hell out of a woman as soon as you meet her. So you won't get a call back. So you're better off just know when to wrap up the conversation. Troubleshooting. Troubleshooting. That's 800 people watching. I get a drink real quick outside this restaurant. Uh, I mean, in this restaurant outside the uh, North Park. Wow. And then after this, at the North Park, we'll go to uh, Addison and then we'll go to maybe Plano and then that'll be the end of the stream. Yeah, I don't think I'm eating out again. She was way too salty. And it's expensive for you to eat a bowl of salt. Do you know what I could eat with thirteen dollars in uh, Peru, and it wouldn't have been no salt on that food, or at least not enough for me to taste it.
Alright, so we have North Park Mall. Did you visit your old barbershop? I got rid of that. Boy, this battery pack is a lifesaver. Oh, God damn. Okay, you let somebody go and then they take their sweet time. You can't. No parking spots. Okay, let's go to the other side. It's always parking spot. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're already driving 100 miles an hour in a damn parking lot. Idiot. Okay, we got to go to the different parking garage. Or a lot. He said women love AC. They do. Oh, God. Folks, show is taking a long time for nothing. <clears throat> so we'll just keep talking and talking to see what type of organic conversation we can build up. We'll just see what type of organic conversation we can build up. Uh, now that we're now that the program is being done in English. Get over there. Uh, so now that the program is being done in English. Let's go. Yeah, I can see why I didn't like this place when I lived here before. Thank you. 
Boy, I do not like driving over here. Shit. Okay, we finally found a parking spot. Start where can I have your number? Yeah. Okay, let's do this again. Believe it or not, before YouTube, I used to do this by myself. Like, I used to just walk. I would go uptown, walk around, see if I could find somebody. Now, we're about to go to the mall. I'm back in Texas. Let's see. Hold on. What's your name? Why? You don't, you don't want to meet nobody new? Really. Why is that? You don't need no new friends. That's a sad life. <laughs> I have a great life, but thank you. You're welcome. That's what you get. So anyway, uh, we're about to go to the uh, mall. That is what you get. <laughs> yep. They think we be making shit up. So we're gonna go into this restaurant right here and get uh, a drink. So y'all think, well, why? Well, I mean, I'm not asking why, but why do people think that we be making that kind of stuff up? Like, that's what you get. Look, she, she up there still talking about it. That That's what you get. Let's go this way. Yeah, she's still over there talking about it. I heard her say, yeah, he said I'm gonna live a sad life, which I'm not really offended. I was being serious though. Like, if you have the attitude of, oh, I don't want any friends, that's not a healthy lifestyle. You should have been positive, Austin. They'll say that.
you need a neck tattoo. That might work. Wait, where are the black American women that was in the comments earlier? Troubleshooting. Where are they at now? Where are they at now? Still two more black chicks mugging me. Yeah, where are the black American women at now? Cause yes, that was one girl, but we're not gonna make it seem like that scenario is uncommon either though. That's a very common, a fucking very common scenario. And I was being nice. What's your name? Why? Don't worry about it. <laughs> he said move on is normal. It's normal here. That shit normal here. That shit ain't normal everywhere. Don't say that bullshit about everybody else. That shit is not normal. That shit is normal here. Y'all done seen, go watch my other video. Y'all done seen me approach you. You ain't seen it. I don't want no new friends. They don't say that other places. You said, uh, she got a, I didn't say she had a sad life. I said, that's a sad, I mean, uh, whatever I said, I was asking like, I was basically insisting, like, do you don't you think that's like, oh, that's kind of, that's like a negative lifestyle. She's like, I have a very good life. Okay. You got butt hurt? No, I didn't. If I got butt hurt, I'd be like, oh, let's get back in the car. Let's go. So so far, I'm really ain't seeing nothing right now. Did I want to holler at? Let me see. She looked at the corner of her eyes. Let me see if she's going to look back. She's not going to look back. Usually when they look at the corner of the eye, you could just wait. They said she wouldn't talk to Jason like that. Probably not. But see, that happened one time just now. But I could see uh, if you do this a lot, I could see why people, some dudes would give up on uh, cold approaching altogether. Because if that happens to you three times in one day, I could, I could, I could see why somebody would come to the conclusion, okay, fuck it, I'm not doing this no more. He said, I never approach black women too ignorant and uh, rude. I could, I, could, I could agree with that. In the States, I could agree with that. When I was in Kenya, Tanzania, total opposite. Uh, Latin America, depending on where I was at, they were pleasant to approach. Uh, but in America, in Texas, yeah, no. Don't even, I, 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 can, I can basically tell you don't even try it. You know what I mean? Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get out of this mall because it don't even seem like it's shit in here, man. And this is actually like the nicest mall in Dallas. Like if. 
If I was going to tell you to go shop somewhere, I would tell you here. Uh, this used to be when I lived here in 2022 and back. Uh, <clears throat> this used to be the mall that I would come to to shop and try to bump into a chick while I'm in here. But it seems like things have changed. So this is definitely the mall you want to shop at, I would say. Excuse me. What's your name? Austin, nice to meet you. Hi. Why are you looking? Were you scared when I uh, spoke to you? Bit, yeah. Why? Camera? Yeah? Hi. You have an Instagram? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm underage though. Oh, shit, really? Yeah. Okay, well, at least I look old enough. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. Well, at least, at least she saved my ass. Because this is not the country where you want to even be caught up in no shit like that. She looked like she was 20 to me. I thought she was probably like 20, 21. Apparently not. Hey, at least I approached. Most of y'all that's sitting on your couch wouldn't even have said shit. Y'all wouldn't even y'all wouldn't even be in a situation where you had to be like, oh my bad. He said major will want that. She was more mature than the other girl, the other black girl I just said, that said she didn't want no new friends. She was more mature than her. You don't even have any shopping bags. You look lost and stranded in a mall. Uh, okay. So what if I go to the mall to shop and I can't find nothing I want? No, I'm not gonna ask for her age because some hater will clip that and make it seem like I was trying to, I was trying to bend, I was trying to bend the law a little bit. See how far? Nah, no, I ain't gonna do that. Men hate to see me cold approach because they ain't got, because they balls ain't big enough to do this. That's why. I'm showing y'all how to do it with just basic conversation, just asking, you know. Because the chicks, you got to realize I'm jumping straight to the, to the Instagram because they ain't got shit to talk about anyway. <laughs> they ain't got nothing to talk about. So we just got to get straight to the funnel. They ain't talking about nothing anyway get straight to the funnel the funny thing is you're not taking it too serious yeah I really, I really don't give a damn man because the thing is I've already figured out my solution which was to go somewhere else where stuff is a lot more realistic so I know I'm gonna leave I know I'm not stuck here now if I was stuck here yeah the the, the thought that I would have to deal with this shit permanently yeah that that i would i would take it serious but i don't have to deal with this permanently i'm back i'm actually back in town to get my shit to not come back here so that being said i'm not gonna deal with that you know, she got a nice little body on her right there black chick right there with the flowers She look over here, I'ma turn around. She ain't, she ain't, she ain't, she ain't worried about nothing, man.
All right, you guys. If you guys are enjoying the show, drop a cash app. Austin, you should call Kendra G Show. Somebody tell her to review this on her live stream. She probably going to call me gay or she going to bring up some issue on why I'm getting rejected. But then she got to pull up the Chile and the Peru and the Bolivia streams. What's going on? Good of you. Good. How you doing? Everything great? Yes, sir. Good to see you. I appreciate it. Are you live? Yeah, yeah. I'm on the live stream right now. You're doing good. Bro. Yeah. You're in the wrong spot. Where, where should I go? You a little younger? I still say Deep Ellum. Deep Ellum right now. A little bit later. You know, it's Texas, mm -hmm. man. When the mm -hmm. sun is up, everybody go in. Yeah. But we was here last weekend. Was it Saturday or Sunday? No, it was Sunday. No, Sunday. Here. Deep Ellum. Deep Ellum. Oh, okay, okay. There's lots of clubs going on over there. More black people. Yeah, yeah. That's so what I'm looking for is the black people right now. We got to hook up, man. I got a, I got a travel channel, too. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, I got a fast one here. How long are you here? Uh, three weeks. Yeah. I will put it in the notes and I can talk to you. Thank you. Mm hmm. Brother, if you want to get together, have a drink. Absolutely. We, uh, we down. Yeah, I'll be free. I'll be in this area. You know you like cigars. I got some cohibas. Cohibas. <laughs> yeah. When we got, when we went to Cuba, I got some. So. Fantastic. Bro. That's a WhatsApp. What's up? Take care of yourself. Good to see you. Good to see you. Nice to meet Stay you. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. All right. All right. I'll you up. We'll get a drink. Uh, okay. Appreciate right. it. All right. Uh, so now we're back. Uh, oh, they got a. Um, okay, well, I thought that was something else. So now let's see if we can. He looked like his wife was from Latin America, or wife or girlfriend, whoever it was. It looked like she was from Latin America. Okay, so that's the end of the uh, North Park Mall. Because it's not really too much going on. He said go to Depot Ellum later on tonight, so I guess we could check that out. Because uh, right now, tell them to approach you during a live cold approach. He cold approached you. Let me uh, fix my shoe. said the Puma Fit don't work in the States. I'm going to show you guys. Uh, so if you guys watch the Patreon and on a dating course, these are a pair of shoes that I always wear. Uh, I think these are it. Not this brand, Magnani. Now they are expensive. It's like 500 bucks a shoe. But I've had the same pair of shoes since 2020. And I've worn them on five different continents and probably like 200 times. So I got them from here. Uh, these are nice too, though. But I don't like these because they're too heavy. These cost four twenty-five. I wouldn't spend four twenty-five on sneakers, though. On the dress shoes, yeah. But on leather sneakers, no. Good in you. Uh, but they don't have as many in here last time. Uh. Yeah, they don't have. When I was in here a couple of years ago, they had way more stuff. So, you know what? I might just 
What you mean, Benny Harry? Those shoes are for 50 year olds. Get some Jordans. Yeah, right. Now, that girl I said had a sad life. If I had on some Jordans, maybe I would have been able to get her. Because that's what she really wanted. So we just did that. Now we go to Addison. And we'll see what Addison is looking like. He said Jordans are for 10 year olds. Now, would I wear a pair of Jordans? Yeah. But I don't own any Jordans, and I don't think I buy any more Jordans there. For the style I have and for the, the, the message I try to display through my clothing, uh, Jordans are kind of the opposite. They're judging me on my fit, or should I say drip? Hey, if that's the case, so be it. Uh, that's the difference between... Uh, Latin America, Africa, uh, versus here, which is that <clears throat> is less materialistic. Yes, materials matter somewhat, but we can all agree in the United States, being materialistic is the shit. Like that's that's what we are. But I'm not going to. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not gonna, I don't wanna be a part of that culture. I don't wanna be part of spending all my goddamn money to get some pussy or to impress somebody. So places like Latin America where you can work on your body, which is way more beneficial than blowing money on fucking Gucci sneakers uh, and will actually help you live longer. If that gets you more attention from women, that's the culture I wanna be in. Plus in that culture, the women, uh, they stay in the gym too, versus here, the gym is not gonna be the same thing. Thank you, so is yours. You. you wanna touch it? I do. <laughs> oh, wow. I miss this. You miss this? Oh, yes, my hair used to be this short, and this hair is struggling. I am struggling with this hair. Do you, what's the name, sponge it? Yeah, sponge it. Oh my goodness, mine never came out like that. You wanna sponge it for me? Uh, you know I like cougars. Please stop. How old do you think I am, Dad? You, you, you older than me. Okay, I am. Yeah, that's for sure. So, I am. yeah, you have a uh, Instagram. I do. I never check it though. Are you gonna check it today, then, right? I might. Yeah. Here, let's see. <laughs> you are hilarious. I'm serious too. <laughs> let's see Instagram. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't have a U.S. phone. Unless you have WhatsApp. Why don't you have a U.S. phone? I'm from Brazil. I love you. You do? Yes. I love you too. Just because you're from Brazil. Oh, really? Where's the accent, though? Give me something. Give me. Follow in Portuguese. Oh, yes. Is it? Okay. You I mean? don't know what you said, but it was just really sexy. Speaking Portuguese. Okay, yeah, I can speak Portuguese to you. Yeah, it was extremely sexy. That's all I got. Okay. What does uh, oh so, that's called? That's my accent. What, what, let me see what you got. Uh, what's up? Yeah, because I don't. Uh, if you don't check your Instagram, so we'll just use what's up. What's up? Yeah. So, so you want me to whisper here. Portuguese to you? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can do that. I can do a very good job Why at that. Why are you here? Uh, I'm here on vacation. I'll be here for three weeks. So. You've been to the yeah, I have family out here. Okay, that makes yeah. sense, I guess. Okay. I can come back to see you. Okay. All right, what are we on WhatsApp? Uh, let me see. What is your name? Marilyn. <laughs> oh, you don't know how to use WhatsApp. Dick. What did you just say? Oh. 
Okay. What are you doing later? Oh, having a wonderful time preparing my day for tomorrow. Okay, well, I'll help you get prepped. I'll text you in a minute. Awesome. I got to run. Huh, that's funny. Awesome. Yeah. All right, awesome. Nice to meet you. You as well. Thank you All so right. much. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, social experiment. Uh, telling them that you're from Brazil helps a lot. I told her I was going to help her get prepped. <laughs> I mean it, too. I do mean it, too. <laughs> Where is my car? Yeah, she was thick. Otherwise, I wouldn't have stopped her. But again, so we're outside cold approaching, right? And, uh you guys know you you guys see how she said your hair is so beautiful again all the chicks that i've cold approached today have pretty much been like i was doing it just to do it they were warming me up for a moment where somebody says that your hair looks good so when i got to her it was easier to talk because i had been talking already but that was a warm approach because she spoke to me or she gave me some reason to try to get at her uh what are the top three countries in South America you find it easiest to get women to come back to your place for some fun, if you know what I mean? Uh, Uruguay is a... Let me, let me word this properly, because you know people. Uruguay is a place where women like to have fun. Brazil is a place where women like to have fun. Uh, Peru is a place where women like to have fun. I mean, in my experiences, that's where it was the best. Cage, she just said, LOL, it's the Puma. Yeah, it's the Puma. It's the twist and the muscles popping. I told y'all, y'all can get them cougars. He said, why lie to them? We're doing a, uh... He said, he said, your game is way too arrogant. Apparently not. Apparently not. And what's arrogant about what I just said? I'm from Brazil. I'm here on vacation. <laughs> I like cougars. What the fuck? That's called telling her what you feel. The fuck is arrogant about that? No, here's what they want you. If that's arrogant, they want you to be humble and be like, listen, baby, I just really would take pride in just massaging you. You're going to be my queen. You know... I suck your toes and I, I do, baby, I, I'm here for you. I got you. I do anything. That's what they want you to say. I just made it clear what it, you know, cause dudes say, be, dudes say don't be direct. Uh, no, being direct is what you should do. Like I asked her, if, I, I asked her if she wanted me to whisper in her ear. Like, why would I not say that? I'm, I'm trying to get the message across. <laughs> and that's how you, you, you don't know. We're not switching that direct shit. I'm going to keep being direct. You don't, you don't get nowhere by uh, doing it. You're telling the broad to her face you like cougars. Yeah. What, it, would it be any different if she say I like young guys? Like... That's the double standard shit with women. Like, men can say something and it's a problem. Women can say it is no problem. I think nobody in this chat would be offended if uh, a woman walked up and said, Oh, I, I like I like you. I like young men. Like, I don't think nobody would have an issue with that. These, these dudes just want to complain. Be direct if you're trying to smash. Be direct altogether if you ask me. Because, again, being indirect will get you put in a friend zone, like, instantly. Asking her, asking her what kind of art. So what kind of paintings do you like? And Yeah, you can ask her that. Don't spend too much time doing that shit until you... Do that after you get your point across. Make... 
flirt first, then start asking her what her favorite planet is. But you motherfuckers just want to ask what the favorite planet is and okay well how long have you been driving your car okay that's cool so what was your first car have you ever ran a red light bro bro you're drying her up no get to the fucking point then her ask her all that dumb shit after that it's not i mean you're seeing this shit on live video this is how it works now remember i told you guys when i was in the states when I was in the States, I had no problem smashing cougars and single mothers. So far, that was the first cougar or single mother I approached her, from my knowledge. Uh, and she gave me time of day, right? Now, the younger girls, what happened? I don't need no new friends. I don't have an answer. I have a boyfriend. That's what they all say. So, you see in real time, cougars know how to make good sweet potato pie, too. Yes, they do. She said, I don't know what you just said. It just sounds sexy. You know how I know she was interested? You know, whenever you step out the car, you got that rail that you can stand on. She had one foot on that rail while she was talking to me. <laughs> when people do that, men and women, when, when they do that, that's like a, uh, that's like some confidence. Today ends all the try all America talk, yeah? And listen, you're not gonna get accepted everywhere, but what we're saying is if you're a 24 year old, you're gonna have to go with Cougars. Because I remember uh, somebody taught me, I mean, told me, they said, Yeah, you're younger right now, you should only be fooling with older chicks. Bro, that shit does not apply in, a, in another country. If you're 21, you can date a 21 year old. But in my experience, that guy's telling the truth. If you're 21 in, in Texas, you need to start at 31 years old when you start looking to, to do whatever you want to do. Yeah, she was on the rail. That's where she had her foot. It was on the rail. <laughs> this shit was hilarious. Now, honestly, if I wasn't on live, I probably would have got her on the spot. I'd be like, yo, so what, what you about to do right now? You about to go get prepped? Little, take me home with you. I would have did it on the spot. I've done that too many times. She wasn't fat, no. <laughs> she gonna be on Tasha K talking about you saying he's from Brazil. It's a social experiment. We only said that for the social experiment. So let's do that again. This is why I can do that, right? Number one, because I'm black. There's black people in Brazil. Number two, I can speak Portuguese. Uh, and I, I guess that's the only two things, right? So let's keep doing that because if, even if I bump into another Brazilian and they try to switch to Portuguese on me, I'd be able to keep up with no problems. I have the accent and all that I, from being in Bahia. I have the, the uh, Baiana accent. So. Baiano or whatever it is, Bahia. And there's hella traffic right here. No, it's always traffic right here on 635. Let me go the other way. I do have a Brazilian accent. It might not be as strong because I've been speaking Spanish, so I haven't been practicing my Brazilian accent as much. But I have, I have a Brazilian accent. What kind of accent you got? Not a goddamn thing. <laughs> Told her I was on vacation. <laughs> I said I was on vacation. So here's the thing, in America, you gotta lie. Almost, we, I mean, I didn't lie abroad, but it looks like in America, you gotta lie. I don't like lying. Luckily, it's a white lie. No, I told her I had family out here. She, Cause she was like, what's the accent? I was like, no, I got family out here. <laughs> I 
But no, when I was in Brazil, the way how, because I, I would mimic the way how they would speak Portuguese, and they were telling me that I sounded like I was from there. Because there, there's a green, of course, there's a gringo accent to uh, Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese, where they can tell that you're an American that learned. But my Portuguese is kind of slow now because it's getting mixed up with Spanish. You need to sound Brazilian speaking English. No, because again, I told her I have family here, so I could just say I've been living. I lived here for a period of time and I moved back to Brazil, so now I'm back here. But y'all saw whenever I said, uh, oh, I'm from Brazil. She was like, oh, I love you. Do y'all think that that's what the women in Brazil do to us? Like, oh, I'm American, so they just say I love you. I don't think so, but because not all the motherfuckers love us. Obviously, y'all saw with me, they don't love us. said Pazi Amor. We all know why Austin didn't flip the cam. <laughs> no, I didn't want to flip the cam because I didn't uh, I was I was actually kind of interested so I, I wanted to keep everything uh, to myself. I think she knew I was on live though because I was I was holding a phone where she could see it, and I'm also walking around with a tripod talking to it. So I know, she, I know she saw me talking to the tripod before I walked up. See, the thing about America is you will, uh, let me say Dallas, this area, you will be getting all excited, like, oh, I'm getting numbers, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and not hear from not one of them motherfuckers later on that day. So you you could get 10 phone numbers and still go home, or go home dateless and dry. Like you can, all this interaction I'm getting right now, the chick is like, oh, I love you, I love you. You, you could hear all that shit and not hear from her again. That's how, I, that's when I started realizing, okay, sometimes if the chick is like flirting too hard, I'm just finna try to fuck her right now. <laughs> Cause God knows I might not hear from her again. And then I'm going to be complaining about that. So I might as well try it right now. Sometimes you, because, because of that reason, you have to be aggressive enough to see if you can get her on the spot. That's the difference between men and women. Now, if as a man, a chick gonna hear back from a man, she gonna hear back. But you might not hear back from her. She gonna hear back from you though. That's the difference. So hell, we gotta be aggressive. Otherwise you're gonna get left behind. from Brazil. Do you eat out them cougars? No.
Yeah, we're gonna uh, tell more chicks we're from Brazil. I just realized we ain't had no alcohol yet. So I guess the reason that, there's two reasons why it's easier with cougars. Number one, because they're cougars, right? Uh, so they're they're past the wall, they're past the stage of playing games, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And they um, they're from a different era where shit used to it was normal to approach chicks. Now that's like that's taboo. You approach a chick and she's like, oh, I I gotta. I don't need no friends. I'm living a good life. I don't need no help, my nigga. I can. Cougars, cougars are tighter, man. Fuck. Pay attention to the road. Cougars are actually, yeah. Yeah, actually, once you get some cougar pussy, you uh, you'll actually start preferring it. <laughs> in the states, in the states, the cougars outside of the states were not that great. I mean, some of them, yeah, but not that great. But when I was in the states, yeah. You almost smashed a cougar in Peru. Who was that? Actually, I had two of them in Peru. Two cougars. Two. The first day. The first day I had one. Yeah, I've had I've had plenty I've had cougars in every country I've been to. Not Kenya. I could have, man. There was this lady I bought this cat from in Kenya, and uh, I when she when she walked in front of me, I said, "God damn, <laughs> shit." Hold on. But uh, no, I've I've had cougars. Now I don't think I did that in Africa. No, I didn't do that in Africa. Now. Brazil, yes. Peru, yes. Actually, I did have a cougar in Africa, but she wasn't African. Uh, uh, not Chile. Okay, I haven't done it in two. No, I'm, I'm lying. Not in every country. I've only done it in three or four countries. She was from a, uh, she was from South America. I wrote her about her in my Tanzania book.
Yeah, she was from South America, but she was living in uh, Tanzania. And she came up to me being hella friendly. Uh, but she played with me for five weeks. Like, she played with me until my last day there. And the only reason she stopped playing with me there because I was like, look, I'm, I'm about to leave in like six hours. I'm trying to hit you again, see if we could do something because like you've been dodging me for damn near for over a month now. Yeah, I have three books. I wrote a book about how Africa changed me. I wrote a book about uh, my experience in Santiago, Chile. I wrote a short book. They're all short books. I wrote a short book about uh, the whole Brazil situation, just in further detail. At theaustinholloman.com. People like that Tanzania book. The most. I should have did one about Peru. It's just, man, writing those books and trying to do these streams and all this stuff, man, that is not easy. It's a lot of work. Latina cougars hit different. I don't know, man. The Latina cougars, some of them are good. Oh, I had one in Bolivia. Yeah, I had one in Bolivia. She was a lot older than me. Not like, I think she was like in her 40s. approached a Bolivian one on camera. Which one? He said a cougar will drain you. Physically? Yeah. They will. Y'all think all American women are the problem. What are you talking about? I just turned 30. Am I a cougar? You know? You're just a 30-year-old. Hell, I'm about to be 25. That's not cougar yet. When I was walking inside the store with Jason... Bolivia actually wasn't that bad. Now that I'm going back looking at it through memories, it wasn't that bad. Why was it not that bad? Number one, because Jason was there. If I would have been by myself, it would have been bad. But Jason was there. Uh, and we found some attractive Bolivian chicks. If we would have been around the ones that wasn't attractive, yeah, that that would have been bad. But it was nice. It was It was nice. It was nice being there. Thank you. 
Okay, we are arriving at the section here in Addison. Uh, you're going to do some walking around there. That area in Addison, we can walk around pretty quick. Uh, oh, hurry up. Hurry the fuck up. <laughs> We could walk around that Addison, uh, area in Addison pretty quick. Uh, they, they usually have some pretty girls over here in Addison. We'll see what's going on. I know usually over in Addison, Stir on Sundays, Gloria's, uh, most of the chicks are in that area, or in those places. And they're usually choosy and Stir. At least last time I was here, I know I can go sit there and I get some choosing signals. I could just sit there and I, and at some point I would lock eyes with somebody. That was stir. He said the older women get wetter. Yeah, they do get wetter. Trust me, I'm an expert. <laughs> I'm a cougar expert. Austin, I think you love black American women. You just don't want to admit it. I never hated them. I never, I never, I've never specifically targeted black American women. I grouped the whole damn country as a whole. Check and see if we got any cash ups. Come on, these motherfuckers got this shit blocked off. Yeah, I've always said American women. That's why when uh, people be these know-it-alls be on Twitter like, he never liked black women anyway. The fuck are you talking about? But I will say it's about black American women. They are some goddamn victims. You could, you could assassinate a female president, and black women will say somehow they're gonna correlate that shit back to them. What's it like driving again? Uh, I enjoy driving. Uh, it keeps me occupied. Only thing I don't like is I have to pay for gas now. I have to pay for gas and I'm responsible. Don't start that all women are the same bullshit. Y'all know I don't believe that. Because it's not true. If it wasn't true, we, this channel wouldn't exist. some folks over here on the patio so i'm i'm gonna pull this move i'm gonna pull over so that way they gotta see me walk past <laughs> that's I'm, I'm i'm telling you they see me walk past and i'm gonna stop them if i need to that's why we wear this black puma shirt They see me walk past and that's they ass. This motherfucker drives like a damn snail.
Yeah, you guys know my favorite women in the world are um, Afro Latinas and uh, Kenya women. If I had to pick favorites, those would be my favorites. I mean, those are the places I stayed at the longer. I stayed in one country, one city of Kenya for four months straight. Well, not straight because I was jumping in and out, but I was going to other black countries. Uh, then. Give more false time constraints like you did with the cougar. It's a passive display what do you mean false time constraints why kenya women in particular because they're a good time like they being around them is they're just full of energy they got good conversation they can dress they ass off they can dress they can really dress better than me so they just got a vibe to them Kenyan women of uh, something different. There's out of all, maybe I ain't been to South Africa yet, but I think out of all the women in Africa, they got the most vibe to them. Mm. They got a distinct beauty. That's why I was telling people I'll probably go back to Kenya. And they's like, no, we don't want to see unattractive women. I'm like, unattractive? Kenyan women? They're going to miss a Lucario right there. Oh, I can't stay long. Oh, yeah, I can't stay long. Oh, yeah, I got to run. Yeah, I do that all the time. I'm going to use you guys as my excuse. And I'm going to tell you guys, like, oh, you know, I got to I gotta run. I got to go to, uh, I got to go finish showing them around the city. Because I can't, I ain't got time to fuck with y'all this whole time. Yeah, that was Mr. Locario. Oh, there go a pretty black chick, but she got a dude on the passenger side. It was a dude on the uh, on the patio at Gloria's that looked like Mr. Locario in the face. Had the same hat on. Dark skin. It obviously wasn't him, but if, for a split second, if you looked at him real quick, you would have thought it was him. He said, uh, he said, Wood sent $10. He said, uh, go to La Cava Latina at six. Is women everywhere. Yeah, uh, I went to Cava Latina before. I think I met a chick and I hooked up with her first day from Cava Latina. And it's, it's full of black people too. I think I did that before. I, I did, I did do that twice, right? There was another chick, cause I met two of them. In, so I met two of them in there. I smashed one of them. And the other one, I went on a day and her pussy stunk. So there you go. And it stunk when I didn't, I didn't notice it until she got in the car with me. Cause we, I'm like, I escalated the date. I escalated it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you can, you can get in the car with me. Let's go, let's, let's go to my place. And I said, God damn. You ain't even took your clothes off here. Yeah, that's now that's very over here. That's that's very very common. And when I was in Dallas, man, I ran into that shit a lot. And they was like, "Oh, it's the women you picking, bro? These chicks done had some sparkling white teeth, sparkling white teeth, uh, hair that smell like hair conditioner and shampoo." And uh, he said, you probably still here now. Nah, I was desperate enough to do it anyway, but I didn't. See, it's so bad out here. I remember when I was in high school, we first started running into the issue. And my homeboy said, uh, 
my homeboy said, oh, if you put a condom on, the smell will go away. I said, that's a goddamn shame. <laughs> that's a damn shame that you got to resort to that because it's that bad. That's why I said that spray machine, that water hose that they have in South America and Africa next to the toilet, they need to put that in the United States. I don't know why we don't have that. I told you guys it's a conspiracy uh, because what they want you to do is use toilet paper. So you wipe, 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 and then you get a hemorrhoid because you wipe too much because you can't really wipe it all out. So you gotta go to the doctor for that. So you gotta pay somebody else. So then, oh, don't do that. Just use wet wipes. That's some more shit you got to buy. And I definitely feel like my body doesn't push it. So, get the bidet. And, yeah, y'all need to build a bidet into y'all's uh, toilet. And spray it. Say a prayer real quick. Let me say a prayer real quick. He said any human environment would have musty box. I disagree, boy. I'm not calling you a boy. I'm just saying. And Cartagena is pretty humid. Uh, where else is it pretty humid at? And Cartagena and Salvador, uh, pretty much anywhere. And for the most part, you could pretty much eat it. You know, you could eat it. There was no problem. There was no problem. So saying that, that's not correct. Yeah, no. Nah. A human environment. Because you got to remember these other countries, these chicks that's in them human environments, they be taking, like in Brazil, they'll take three, four, five showers in a day. So, the box is getting washed. So, that being said, you not, but whatever it, maybe it's that salty Chipotle. Maybe they eating that salty Chipotle throwing off the chemical imbalance, making the pH be off altogether. Maybe that's what it really boils down to. So Stir is pretty ghetto. I can tell by the music that they playing. We really looking for a diverse crowd. Let's go up in here and see if we get a drink real quick. And then from there we'll go. Uh, should we sit inside or outside? Which one y'all think? It's a lot of chicks in there, but they all in groups or they all with. It ain't even nowhere to sit in there either. We'll sit right here. What'd you say? We ain't got no cash apps in like an hour, y'all. We need to get some cash, some fives and some tens. I'm out here getting in the real field to show you guys it's really that bad. Hello. He said approach and I'll send 150. Send me that 150 first. Because uh, here, here's why you can trust me with the money first. Because I'm not going to give it back. So I'm going to do what you asked me to. You said approach. I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna give you the approach because I don't want to give you that money back. We ain't trying to do no refunds. Cash up, dollar sign, Austin Holloman, PayPal, Austin Holloman at Gmail. I guess they ain't gonna help me. What a menu at somebody in a menu. Be entertaining. Let me see what's going on though. <laughs> he said go to a group of females. That shit don't work the same way. Hello. You have a menu? That that doesn't work the same way how it does in Latin America. Yeah, make sure you tell them I'm the one that made this stink box go viral. Shit is kind of ghetto, I ain't gonna lie to you.
Where am I going into the States? Back to Paraguay, and then we gonna go somewhere else after that. Remember when you approached those girls sitting at the table in Cali? Thank you. Uh, mm. I need some water. Yes, yes, water. Uh, do you have a uh, pisco sour here? No pisco sour? No. Uh, damn. Let me get this, uh, well, whatever that is she's drinking. That, that Patron, yeah, the yellow one. Yeah, yeah. Get a mojito. Them, them mojitos trash, man. You gotta drink three mojitos to feel something. What's going on? What's up? You Austin, right? Yes, sir. Bro, I'm a follower, bro. I appreciate Fast it, man. Forward, bros, yeah. man. I'm live right here? now if you oh, wanna be alive. <laughs> Bro, you want something to drink, man? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just order that. Uh, okay. Let me see. We got a cash app. Uh, digital. Digital Davis and Wild Dog. Digital Dave Davis and Wild Dog. Thank you for the uh, super chat. What you doing here? I'm back. supposed to be overseas? Like? Yeah, I'm back for three weeks. Okay, I forgot you used to live out here. Yeah, yeah, I used to stay off of uh, 75 Forest. Oh, that's the trenches. No, nah, I stayed on the good side. Oh, okay. yeah, I stayed on the other side yeah, of 75. Lame, that's... <laughs> yeah, bro, I, uh, I live over in uh, North Dallas on the border of Plano and Carrollton. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You from here? No, I'm California. I moved out here uh, from work. You know, California is crazy. I'm pretty sure you've been seeing what's been going on out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, well, that's what's up, bro. Dang, that's crazy oh, seeing you here, bro. <laughs> so, so check it out. So I used to take this girl, right, from Brazil. Uh -huh. From uh, Salvador, Bahia. Bahia? Yeah, that's, yeah that's, that's where I was at, yeah. So, uh, anyhow, um, I met her through my homeboy. My homeboy is married to her aunt. So the aunt was like putting in a word, introduce me or whatever, right? So then um, we ended up getting together. We stayed together for like three years. But what ended up breaking us up was me not being able to bounce over there. So, but this is before like the, the remote work became like so popular, you know what I'm saying? So now it's like, now that remote work is popular, I'm working to like get remote, you know what I'm saying? And. Um, Bounce over there, bro. I'm, I'm like, mentally, I'm already over there. I'm done here, bro, in the United States. That's how I feel. Yeah, like mentally, bro. It's just, it's just, and it's not like anything much has changed here that's made me want to leave. It's just like growing up as a man, like you start to see like how much stuff is against you here. You know what I'm saying? Like culturally. Um, with the legal system, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you start to see that type of stuff, it's just like, you know what, like, you gotta go where you're treated best. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of men, they don't realize, like, there's better out here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a lot better. Hey, bro, let me get you something to eat or something. Uh, I just ate, but uh, a drink. Yeah, yeah, I got you, bro. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, you, you, you everybody got to pay, nigga. Well, you, yeah, you I got supporters out here, bro. Thank you. You provide a lot of value, bro, to the world, bro. I seen what had happened in uh, Brazil. What happened with that shit, bro? It ended up happening because I didn't see, like, how everything, like, like, panned out, but I saw, like... Oh, I just, I pushed it. I was pushing it with the questions I was asking on camera. Yeah. So, uh... Some people took offense to it and it was all on the news and stuff, but I, I left. I just haven't been back yet. Okay. I go back eventually though. Okay. Can't go back to Salvador though.
Yeah, but we gonna keep we gonna keep walking around after this one. Tell so you want some of this? Oh, I appreciate it. I just I just finished eating though. Huh? I was just eating. Though. I was eating, uh, where, where did I just eat it? Uh, Man, this is crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even believe this shit, bro. Like, Robbie, I used to like, I used to like watch your stuff, right? And be like, Man, I can't wait to get out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't wait to be around, like, actual women that are receptive to, like, just regular dudes. You know what I'm saying? And they want like like a lot of these chicks out here, bro. I think it's Instagram. Like they gotta want like these something that just doesn't exist. You know what I'm saying? Or if it does, it's within the one percent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's crazy. Like every chick wants that out here now. You know what I mean? Yeah. I still be shooting. You know what I'm saying? Shooting my shot. It's just like. If I shoot at like a hundred girls, like I'll probably get like two to three. Like the ratio yeah. is that bad. Yeah, like, it's that. Yeah, it's. I've been so I've been doing that today on live. I've been walking. Oh, I'm walking around right now. I stopped here to get a drink, and then I'm gonna keep walking uh, through here, and I'm gonna go back to my side and showing dudes. I guess the difference on it is, and so far today, like I, I asked one chick, like, what's your name, and she's like. Uh, why? And I'm like, oh, you don't want to know nobody new. She's like, oh, I don't need any new friends. I'm like, damn. I ain't, I ain't never heard that shit. Yeah, that's, that's normal out here. You yeah. gonna get that? And she don't even know you like you like a nigga out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, you somebody. You know? A lot of females. They saw you to take dudes down. They mess up and they turn down dudes back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what do you think about this dark skin chick right here behind us? She cute. Yeah. She got a body on her I'm looking at the Hispanic chicks at the table. You speak you Spanish? Glass, huh? you, you speak Spanish? Spanish? Uh, Portuguese a little bit. Oh, That's okay. my ex. All she spoke was Portuguese. Tried to pick it up. I speak a little Spanish, California. That's Spanglish. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you think it's bad out here, right? Cali is way worse. Really? Way worse. Like, I think that's an idea you should do, bro. Is like, when you come back to the States, try to hit like a major city. Like, not that's not Dallas. And then show like your, your crowd or whatever, like what it's like in the major cities talking to these chicks. Yeah, because I need to do uh, Miami and Los Angeles and Austin and Houston. Those white chicks were, they were their guy, but... There's a, it's a lot of black chicks in here, surprisingly. I came in here thinking it was just going to be some Latina chicks. Very low odds because I wasn't coming back. Yeah, very, very low odds. Say something. Yeah, I think I am. Y'all yeah, I'ma holler at this chick. For honest. Oh, they talking about make the approach, you got a wingman now. Now she with that other chick. He said how many times is he gonna say that? Oh, that's funny. That's funny. That, that must be like her aunt or her mama. I was looking at that. Yeah. I'll still say something. I don't see a ring. Jeremy? Yeah. The other, the other girl over there isn't worth the wingman. It's only one girl over there. When you think about it, it's not, it's not two. Type 
you they said tell them to occupy the other one. I got you. We could, but I I don't uh, gonna say something first and then you just like Oh he gonna go first. Uh no, you go because I'm I'm gonna go I'm, I gotta go solo. I don't I don't like to do it like that. I just walk straight up. Let's see what he gonna say. Look at him. It's really only one, yo. Take one for the team. What I'm gonna do is I'm finishing my drink so I can walk off after. I'm about to go at this. You better go solo. Yeah, that's what I do. I used to live in Nairobi. Yeah? Yeah. How, when was the last time you were in Nairobi? Uh, December. December. Okay, I was not there. Well, no. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, it has a... Uh, She's from Kenya. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, I know where Kenya is at. Do you have Instagram? Uh, yeah. I'm a, you, have, you don't have a, a Kenya with no Instagram? Okay, because Kenya is where my YouTube blew up. Y'all y'all big on social media. I'm not. You're not? I oh, see so you wanted the good girls. I don't think that yeah. makes you good or bad. Used to I didn't say it made you good or bad. I'm just saying, huh? Are you like a digital nomad? He used to live in Brazil, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, I, Salvador. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like three years ago, but yeah, she, she only spoke Salvador. Salvador. Really, what's the odds of you living in Kenya and you going to Salvador? Most people don't even know about Salvador. Yeah, just heard about it. You just heard about it. What'd you hear about it? Well, you guys, yeah, they, they are curving. But you know what? Like here in the United States, we yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna shut it off. Like living here, we think that this is all that there is. Or you get like Stockholm syndrome, where it's like same thing over and over and over. Y'all can share IG after hooking up a talk. She says she didn't have an IG. He said cold approach fail, yeah. I'll show you guys. Okay, well, nice. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Nice okay, meeting yeah. you. All right. Yeah, she ain't talking about shit. Um, so that's another reason why I approach solo. Because if, if it's not going nowhere, I'll just walk off. But when you got somebody with you, it's like, okay, well, I'm going to stay here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm going to be around people that I don't know. But when you got somebody with you, you got to kind of stick it out a little bit. She said she ain't had no Instagram. I ain't a, there's no Kenyans with no social media. That's not real. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. Kenyans have so, social media. That's not a thing. That bro really about to smash the fat chick though, yeah? <laughs> He said, no girls traveling without social media. Yeah, she said, yeah, no. Ain't no girl traveling without no social media. That's not true. He said, it's an invasion of privacy. Hey, if you feel like that's an invasion of privacy, get the hell off my life.
Yeah, if you feel like it's an invasion of privacy, you get, you get off my live stream. Anyway, so I didn't leave the guy. We're gonna go back outside. Oh, look at little mama right there at the front. Okay, so he's sitting over here. Uh, What's your favorite place to get in uh, South America, bro? Uh, Brazil. Awesome. Brazil. Yeah. It's still Brazil. It's still number one. And I'll say Chile number two. That's where you was getting the most action. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything was good there. The weather, cost of living, the women, the food. Everything was good there. Everything was good. Really good. I like uh, the coconuts that you see on the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they got some really good food out there. A lot of that food is grilled. It was healthy. One girl says no, and y'all going fucking crazy. One girl says no to the IG, and they about to lose their damn mind. It happens. Now, it was some Latina chicks in there looking. Uh, the one over there with the sunglasses on top of her head. He said women in Texas care about how you dress. Well, they're going to have to look past that shit right now. <laughs> huh? You're not here for a long year. It's our time. Not a long time. Yeah. He said, be mysterious also in my YouTube this. I didn't say shit about my YouTube. Here we go with that trouble to be mysterious. I ain't no, I ain't trying to have no goddamn mysteries. I'm trying to get some pussy. I ain't trying to have no mysteries. That's why I'm direct. I don't, I don't speak indirect. I'm direct because I need to get directly up in you. Ain't, we don't need no damn mysteries. Are your supporters getting at you? No, it's, they're not my, the people that are saying that they ain't, they ain't supporters, they, they, they trolling right now. So you guys, I think I have one more drink and then we go, uh, we're gonna keep walking. Cause that drink she gave me is good. I asked her to tell to give me whatever that girl, the girl sitting next to you, uh, that Patron drink, whatever that is. I was like, give me that. That shit is it. Bro, Brazil's better than Colombia. Brazil's better than Colombia. Yeah, it's I bigger. Saw, I saw that vlog where you had the old girl cooking for you at the homie's house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shorty was bad. Yeah, she was bad. Bro, you had me dying when uh, y'all went to the. Uh, uh, I think it was like a haunted house. Oh, the haunted house, and I was talking to the chick in the haunted house? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was so funny. They gonna give me a horse and eat it? Uh, yeah, that was too funny, bro. Excuse me. Uh, can we have one more of these? Yeah, one more of those. I forgot what the superpower is in a place like this. You speak Spanish? You probably didn't even peep it just now, right? Huh? You probably didn't even peep it just now, right? Peep? Yeah, peep what just happened just now. What? Like how she just like, instead of her stopping what she was doing to help me, she like, hold on, what do you need? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh. Mentality. Oh yeah, that's not. Uh, I have noticed that. Yeah, this is real rude. Like, impolite is what I mean. I mean, very, very impolite. Uh, but superpower here is to speak Spanish. It sets you apart when you're in a place like this.
You have to dress to impress. I got, I got my clothes with me. I'm gonna do a few more spots over here and then go back to my side and we're gonna end the stream for the day because I gotta see my little brother. Hi. Vlogging for the whole day? Uh, probably for another two hours. Have you been uh, across the street? Where? To Stern? Yeah, Stern. No, but I was gonna go in there, yeah. Uh, it was that yellow drink, that Patron drink she had. This is on mine. Huh? No, no, no. Yeah, they are very uncomfortable when you approach them. They were saying that women over here are uncomfortable being approached. Oh, that one with the earrings? Yeah, she bad. Yeah, she said you need a Gucci tank top. Uh, thank you. All right, you guys, last drink. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to have one of those. Yeah, I'm going to have one of those. Have you been to, uh, what's that digital nomad spot in Brazil? Uh, I'm talking about mm -hmm. it's like an island, all the digital nomads go. I don't think I, I think I may have heard about an island that people go to, but I don't know about the digital nomads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bali, not Bali. I was a, when I was in Asia last, I was supposed to go to uh, Indonesia after uh, Thailand. But the air quality was so bad in Asia, I couldn't I couldn't do one more country. It's bad in Indonesia too. Have you read that book, The Nomad Capitalist? No, but I watched his channel. Yeah, you need to get his book, bro. He breaks everything down. That's literally like what I'm using is my blueprint to get out of here. I gotta read you that book. You don't want to just leave. You want to like get another passport so that yeah. you can get residency elsewhere. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. I came back to get my birth certificate to do that. I'm gonna do that in Chile. Yeah, in Chile and Argentina, you just gotta show your uh, your income. You show them your income, and it's like 800 bucks a month. Yeah, you only only eight. You got 800 bucks a month, 1,200 bucks. Yeah, yeah, that's easy. Cheers, bro. Oh yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> Go find some cougars. We'll, we'll find some cougars. You like cougars? Oh, you need a wig, man. I got you. You, you like cougars? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're my favorite. You do? Like that 40 to 50 range within that age. 40 to 50 is like perfect. For, for young guys like us, at least. When you get older, you don't want to deal with a lot of shit. I, uh... Yeah, I'm about to keep walking around here though. If you if you want to walk, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk around here. They said I need a wingman, so I got you. We'll keep we'll keep walking. Catch coming out of stern. Hey, this is old school. They don't know nothing about this. That parking lot people. <laughs> we used to do that shit back in the day. After the club, come outside. Hey, get the stragglers coming out. But that was like last resort though.
It's a chick eyeing me on the other side of the bar, but she's big. Too, too, too big. Don't act like you ain't from Texas. No, I'm, I'm done with that part of my life. I'm past that part. Now, if I would've never traveled, I probably, I ain't gonna lie to you, I probably would've settled for the big girl, because it, 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 You ever, you ever had to smash a big chick because you had to survive, like, mm -hmm. you was going through it financially? <laughs> I've done I've done that bro. I've, I've had a big chick I was smashing before and I was like man that shit was killing my confidence. That shit was killing my confidence. I needed a place to live one time in Cali bro and big chick came in. Hey. Yeah man, that shit was killing my confidence man. But it is sometimes. You came back though, bro. I would have never came back. I would have been like, Mama, mail my birth certificate. She was. We were supposed to meet in Nicaragua, but they wouldn't let me in Nicaragua. So I was like, I just, I don't know. Uh, some people said it was my YouTube. They didn't give me no reason though. It could have been, bro. Big Dog says them big shirts are the one. They was talking yeah. about that shit over here. Yeah. They was talking about that shit over here. They said something about like a Dallas native. She had to tell like, bro, they was like, they were stretching it. They were trying to make it seem like you were like a womanizer, all type of crazy. Oh. I was like, bro, what? <laughs> if anything, I said, if anything, don't nobody love women more than Austin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They said if I pay, if I offer to pay for a woman's bill, I'm gonna get her Instagram. Nah. Now nah, we ain't doing that. I, I get Instagram for free. We getting too many freebies. We don't pay for Instagram. Too many freebies for that. Yeah. Once he finished eating and uh, his drink, we'll go to another spot. I don't send women drinks though. I don't send drinks. I don't pay for bills. I'll pay for the bill if, if we go into the crib. You know, if she, if we out and she like, yeah, I'll go home with you. Yeah, I'll pay for her, uh, her food or whatever drink she had, but just paying for shit, just to pay, to be impressive? No, thank you. I impress myself. Hell no. You got so many niggas doing that anyway. Yeah, and that, that's not, that don't even, you got plenty of simps that's, that's a. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't even know what you had over there. You talking about that chick with the braids? She keep looking over at you. Yeah. Yeah. She looked over here again. I was like, oh, yeah, she's staring too, but she not. But she not. We go. We go wait. My nigga, I said Hollywood, bro. I'm with my nigga. Austin. This shit crazy, bro. Come here, get something to eat. Like who's in office? Like, what do you think about like where we're at right now as a country? Like, if it's too much for IG, then that's cool. I don't want to talk about it, but like, like what's your your mindset with that, and how do you feel about everything here? Uh, I mean, my biggest issue with the states is the culture, so it just depends on. Let me text her. I just put up on her, man. That's mine. I'm gonna go first. Yeah. Let me text her. So black girl didn't want to give you an ID. That one. 
Yeah, she said she didn't have IG. Yeah. All girls have IG. Uh, my mom want me to go through there and fucking drop her keys off. I'll be here for three weeks. I just got here Friday, so I still got a little while. I was going to say, yeah, we definitely going to get into something while you're here. I got to show you around. I'll you, got, you got IG? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll follow me. you already, but... Just shoot me a message. I'll respond to you right now. I'm at to run over there. My mom want me to drop these keys off, too. I'm at to run over there and come back. Oh, it seems like we got another dude that recognized me over here. I can tell by how he's looking at me. Or maybe, maybe not. Look, you see how he was looking? Yeah. Uh, she gonna say something. Uh, yeah. I got, I, I got like a lot of, like, connections out here in Dallas, man. So, we trying to hit like some spots. You shot me a message on IG? Okay, let me respond. Hold on. He messaged me an hour before I saw him. Okay, so um, I gotta uh, drop these keys off my mom, but I'm not done for the day. I'm coming right back out. Cause I gotta finish. I gotta. I still gotta do here and then do Plano, uh, Legacy West. Where, where all have you been? We started in Uptown. Well, Knox Henderson area, North Park. North Park wasn't shit, man. That not today. It usually is, but not so today. Like, let me let me ask you this, I guess. The setting, because I know you're trying to do this for them. The setting you're trying to shoot at girls at. Uh, are you trying to be like in a club or like out and about, like cold approaching, like? Uh, out and about. Okay, so then. I yeah, get no the clubs. Bus. Yeah, North Park. Have you hit, uh, what's the one, the Galleria? I don't like the Galleria, man. Okay. I used to, but not anymore. Okay. Uh, have you hit uh, Legacy, Plano? That'd be a good one. Last night. Okay. Uh, 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 so there's going to be a fight coming up with uh, Devin Haney, mm -hmm. Ryan Garcia. Uh, there's a bunch of spots that'll be showing it. It'll be a setting like this. We hit some of those spots. Okay. So yeah, man. So, well, I'm gonna go drop these keys off and I'm gonna right back out because I'm not ready to go in the house yet either. Uh, I just shot you a message. So we can link up here in a minute. But I gotta run and drop these off because my mom gonna keep calling me. Nice meeting you, bro. Good meeting you, buddy. Make sure you get that, uh, that, uh, that Kenyan chick home, girl. <laughs> Alright. Alright y'all, so we about to go back to uh hold on. We got somebody get me on the way out. Hello. Where you No, I'm not recording you, I'm recording myself. Where y'all from? Nigeria, okay. I used to I live in Kenya. Yeah, in uh, Tanzania. Yeah, what's your name? Oh they don't do that in Nigeria. They don't do that in Nigeria. How you doing? You have a uh, Instagram? You stay on social media. I don't have a US phone number. Yeah, no, I'm here to visit. I'm from here. But I live in uh, Paraguay. South America, Paraguay. You have WhatsApp? You don't have WhatsApp either? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh no! Yeah, you have what? You don't have? Yeah, you. <laughs> uh, I did that because I wanted to make it quick. 
You looked at me twice. What made me move there? I didn't want to live here, so I've been traveling. I've been traveling. Yeah, I'm a nomad. Yeah, that. Yeah, you're a nomad too. Uh, hey, you want to be a nomad? Oh, yeah. You get my nomad is for YouTube. You get my YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm actually on my, my live right now. Yeah, yeah. You want to be on my live? Yeah, yeah. All right. No, this was a pleasure meeting you. 24? <laughs> All right, nice meeting you. All right, yeah. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go drop off the uh, the keys real quick. He's trying to get passport broads in America. <laughs> shit, I'm fucking drunk. Well, I'm not drunk, but shit, that drink is hitting. It started hitting later on. I noticed, because when I was talking to her, I started stuttering. I was like, oh shit, that drink must be kicking in. What these chicks be meaning? Oh shit, boy, it's 30. got some chicks over there. God damn. <sighs> yeah, we gonna have to go up in the stir. Yeah, I got a buzz for sure. <laughs> yeah, I for sure got a buzz. Got plenty of African chicks in Dallas. Yeah, you're right about that. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside the. Uh, oh, don't tell me they're looking at me through the restaurant because I'll be up in that motherfucker quick. Uh. We're going to have to circle back over here. See, my mom, my mom's shitting on the game right now, man. Sit down and let it wear off. Okay, so I, I should go and stir and get a, uh, some water, huh? He said, <laughs> he said, dude got on a musty tank top. Okay, that's funny. That's funny. Okay, we'll go inside. We'll get some of the uh, fucking shoes are uncomfortable as hell on my right foot for some reason. Every time I wear these shoes, they feel like that. Okay, you guys, so we'll go in here and we'll get some, we'll get a sparkling water real quick. And uh, Austin feeling good. So we'll go in here, we'll get a sparkling water real quick and then we'll see what's going on. Uh, it ain't never know where to sit in this motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, we'll sit over here then. Real quick. God damn. Let me text my mom and tell her I'm gonna uh, be over there in a minute. Yeah, it's a lot of this shit ghetto as hell too. I'm gonna get a... Now, I'm gonna go sit in the car and let this shit wear off. This shit get off. This shit get off. Get an Uber or do not drive, be responsible. No, I'm not. Now, hold on. I'm not that lit. No, I'm not that lit. Now. The drink was just feeling good for a second. You have a uh, sparkling water? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He said enjoy the vibes. Okay, we'll, we'll sit here for a minute, man. Let me text my mom real quick. It is ghetto. Shit, ghetto as hell. He said, what's ghetto about it? Uh, what, what's ghetto about it? it is ghetto. Chick behind me looking at me hard, though. It, it doesn't make it ghetto. I'm trying to see who she with. Let me get a good look at it.
But I'll show y'all the rest of the room. I'm not tripping. I'm just feeling my drink. My drink is feeling good. We in, we in Dallas. We're going to get our American women a chance. That's what it is. The place is not ghetto, but the crowd is kind of ghetto right now. I mean, I can't say shit. I'm the one with the tank top on. They said go upstairs. We'll go upstairs. Let me pay for this and we'll go upstairs real quick. This is no alcohol, it's water. Let me read the cash after real quick. Brandon says, salute young blood. Thank you for the $10 cash app. Wood said he's at Cigar International. Women are everywhere. Thank you for the cash app. Uh, Wild Dog said five dollars for brunch, bro. Thank you for the cash out. Uh, John sent forty-one dollars. He said drinks is on me. Thank you very much. Let's see what's going on. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure out what's going on behind me. So, cause she, old girl got on the sunglasses. It looked like she's looking at me hard as hell, but she got a dude all up on her. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Is that your cousin or what? I know the other dude I just met with think I lied to him. I was really about to go home, but y'all said I was lit, so I need to stay here for a second. Let me text him so he know that I'm not bullshitting him. All right, so we gonna go upstairs. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Yeah, you, uh, Austin, Austin. Yeah, I'm on a I'm on a live stream right now. Yeah, yeah. How'd you how'd you find me? I just got back from uh, Peru Friday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where have you been to? You finna go to Sasua? Yeah. Ah. You never been there? Okay, I haven't been there either. Yeah. You've been to Medellin. You got a what? Yeah, I was in Cali, Medellin, Cartagena. Yeah. Yeah. I've been to Four Seasons in Thailand. Yeah. Yeah, Thailand is cool too. It just depends on what you're looking for though. I like Colombia more than Thailand. But Thailand is a lot safer than Colombia. I, I think women, women wise, women wise. Yeah. <laughs> you, what is it looking like upstairs? It's nice. Yeah, because I was about to pay my bill. Uh, yeah, I'm about to pay my bill, go upstairs, and then I got to run to the house. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right, bro. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hey, uh, so we gonna do so. We we just got the bill. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I gotta take a shit now, man. Uh, this is American bill. Uh, tap. Say, uh, tap. Yes. Tap. Only cash or card? Y'all don't have to tap. Oh, shit. I don't have card with me, man. I've been paying with tap. Uh, okay, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. 
he he he's a he knows I'm a celebrity, so he let me get the water for free. Okay. Let's go upstairs. I'm gonna show you guys upstairs real quick, and then we gonna see what's going on. For water, we back in the United States. Well, but bottle water, yeah. This is what it looked like. I'm the only, I'm underdressed like a motherfucker. I told y'all that this shit ghetto. I told y'all it's ghetto. I be knowing what the hell I'm talking about. I'm from around here. I told y'all it's ghetto. So we gonna go downstairs. <laughs> I told y'all this shit was ghetto. I told, bro, I told y'all. I heard the music a long time ago and I said that shit ghetto over there. Oh, uh, they got some holes in it though, but. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm not loud. I was loud because the music was loud as hell. Yeah, I need to take a shit, man. But I ain't gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go drop these keys. My mama cock blocked it right now, so I'm gonna drop these keys off. We're gonna get back outside. He said get back upstairs. I don't know, man. I don't know. All right, man, we're going to do a poll if I should go upstairs or not. We're going we're gonna to do a poll about that. Because, shit. All right, so we just started a poll. This isn't the first time you taking a shit on live, is it not? Were you FaceTime and taking a shit on No. <laughs> I have. You said that. I, I said no, I have. I have. I have done it. Not the first time. That's what you said, you know. This is the first time. I, I have. No, I said I, it's not the first time. Hey, hey you're, you're on a, YouTube. Hey, you're on YouTube right yeah. now? Mm -hmm. You're on YouTube. You're like, hey, guys, I'm taking a shit. This is what really happened. Yeah, that's what I, I do. Oh, you're on YouTube right now? Yeah. What are you doing on YouTube? I'm, I'm, I'm a travel vlogger, so I'm back. I'm from around here, so I'm back. And they want to see what it's like when you be back in town. What's your YouTube name, man? Let me, uh... No, this is not the drunkest I've ever been. I had two You're drinks. Drunk? No, I'm not drunk. I had two drinks. How many views do you have right now? 667. What? We were at a thousand a minute ago. But, uh... What are they saying? Who's that guy? Who's yeah, they're laughing at them. Like, Why are these dudes so weird? They're in the restroom. This is suspect. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just being. I'm just wondering, man. Hey. <laughs> uh, all right, so you're going to invite me back to this table. I'm 
you say, oh. Anyways. Look at this comment section. It's just going. And somebody just said, why is that dude asking me questions? He said the motherfucker's flirting with you. <laughs> He's flirting with you. Because I was in the restroom like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm about to go back to the house. I'm going to come back up here in just a minute. I got I to gotta drop the stuff off. Hey, give a shout out to Advantage Hell Repair. Hey, man, go ahead. I, Hey, Advantage Hell Repair, if y'all got some hell on your cars, give me a holler. I'm not gay either. It's just men talk. Hey, yeah, we gotta do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Avoid lace fronts from Dave Young. Thank you for the two off super chip. So now we about to, uh, we're gonna go back this way. Uh, we're gonna go back home and we're gonna change and, uh, hold on. Oh, let me, let me. Let me get this on camera right here. This is what we're dealing with in Texas. Oh. Show, show, it, show us for the vlog. Can you, can you do it for the... Look, I'm on YouTube right now. I want you to show us for the YouTube channel. Go ahead. This is where we at in Texas. Okay. I'm from, my mama from New Orleans. I already know what that's about. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now you can't be afraid if you're gonna tip the dress up. You can't be afraid of that. All right, nice meeting y'all. All right, so we're gonna go back this way. Uh. Y'all didn't see that in Kenya, now did y'all? You might have saw it in Ghana. Let me go drop this off. He said, give her some work. No, that's not my type. She she ain't ugly or nothing. She just not right for uh for that, you know? Yeah, we know that's the difference that we back in America. He said the simps is hard now. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go drop this off with my mom. And then, uh, now I will say this one thing about Dallas. If you want to find something to do in Addison on a Sunday, you can guarantee every Sunday is something to do. <sighs> they do that in Kenya too, but not like that. Like that's that's an American thing. Like the way how she did it, you only gonna you only gonna see that in America. <sighs> Fuck. They do that in Thailand too. They they I'm telling you, they do that shit in Thailand. They said ghettos for now you about to judge her. I ain't I ain't saying nothing. I ain't judging her. I told her, hey, let's just get in the camera. I'm from Louisiana. Okay, we've got family from Louisiana too. We fuck around might be related. Fuck it. Uh I'm just saying. It is what it is, man. It it is what it is, you know? You got certain people that do certain things and you got people that do other things. So it is what it is, man. It just is what it is. <laughs> and she tried to pull her dress up. I told her, don't be scared. Go ahead and pull it out. If you're going to do it, do it all the way. <laughs> so I parked back over here by Glorious. So now... It was a lot of people in the stir in that, that restaurant I was just in. A lot of motherfuckers in there was looking at me. When you walking around with a tripod and you talking to it, <laughs> people stare at you. It was literally like 50 people looking at me like. So now we walking back by Glorious again. Ain't y'all having so much fun with me just walking around showing you what's going on? 
how can black women get a terrible name but you can't get one you need to ask china i'm the goddamn man that's why i don't get a terrible the people love me i'm doing something positive he said taking up the whole sidewalk okay Fuck, take these shoes off. He said they should have jumped you for calling them ghetto. One thing about black folks is they don't care when you call them ghetto. That's one thing I do know about black folks, at least in America. I still smell good. I still smell good. My shoes are good. It's just uh, somehow after they made them, man, they don't fit right. Man, if my mom wasn't on my ass, I would have stayed inside stir. Uh, one of my subscribers said they was at Cigar International. He said it was women everywhere. Put a one in the chat if I should go over there. I've been drinking enough now. I just rolled a window down on the motherfucker at the red light. I didn't did it before. Yeah, we'll go over there to some good drinks I don't have my uh, suit with me. I have a, a pattern suit and I have a brown suit. I don't have neither one with me. Says suit jacket, no shirt. I don't have my suit jacket with me. I don't have like I left all that stuff in Paraguay because I thought I was going to Colombia and coming right back.
We were in Addison just now, though. We weren't in Dallas. Put a one in the chat if I should go home and put on the white, uh, put on the all white shorts and the linen shirt. I don't know, man. It's already almost five o'clock. Sun gonna go down at like seven or eight, right? It's not enough time. It's not really worth wearing that for like two hours. But if I put that on, the Jesus sandals gonna go on too, though. So far today has been all right. Like with the with the cold approach, it's been all right. It's not too bad, but how many of these chicks are we gonna hear back from? That's what's really gonna judge it. I gotta hit up the cougar. Let me see the let me see my mom's address. Hold on. A lot of people have been watching this live stream, man. Fuck, I had already passed the house. to go to Legacy West or something, man. Let's see. I'm gonna pull over here real quick. Yeah, we, I'm right outside Legacy West right now. I'm telling you, my mama cock blocking right now, bro. She really is. She cock blocking. I don't give a damn. I put on the same outfit I had on Friday. Don't play with me. I put the same outfit on I had on Friday. And I wear it like I did. I 
promise you, I'll wear it like I did. That white t-shirt from yesterday, yeah. We could throw that back. We could throw that back on. Shit. We got a lot of stuff. That white t-shirt ain't done it. Uh, dirty. I said dunny. Man, now you on the freeway or you on the, the main street? I mean, bro, you driving like 50 miles an hour. The speed limit is 70. A young man in a suit for no reason would turn him uh, would turn black women off. It depends on the age range, right? If we're talking about black women under thirty, yes. For some reason, if you're wearing a suit, they'll be they'll be more concerned on why you're wearing the suit, and more concerned on. Oh, I'm not. I'm not good enough for that. Then actually being like oh he looks good in a suit like let me look into it they gonna be they're trying to figure out a fucking reason to disqualify you for this shit versus a chicken or 30 plus you know 40 oh, what, that chick twerking need to be a thumbnail yeah that's true a chick that's 40 plus 30 40 plus like, I remember when I was 18, I wore a suit, and I was walking around town, and I had went in the coals, and uh, there was an older, but she must have been like 55, and she was like, oh, where are you going looking so good? See, a chick that was 25 would have never said that. Would have never said that. It's a difference. It, the black women that are my age, yes, I agree. Now, older black women, they wouldn't do that, no. They'd be attracted. The older black women would be attracted. God damn, man. Hold on. I gotta make a U-turn. Shit. That was an illegal-ass U-turn I just made. Let me text that cougar. I'm going to say, hey, babe. 
Hey, babe. <laughs> Yeah, we're more comfortable with tats in a suit. <laughs> Bro, if you're going to drive that car, you got to drive it. Damn. Driving 25 miles an hour, bro. Got shit to do. Fuck. This GPS need to tell me ahead of time to turn, man. Shit, we got shit to do. What are you doing rolling around with this do-rag on? Yeah, business suit is not the same as a leisure suit. A leisure suit is something you would wear. It, it's going to look more like I'm hanging out to kick it, but I'm fly as hell. Versus a business suit is going to look more formal. Like, for example, when I was in college, I would wear a brown linen suit. Uh, it was like a medium brown. And I wear some blue jeans and some tan Chelsea boots and a, uh, a pale blue shirt. Like, that's the difference. He said, not the young women you need to be dealing with. That shit sound good. <laughs> People love to say that. Oh, those aren't the right ones. Yeah, that sound good. See how many wrong ones there are. I'm gonna fucking go crazy looking for the right ones. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, that outfit I just described to y'all, that's what you need to wear. Oh, I got something. When I was in college, I used to know how to... I used to watch uh, Real Men Real Style on YouTube. And I knew how to pair suits properly because of them. Because of him, I should say.
What you still doing over here? We got Travis over here. He's the runaway child. He got major. Quiet boy. A Picasso? Okay, Lord. I don't think so. Hello. Hey. Oh, you've been eating wings. <laughs> Were you watching my live stream? Uh, for a few minutes. Oh, a few minutes. That's why she told me to come home. Uh, so we got mom here. No, get me off of there. Oh, she she not the same as I yesterday. Was, no, because I look like a mess. I had my leave-in conditioner and all that on Sunday. That's fine. I got my leave-in conditioner too. So, uh, so how was your workout? Uh, it was good, so good. I went to where they wanted. They wanted to see me talk to women on the street, so I went to Knox Henderson. I seen you in the mall. Then I went to the mall. There was mm -hmm. a black chick, right? I said, "What's your name?" She says, "Why?" I said, I, said, well, I said, "You don't want to get to know nobody new." She says, "No, I don't need no new friends." Mm -hmm. I said, "Well, that must be a sad life." And she's like, "My life is just fine." And then she got on the phone and said, "Yeah," he said, "I must have a sad life." Yeah, yeah, that, but that's yeah. not the type. You got to know your target. You got to choose the right target. So, well, we just targeted. Yeah. I'm trying to create a propaganda film is what I'm doing. Yeah. You want to see No, I, I just ate. So then I went to uh, um, Addison. That was ghetto, like you said. Yeah, I told you. Stay with me. Stir, stir, stir was ghetto. When we it's went upstairs, that, 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 that was ghetto. Yeah, it's very, very That good. was ghetto. It's so like, It's like, no, it's not what you... It's not what you and I do. So, one of my, uh, so I came here to bring you this, these keys, and then one of my subscribers wants me to uh, meet him really quick. I know, uh, some of your subscribers have been asking me to start my own channel. <laughs> oh, so you're reaching out to my mom. Okay, so uh, you think I should go over here in my workout clothes or should I take a shower? Wait, where are you going? Yes, wash your ass. Oh, no, we don't roll like that. Wash your ass, sir. Major, you think I should take a shower? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta take it. He needs you to get him a haircut. Austin. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get my haircut today. I'm gonna get my haircut yeah, today. He, he can't go to school because he's gonna start taking him out. You, do you tell Travis, hey? They yeah, I said he's a runaway child. <laughs> His mom finna come pick him up. Tra Travis is a refugee. Oh, my God. 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 Yeah, don't go meet a man. No, he said, first of all, you mind your business. Second, he said, come to uh, Cigar International. There's a lot of women there. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to take a shower, uh, put on one of my go-to outfits, and... Hmm? The girls was looking at me today because of my, my tank top. Yeah, but wash your ass, though. Hmm. Ain't nobody doing Ain't nothing. Uh -uh. I made them breakfast. Now, I need to go to the grocery store. I need to go get a couple things from the store. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I need to go to the grocery store. Just to get... Uh, so, what are you, you going to be hanging out? I'm only going to be out another hour or two. Uh, here, if you if you order it, I got to pay for the delivery. That's the thing. Like I, That's what I was trying to do was delivery for the groceries, but there's something wrong with their app because I was ordering groceries through Tom Thumb. And so, there's something wrong with the app. So, um, that was the issue. Cause I've been lying to people, telling them I'm from Brazil. Don't this one chick. She said, no, we're doing a social experiment. I said, I'm from Brazil. She's like, I love you already. Oh, I was like, really? I love you too, but I'm wondering why in my head. What, what, what's different? Mm -hmm. So, but how did you like the gym? Because I'm going in the morning. You going to get up and go with me in the morning? Mm-hmm. Get up. We got to get up early. I want to get up early. It was empty, though. Yeah, good. That's the time I like to go because I don't like me standing. Here we go. 
Okay, you guys. Uh, so, yeah, wash your legs because you're going to the Yeah, I just need to go to the store right Look, just give me the keys and I can run to the store. Are you sure? Because I got I to gotta meet somebody. No, no, I'm just looking at you. I gotta meet. I gotta meet somebody. Okay, what time? Right after I get out of the shower. He been waiting what on me. What you been drinking? I ain't been drinking nothing. You a damn liar. He been waiting on me for an hour. You think I don't know you? <laughs> he been he been waiting on me for. Well, go ahead. How you gonna cut Major Harry? Don't fuck his hair up, Austin. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, are you gonna be back? Travis said he gonna roast Major. Are you gonna be back within forty? push back. Are you gonna be back within forty-five minutes? Boy, it's not gonna take that long. I just need to run to the store right quick. All right. Yeah, cause I gotta, I gotta meet with somebody in private. Okay, what time do you have to meet them? Uh, six. Okay, that's that's an hour from now. And I want, is your mom on her way, baby? Because I want to I just made her. this shit up. Yeah. Yeah, mama. So I got to. Man, we might just have to take a shit at the cigar lounge. And take it and say, fuck that shower. Because I know how she act. I said in private so she wouldn't think that she could go with me. <laughs> he said these broads still talk about him stinking. Let me let me tell her real quick. Mom. Yeah. I need to I need to head there to meet him at six though. But the dad is done. It's just four forty eight. I'm just trying to target. I'm not gonna be at the gonna go to the moon or something. You might go to the moon, you might. You never know what we in this group. Yeah, so that's why I'm just letting you know. Literally on Sundays I chill at home. So the only thing I wanna do is go to the grocery store right quick. Because I literally didn't want to order pizza. I didn't want this is another seventy dollars right here. So seventy dollars. I had to tip. No, nah, you so, gotta stop tipping. I I, I tip people when they take care of me. I mean, I ain't left a tip in two years. So, anyway, so I I'm bringing the red beans because today's the last day that we can eat those. And I'm gonna fry some chicken. And stuff like that. So, if the app was working on Tom Thumb, I could have already had it being done. I took my hot bath, and I there's a leave-in on my hair. So, I'm going to go throw on my cowboy hair right here. To go to the store. Yeah, okay. So, I'm going to... Because I got to leave the medium at 6. Awesome. You done said that shit like 20 times. I just got to make sure you know. Uh, okay. Grocery, yeah. You going to have to put my cards up. Oh, you leave. Y'all don't do me away and put me in the trash. Look how good I look in the Puma tank top, man. You, y'all can't lie, man. There's, I could have walked in to start looking like that. Come on, man. I could have walked in. I could have walked. I can go anywhere. I'm pretty much looking better than somebody in a suit right now. He said you need a drink to approach that gate. Right <laughs> That's not true. I didn't approach until I mean I didn't drink until I got to uh that Vidora in Addison. Yeah, I look good, right? That fit ain't it. Tell the chicks I have a but uh uh not in Texas, okay, we're gonna change. Yeah, Travis, don't be don't be stalling, man.
Yeah, Travis, don't be stalling, man. I ain't got time today. I ain't got time today, man. I ain't got time. I ain't got time today, man. If you if you trying to if you have to meet somebody at six, you need to go and wash your ass. Okay, I'm gonna get in the shower. Did you take a shower today? Are you out your fucking mind? Yeah. You know I had a bath. I oh. bathed, baby. I bathed. All right. Oh, God. Don't worry, you guys. I'm going to put you guys on mute. We're we going to hop in the shower. Uh, We're going to do what needs to be done. Put a one in the... Nah, y'all can't talk to my mom because y'all going to influence her to hang out. Y'all are funny. I can't give the the phone to mom because uh She's uh, about to leave, remember? So, nah, because you motherfuckers is going to try to influence her to hang out, and then we're going to repeat tomorrow, basically. She said you too. I'm going to give the phone to my little brother. I'm going to give the phone to Travis. Hell no. She ain't taking my phone to the store. Uh, I need y'all, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I need y'all to talk, Major. You want them to, us to entertain? I want y'all to entertain my live stream while I take a shower real quick. I'm not very entertaining. You're not entertaining. You used to be when you were younger. Read the comments. That's entertaining enough. And my hair messed up too. Bro, read the comments. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody worried about your hair. They said, "What is this? An incel thon?" I'm going to Target right quick and I'm gonna take your hair down. Do you need anything from Target? Uh, no, we can't do that. South Patch Kids, come on. Travis, you need something from Target right quick? You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. What Is this you? an OnlyFans? Travis, they want to see you on the camera, bro. I'm over here. We'll take it. Oh, no, I'm not playing Fortnite right now. My baby don't want to be on there looking like that. Yeah, I do. No, they got to be entertained because I got to take a shower. They, it's part of the show. After, because after, after, after I meet this guy, the live stream is over with. I'm not doing 12 hours today. I'm doing a couple of hours. Shit, we already at five and who hours. Who's this guy you meet? Subscriber. I, I'm, I, it's been some people that's been three, four people that recognize me while I was out. I told you that. And I told you at the gym. Wait till we go to the gym in the morning. Oh my God, you guys, morning, wait. So the time that we'll go to the gym, it's, it's a lot of people in there. I know a lot of people. They already look at your mama anyway. Okay, well, What's mom, up? I gotta. Uh, go! You the I one. I, you should have been in the shot. Stop looking at me. <laughs> Shit. He, uh, he supposed to be doing something else and he over here watching what we doing. We want to see Miss Brooks? Okay, here you go, mom. No, y'all, I look no, like a that, nightmare. That's, that's you, mom. No, I look like a nightmare. Put it back down over there. No, I'm not. Today, I have my deep conditioner on my hair and stuff like that. So, Sundays for me is just about doing my deep conditioners and uh, cooking mama. and stuff like that. So, Miss Brooks this entertain us. Mama is ready to take the phone. <laughs> no, not, no. I gotta go to the grocery store. I don't want Austin getting on my nerves. You still I don't want... pretty? 
I don't want to have to go off on him. Y'all will see us at the gym. Y'all will see us at the gym in the morning. I'll be back in a minute. Playing Roblox. Wait, do you die if you have? I hate these simps, man. <laughs> PS5? Uh, no, PC. I got a PS4 though. Somehow you molest children. Shut up. We do is chill. They want to see Travis. Mama too. Do it. All right, look at Mama look up. like she's back or what? Yeah. Oh, let me put it on Travis ring. What am I playing? I'm playing Roblox. Oh yeah, I play Call of Duty. What are you putting it on me for? Cause you talkative. You, you sit back here talking and stuff. I don't like talking. Jesus, how many people, like, people just sit there and watch? You said, let's go, mom. Nah, this is Are you pure gay? Glad. No, I'm not gay. I think he is. Travis might be, though. I'm not gay. I like women. <laughs> I'm not gay. I'm far from gay out of all people on here. Yeah, These con. Yo! <laughs> nah. Bro, if you don't aim it at your screen, Here's a little nerd right here. He spent his whole life yeah, savings you on this one character. You're playing the same thing I'm playing. What are you talking about? Spent your whole life savings on one character game. I don't even got... What? I'm done, man. Ah. No, I'm funny. I'm oh. not gay. I would never be gay. Huh? Nina Buttermaker, you heard what he said? Like, this man is gay. Like, the guy who plays this, like, look at him. He spent his whole life savings on this one person. I'm not talking about anything gay. This man stay talking about how he likes little boys, bro. All right. Get your own. I'm looking at you. What you mean? Yeah, you're gay. You I'm not want gay. that, man. You're gay. Yeah, shut up. If you like little boys, I call just say baby. that. No. He you like little boys. If you like <laughs> no. little boys, just say that, man. Man, you gay. Shut up. My toys, you go, Lizzy, pull up a little Uzi. I just bought a band. I'm tired of the movie. gay comments. Oh, hello. Let's play stage and go. I'll find it. Drag on. Drag on. Dude, your mom got the yams. You telling me that? That's, that's insane. Here, <laughs> it's, it's insane. Yeah. It's okay. uh, I went to Columbia. I didn't like it. Mm. Majors, the man. Thank you. These are minors. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. You look, I look like who? Hold on. I think I know you talking about. Okay, I can't. I think you understand me. I do kind of look like him, yeah. Okay, so what's yeah, Tra stuff? yeah, Travis gay, yeah, he's gay. He is not gay. Where is he at? Play sports? No, I don't play sports. Where is Travis? At? Where did he go? How did you become a passport, bro? No, hell no. He will not. My baby would not be. <laughs> Let me go to the store and mind my business. Um, where did Travis go? Why Travis looks like so Austin. Wait, why is the TV so loud? Don't say that, Major. Oh. Is she? Okay, I want to meet your mom. Okay. You walk through that cafe. I'm going to sit down, though. You have all your stuff together? Yeah, I got to, like, put that in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want to meet your mom. I'm real awesome. Oh, yeah, though. I want her to know. Like, I literally want her to know, you know. Take us to your mom. Who you're with and stuff like that. Did you have a good time, honey? Mm -hmm. okay. I know your mom me. dress. Mama, they like your dress. Huh? You just, I don't know, you what? Really they like your dress. Oh, I look like, like I said, y'all, this is my yeah. Sunday. I don't do nothing. I don't put on makeup. I just put deep conditioner, but I have to run to Target right quick. So I, I'm not willing to wash my deep conditioner off and fix my hair until tomorrow. Thank y'all, though. drive I have to go beat Travis's mom. Come on, let's go. 
Mm -hmm. Mama, huh. this guy in the chat wants some Dor uh, Doritos. After everything that's Doritos? Yeah. What the hell's that mean? It's really nice to see him again. Battlefront 2. He wants some chips. Mom! Hmm? Hi. Potato chips? Doritos. 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 Yes, potato chips. Look, when I come back here, we're going to take this down so awesome. You got to get a haircut. That ain't going to work. Do I have a chick? No, not yet. Uh, uh, that mama sent me to stop. Oh, right here, the JJK poster. Go, John. Make sure you got everything. Just double check. Double check. Make sure you got everything. Double check. probably just bring the school. I'm gonna come out there. W Gojo, yeah. Yeah, I watch anime. Naruto's the best anime. Cap. I, yeah, that's good. Cap, you're amazing. Yeah. One Piece. I feel like One Piece is top 10, I guess. I always say yes, ma'am. Okay. We'll go out the garage. Stay single. She right there. She right here. Oh, she at the door? No, she like. Outside, you just got to turn here. Yeah, no, we'll go down the garage because I'm finna leave anyway. So we'll just go down the garage. Uh, Come this way. Come here. We're gonna. It's the same that thing. That room definitely okay, stink. <laughs> no, it doesn't. What they talking about? They said my room stink. Why? How? Oh, I don't know. All right, let me run him, and then I'm gonna run to Target, and I'll be right. Look at all these damn shoes, even including Austin's Jesus sandals. Do I know Floyd? No. <sighs> You see, Start my own know. channel. No. I might need to do that. A lot of people have been telling me that. Twitch partner, really, winter. Oh yeah, no, I don't. I don't take them seriously. I find it hilarious. I'm fifteen. Barto. The start was bad. Go Gear Five. Where your mom Light at? Light predator. She was uh, with the... Here, come out, uh, Austin Major. I'm more entertaining than Austin, really? I think we should. They just popped me, too. Hey, Austin. Hey, Austin. Hey, Austin. Hey, Austin. Hey, Austin. Hey, Austin. I look 19. I get that a lot. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, though. No, I don't play sports. I want your mother to hold me tight. I bully Austin. I look like Austin without a beard. I don't bully Austin. Hey. Hey, Dora. This is Major. I'm Major. This is, is they buddies. They're buddies. I'm going to dox myself. Oh, yeah, I'm not. I got them some pizza. My plan was to cook. And so something was wrong with my app with Tom Thumb. And girl, I couldn't get the order 20? to go through. And they'll tell you I was trying all the way. And it just didn't work out. So I just a girl rejected you? I mean, move on to the next, I guess, because there's too many fish in the sea. Red polo shirts. What do I think about Floyd? I mean, I can't really speak on him because I don't know him. Give Matt Short, he's major. <laughs> I don't even know to respond to that. Teach Austin how to dress for her. Damn. All right. Y'all teach us at school in the morning. Yes. If you go straight back here, like. What games do I have in rotation? I just play Roblox and Fortnite. I'm pretty basic. Like sometimes I'll play Call of Duty, but Roblox and Fortnite are my go to. Show his mom. Who, Travis? They just drove off. Uh, I thought Roblox were for kids. I'm 14, I am considered as a kid still. 14. 
Damn, I'm 15. Why I keep on saying I'm 14? I don't what know. is this boy? He done, you know what? I'll send it. Don't sell my address. No, there's no, there's no I signs over here. ID. See, I've been doing too much. I can already tell. 15, 15. I keep on saying 14 because I just turned 15. What, what music do I listen to? God damn it. I'll I have an old soul, kind of. See, he got this pistol in here. Play GTA. I used to. Man, do me a favor. Take that in the kitchen and ask him why it's his... I'll just leave the ID on the seat because I don't even know why he have his ID on the seat. Do I have a bike? At my dad's house, I do. I look 26. Damn. <laughs> 26? Do I go to the gym? Uh, not not on a daily basis. Why I look so sad? Because my friend just left. You ain't sad. Not really. Man, you have to agree with everything everybody says. I'm just answering questions so it don't get boring, you know? Alright. Super teenage. Alright, tell him I'll be back. Mad cool for a 15 year old. You are a cool dude. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You want me to come with you? Do you want to? Sure. Come on. Go get your stuff. Talk to them for a second. I'm going to give you some. Yeah. You, this is you and your brother doing this. Now, look, I want to hear up and run to the store so I can get my ass back home. I don't want to be out in public, no way, looking like this. Here, Major. I'm I'm trying to figure out why your brother got his driver's license on the seat. Makes no sense to me, but anyway. I already told y'all I look a mess. I don't do anything but do facials and myself on the weekend. I don't unless I have a date or something. I was thinking of what? I can't read that. Major have to read that. Y'all the comments go so fast. All my son plays is oh yeah i just need to run to target right quick i literally um just need to i really wanted to do like um fried chicken mac and cheese like i i love cooking so on sundays that's my day to just kind of do whatever not go anywhere and stuff like that so um you ready Nah, he, you had a phone back. I'm, I'm going to get the phone back, Doss, because he said he wanted it. He want the phone back. Oh, Lord. Yeah, he just he, can't wait. He, he, he don't want to drive off with his phone. All right. You want me to the, um, you mm -hmm. want me to talk right quick? Yes, sir. All right. Come on. Mama. Mama. Uh, one of the people asked how many tattoos you have. Um, oh, I got eight. She's a Scorpio. No. She's a Virgo. That's a she's a Virgo. <laughs> no, I'm not a Scorpio. I'm a Virgo. That's a Virgo. And this is Austin and Major. So that's but I have many other tattoos too. I love tattoos. They have they have a meaning. Alright, give your brother his phone back. Come on, somebody. Are you gay or bisexual? Who said that? What? I didn't say nothing about being gay. <laughs> Stupid. Something. Is mama a risk taker? I don't know. Huh? She what? I'm reading the comments. She what? I'm reading the comments. Uh, what, they, what did they say? Huh? You going with Ma? Where are y'all going? Man, hurry up, man. I got shit to do, man. Talking about some calm down. <laughs> Who gay in that bus? <laughs> Oh yeah, we got that deodorant on. 
Don't worry, I'm gonna get up in somebody's face right now. I love American women. I was just playing for the last 20 months. I was just playing. I was just pretending like I didn't like them. Take a lift. If it's that bad, I will. But at the same time, lifts are so expensive. And, uh, nah, hell no, nah, I ain't gay. Lifts are so expensive in uh, Dallas or United States in general. I'm going to, uh, that's like a last resort. He said Austin is back, y'all can have it. Uh, stay in the States for a while. I don't know, man. It's expensive being here. Why do I sound more country than my brother? Because uh grew up different. What do you think? Pull these strings. Yeah, now we gotta put on that body oil. What is your favorite tattoo? This world map of my chest. That one. Using coconut. Hell no, my brother don't have tests. He's 15. No, nah, I was just playing. Oh, shit. Wear, I'm gonna be wearing these jeans three days in a row. We spot something moving in the canal. Miss Jefferson, who the hell is that? It's a cat stuck up to its neck in water. The biker, Johan Gray, is competing in an endurance race near Pretoria and wants to win. But he's also an animal lover. He knows if he doesn't do something, the shivering cat will probably die. With no other help in sight, he ties a strap to his motorcycle and shimmies down the steep concrete embankment. At first, the cat... The question is, will that strap be open, or will the bike come crashing down on their hands? Johan decides it's not going to work, so he climbs out... My mind's ain't power tripping, I doubt it. Johan doesn't want this little guy getting into any more hot water, so he flops it over the bike and drives it back to its quick below. Mm -hmm. 
Johan finished second in the race, but really, both he and the cab came out winners. On this episode of In Vacations Attack. I'm gonna put on three colognes today. I should smell like my cigars. Put your hands up in the air. Yeah, you're not playing out here. You got a date already. RJU Jones, thank you for the super chat. No, I don't have a date. Uh, I'm meeting with a subscriber at the Cigar Lounge. Y'all know I ain't gonna turn down no cigars. But we gotta go back to Legacy West, man. I gotta get some action today. Shit. In English. That's the main one of them right there. It's gonna be in English. That's the main part. He said, what if Diddy offers cigars? I'ma smoke my own shit by myself. I should hang out with the cougar I met. got this one from the cleaners. You gotta iron your clothes, man. I iron the inside of the shirt. You're supposed to iron the inside, then the outside. Yeah, no, I ain't ironing my pants. My pants don't need to be ironed. They, especially when you're wearing tight clothes, they don't need to be ironed. I bought my mom this from Vietnam. It's made out of uh, eggshells and pearl shells.
Ain't nothing wrong with Wesley said, man. Hold on, let me use the bathroom again. I stay fly as an eagle man. Like can pay. Gotta stay play a man. So what you do is you gotta get this, you know, you gotta get you gotta get the shirt on right, man. They don't have the right dosage for humans. But even darting the lions could be disastrous. Just because we do fire down. Do it like that. It doesn't mean that the animal's gonna go down. And then put the chain on the same chain. Improvising as they go, officials position a fireman with a high pressure hose. Now they have four dark guns aimed at the two lions. Put the same chain on. In case they miss. And if all else fails, police with automatic weapons and handguns are the last resort. Yes. Put in the lion's life in danger as well as the dog. Zookeepers take aim with tranquilizer guns. They find. It's near us as some of the shots hit their mark. Same to you, but new to them. Yes, I've been wore this shit a hundred times. Too hot for jeans. No, nah, because the thing is, I'm going to be out and the sun will go down and it's not going to be too hot no more. The swelling did go down, yeah. He is 46-year-old Jean Michel, who survived the encounter despite his best efforts to court disaster. The first time the line attacked me, he bit me in the leg. The wound was pretty bad. I had two holes for his teeth. It was painful. But he still can't explain why he jumped into that lion's den. Fact is, he barely remembers it. I was on drugs and drinking excessively every day. Most of the time I was speaking to the voices in my head. Chen spent a month in a psychiatric hospital and now he's clean and sober and healed from his injury. This dude got on drugs and jumped in a fucking lion's den. What a dumbass. Dumbass. I don't give a damn what I get high on. I'm not jumping in no lion's den. Bro, you gotta be high as fuck to do that.
Put the chat in slow mode. So now we're just waiting on my mom. This troll, she got to stop. This troll, she got to stop. Cougars, I swear to God, I was just thinking about that. The Cougar Sponge. I was thinking about when that lady said, I love your hair. Okay, so now we're just waiting on them to pull up. Let me text him. It's going to be about 30 minutes. Like I told her six. Yeah, as a Woo. my father died when I was 10, and ironically, 
property that was the age of our daughter, and that actually crossed my mind. And this nightmare shows no signs of stopping. The horses are screwed, but they're in a full gallop. It seemed like eternity. How he could be underneath that wagon and watch Watch only hope are these two outriders. They're going to risk their lives to stop the panicked horses. Of course, the worry is for them just to be able to stop that wagon. Come out here once a week. And there is another danger. If the outriders stop the horses too abruptly, they could cause a deadly pile of It takes four outriders and cowboys hanging on the back, using all their strength to finally bring the horses to a stop. Dina reaches Mark first and finds him already out from under the wagon. She collapses into his arms. I was just um, relieved that he was up and he was okay. Mark is bleeding from a head wound, and his mom is almost squeezing the air out of him. When I ran up to Mark, the first thing I said was, I love you, and I didn't even let go. Kira is the next one, your dad. She cannot hold back the tears. I was very upset. I, when I oh, back the car. Shit, man. This is this is why. This is why. When the incident happened and I flew out of the wagon, I thought, this is going to hurt. Immediately, I'm dragging beside. I remember looking towards the wheel and I thought, it's right by my face. That's when he miraculously reached in and pulled himself between the spinning wheels. This is the piece that I hung on to. My feet were able to hang on to this axle. My dad survived this wreck by being a quick thinker, for sure. The cause of the accident was this tiny bolt. Just because everything happened perfectly, and if one thing hadn't happened... Yeah, the cigar spot has a whole bar. It's, a, it's, a, it's basically a club. It's a huge cigar lounge like two three times the size of his apartment that's oh my god they have such a nice cigar selection there oh my god 300 different options it must be i have some cigars here but i'm gonna go there and buy a new one just because um just to kick it i got a, a subscriber i'm meeting there and then i have a, a friend that he started off as my client but we're good friends i told him to come up there i'm gonna see if he's gonna come up there I got a lot of people that want to see me since I'm in town. Not even just for a haircut, just they just want to see me. So. Yeah, you could call a mod out and chat and not get banned. It's just we just ban people for like gay shit and shit that's just straight up disrespectful. Other than that, you can say whatever you want because I'm not offended. I think offensive stuff is funny so you're not gonna be able to offend me but other than that yeah you gotta be saying some absolute crazy dumb shit for because i'm not even strict i don't even attract people that are strict like i don't have that vibe Let me text them real quick. So let's look at some cigars real quick. So I went into Cigar International and I got one of my favorite brands. This is a box press Maduro, the Oliva. You know, they make a bunch of different cigars. This is the uh, Nica Libre. Nica Libre. It's a nice cigar. I haven't, well, I don't know if it's nice or not. I haven't smoked it. Uh, then, we have one of my absolute favorites. This is the leaf by Oscar. It's actually wrapped in a tobacco leaf. It's wrapped in a tobacco leaf and you can even smoke the leaf, but it's a Maduro too. Very good to smoke with a uh, black coffee. Very, very good. I love this one. Uh, then we have a, I don't know what this one is, but it has a red, a little flower. So they got a lot more. They have my favorite, the Ashton Churchill.
uh, it's like a medium. Oh my God, if you guys know, I, when I was in Kenya, I smoked one of those every single day. Let me message, uh, Yeah, Churchill's are very good because there's so much tobacco. Uh, and you can smoke it for so long. And you look like a fucking G. Like, the bigger the cigar is, you look like a fucking G. Because, like, it's just, you know, the short cigars are cool, but the big ones, you can look cooler for longer. Like, it's, it's a good look. Let me message you. Take my mom with me, no. I smoke my cigars fast. I do. That's because I'm I, when I smoke cigars, I'm really smoking them to get that feeling. But it is better the slower you smoke it. Yeah, no mom, because I'm gonna tell you what, my mom starts drinking. Like what y'all saw yesterday was not how my mom always acts. That's not how she always acts, that's alcohol. Each one of those cigars were like $6 a piece. That's why I say when people say cigars are for rich people, eh, it's really, you could smoke a cigar for two hours that costs you eight or nine bucks. Like, it's not that expensive. It's a better option if you want to smoke tobacco. It's healthier. I'm not saying it's healthy, but it's healthier. Turn your location on so somebody always knows your whereabouts, yeah? Y'all didn't see what happened yesterday. If you didn't see what happened yesterday, you gotta watch the live from yesterday. He went from Cigarillo. Cigarillos are cool. When I was in Ghana, I used to smoke the cigarillos you could smoke in three minutes. Did that in Europe too. That's when I was smoking just to smoke. Because, like, I just always wanted to stay tranquilo like that. Because that shit, to be honest, it gives you a little high, right? So I would smoke one for three minutes just to get that quick buzz. Especially those Maduros. Uh, just to do that real quick. Maybe 30 minutes. Yeah, yesterday's live is a uh, very viewed live. This one will be too because we gotta remember we had like a thousand people watching at one time for a long time. Uh, I would smoke right now, but I don't smoke. Um, if I'm still out approaching women and trying to kick it, I'm not gonna smoke because it relaxes me too much. It'll slow me down too much. Yeah, it does seem like we uh we are getting a lot more views in the states. Even without my mom in the videos, we get we're just getting more views being in Texas. She said, "Awesome, mom ripped him a new one about a damn SIM card." <laughs> That's true. Instead, he had a large rock near 
still. It reaches the truck, and the crash victims start falling away to safety, one by one. Hours after the frightening crash, everyone is safe and sound. I mean, yogurt. With only a few scrapes and bruises among them. For Raymond, it is easily the most memorable moment of his African safari, and maybe of his entire life. Oh, trust me, it's pretty shallow. I will be looking back in the fashion. Where the hell is that? We finna go find it. I would be on my other phone trying to get in contact with some of the Instagrams I got, but my other phone in the car. I'm watching these things, people almost dying and stuff. The waters here are home to some of the best wreck diving on the planet. He said, You got that adult vitamin in your pocket. You better believe I don't go nowhere without it. Oh, yeah. We stay ready. That way, we ain't got to get ready. No, that wasn't a quick show. Let me see where they at. It's my passion. I always take my camera on road trips now. I shoot footage and cut it at home. You got that adult. Oh! Boy, I told y'all I'd be back. Oh, look at the hat. Did you have a hat on the video? And look at Coolio. I'm gonna take his hair down so you major. Make, I mean, Austin, make sure you come back in enough time to cut his hair. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna come back and cut his hair. Y'all see Major need a haircut. I'm gonna cut him down to the white meat. Did you drop Travis off? You drop Travis off? Oh. Oh. What happened to your face? Your face bleeding. You must have popped a bump or something. You They said, Major said, do we have a problem? I'm gonna take his hair down, so Stop can. clowning your brother, son. I'm not clowning him. I'm toughing you him are, up. No, you are clowning him. You don't want to see that. Here. I'm toughing him up. Look, come here. Let me show you how you tough him up. I bought your ass some banana nut bread. I shouldn't have bought you shit. Me? Yeah. Oh. I know you like banana nut bread. Hey. He said, Mama finna pull up that ginger ale again. Yeah, that sound about right. So, uh, Actually, I'm not. I'm pulling up Cabernet. Cabernet. Well, let us stick to that. Uh, let me go meet this subscriber. Where are you going? To oh. the same place. The same cigar bar. Oh, where we went the first time? Okay. Okay. Well, just be careful. Why you had your driver's license on the seat? All right, because I didn't have I had the shorts I had on. I wanted to fall out. Oh, we're going to look at the cigar. They got a lot of cigars. Guys, I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. Let me... Uh, I'm going to sit down here and take his hair down. So yeah, I need to take his hair down so I can wash his hair really good. Austin, are you sure you're going to be able to cut his hair? Okay. Well, I, so, where the hell happened to, wait a minute. Major, was that the 
the only bag? Was there another bag that? Because I bought pasta. Oh, I put it up right. You already put the pasta up. Okay, because I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do these chicken thighs and I'm gonna saute them and make some pasta with a angle hair pasta with lemon. Okay. Ginger ale. It's Cabernet. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna uh, where the where the keys at? They right there, Austin. Just be careful, okay? Because they right there. Yeah, that's the key. 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 Yeah, that's or just, well, it's just the way how she said it. Okay. Uh, it was a very nasty tone. All right, you guys. I'll be back. Oh. My mom wants a hug today. Boy, Yesterday she was calling me a motherfucker. Yeah, because you acting right. like a motherfucker. That's why. All right. All right. Love you. Love you too. <sighs> Come on, man. Let me finish. Let's do this right now so I can, while I'm willing to do it. You can't go to school like that. Yep, yesterday she was calling me a motherfucker. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Alright. Fuck. Oh, no, I forgot to get my, uh... Allergy medicine. He said, why you got to bring up old shit? I'm really good at bringing up old shit. I always bring up old shit. I will give bullshit new life very easily. Just like a chick. Hey, sleazy, fuck you. That was me. He said another spritz of that cologne. I got enough on though. Cowboy boot.
He said popping that thing already. Put the windows down. Oh yeah, you know I'm a smoking Nicaraguan. That's my favorite. It's either that or the DR. They don't they don't carry I, outside of Africa. I haven't seen no Mozambique cigars. What's up with this GPS showing me the directions for like one second? See, I'm nasty because Doctor Durden said no Puma shirt, no action. I'm the type of guy I put on. I'll put on a, uh, I'll take a shower and put the same shit back on. Cane's chicken right here. Hey, you know, we had to eat canes for a lot of I ain't ate canes in a while. Now, I don't put the same back, the same underwear back on. <laughs> I don't put the same underwear back on. Say, so you know you drunk when you got your hand hanging out the window. I'm not drunk, though. I realized when I was living in the States, I didn't get drunk because I always had to drive. I would get tipsy, but I would never get drunk. When I left the States, I actually started getting drunk. driving too fast. <laughs> he said check and effect got a different vibe. Check and effect is a different person. Me and check cool though. Don't come over here starting that bullshit.
Yeah, and Chick is older, a lot older than me. Hell, I think Chick might be old enough to be my dad. Or if not, my uncle. <laughs> Which there ain't no age limit to an uncle, but you know. I'm glad I, I figured out to do these IRL streams because this is way better than sitting around editing vlogs, waiting for them to drop. Oh, it's not enough views. Versus I can just sit here and just live life and y'all like watching it. No, my uh one of my he said you like attention no my uh my career likes attention if you a youtuber with no attention you're not a youtuber you just got a youtube channel with no with no views no audience youtube likes attention my 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 daily goal is to get as much attention as i can that's how i make money Attention actually is everything when you think about it, right? When you think about the greatest men in history, they all had influence. You gotta have attention to have influence. to pull up right now. You look happier in the States. Bullshit. I'm a mini cougar. Don't be don't be typing no question like that unless you want
up over here at the uh, spot right here. Mrs. Jefferson, where are you at? Hmm, supposed to turn right there. At least I think. No, I keep going straight. She says she's in New Jersey. Hold on, let me look at my GPS in the right way. I thought I had passed it. Damn. Well, that drink's still feeling on me, too. Okay, we finally here. I feel better finally at the eating it salt infested ass chipotle so we just arrived at cigar international there's a lot of people in this <laughs> we'll go here and get a cigar real quick Nothing but black folks. Damn. Sadly, we got to take this charger in there with us. This huge charger. We'll, we'll chill in here for a minute and then we might go to Plano after that. Because we still got to look for some chicks. That's the main one of them. You said there's women everywhere. Let's see what he talking about. Thank you. Uh, there's a lot of people here. This might not be the right crowd, so we're gonna go to the cigar. So, this is the selection they got. So, we gonna, uh, today I think I'm gonna smoke a, uh, definitely another Nicaraguan. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorites though.
So this is uh, this is actually the first cigar I ever smoked. Was this one when I was in Tanzania? I smoked this and I never stopped smoking again. It's not strong enough now. Now one of my favorites, believe it. Look, this is only ten dollars, and this is a a soft one. This is a Connecticut shade. This is a really good one. A brick house. Try one of these. So, uh, but I think these are pretty good, but I don't like them that much, but they're pretty good. Uh, this is my favorite right here. This is the Ashton Churchill that I'll tell y'all about. So, I don't think it's a lot of girls, like you said. This is $15, though. going on uh, it's so many I really don't know which one to pick oh no no yeah I'm about to appreciate it So what y'all think we got to go back over there to, uh, y'all think we better go back over there to Addison or Plano and check out what's going on over there. We could kick it here for a minute, but it ain't really a lot of, this is a nice one. I've had this one. Now these right here are my absolute favorites. They're expensive, not too expensive, but the Olivers right here, $15. This shit will make you feel like heaven. So we can smoke one of these, honestly. Uh, $15. Let me try that one. He said, no, nah, don't embarrass yourself. How am I going to embarrass myself? Now, if I want to smoke really, really quick, like 20, 30 minutes or less, uh, I'll smoke one of these, uh, but a Maduro. These are Maduros. This is like uh, 35, this is $170 a, a box. Now, I don't think I paid that much for a box in Kenya, but they're $170, box, $170 a box, uh, $35 for six. Either way it goes, they're really, they're really good to smoke real fast. Uh, now, this one is actually the one I really want to smoke. I'm going to put this Oliva back. This is one of my favorites right here. So we're going to put this back. In Kenya, I paid, but you guys gotta remember, uh, I had a relationship uh, with the with the store in Kenya. So, like they knew me because I was in there so often. I was able to uh, kind of be like, hey, you know, let me do this and you give me this type thing. But it, I know it wasn't 170 a box. It's not enough for the chicks that y'all want to see in here, though. It's not. I don't think it's what y'all want to see. Yeah. Right, right. Yep. 
Can we uh, cut that too? Yeah, I cut the section right there. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. All right, uh, of course. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Right. Uh, appreciate it. Now, we said we got a cigar station right by the TV. <laughs> Uh, let me open this up. How you doing? Good, good. That's you that uh, sent me the cash out. Good to meet you. Where you, where you, where you sitting at? I appreciate it. It's a, uh... Oh. Y'all, he gave me a cigar. I appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I've been there twice. I heard you was on that cougar. up here. I 
I like that when I had that video because I can take one bag and have a little bit of stuff versus packing all my stuff, the whole house going with me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you had a. Uh, uh, yeah, I got beef I don't know, a uh, bag. A bag. my mom here. Just like that, but uh, they had an upstairs area and all that. But 
This is different.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I ate that Chipotle, I said, oh, I see how I gained so much weight. Yes. Because I lost a lot of weight. See, that's normal for me. I think it's Chipotle healthy. <laughs> I thought it was too until I started traveling.
know, they saying, oh, you know Austin ain't got no pussy in Dallas yet. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you're right, you're right, not yet. Oh, you gotta have thick skin. I like it, it's funny, it's funny to me. Yeah, I got thick skin too, I like deal the world off YouTube. That's what I'm talking about. You can't live. There you go. Right off of YouTube. You can't beat that. Thanks to my subscribers. You guys send the donations. I travel with them. Matter of fact, y'all ain't hit the cash app in like two hours, man. Y'all gotta send a one dollar cash app, man. Just one dollar. Yeah, y'all keep supporting this young brother, man. He's doing big things. Thank you. Me to go around the patio. What? He told me to go around the patio and show you guys what's going on outside. It's, it's, lit, it's, it's a nice crowd out here. But y'all right though. It ain't it ain't no chicks we looking for. Y'all message her. Hold on, let me read this. The girl in Lima just said, somebody left a comment. She screenshotted it and sent it to me. I hope you didn't let that YouTuber that go around the world picking up women take advantage of you. Oh, boy, that's that, 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 That's the shit they own. Oh, damn. That, man, that's horrible. Snitch ass motherfucker. And it, I, we didn't even do nothing. Wow. We didn't. I literally interviewed her. That was it. Boy, the hate is real. Keep doing your thing, though, man. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping no way. So keep on hating. I might expose y'all. <laughs> I might post it on my story. I'm just saying. Right. I'm 
I'm looking for another hater. They, they be hating out here, man. They don't keep hating. We're going to keep going to the bank. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing, she's solid. At first, she's like, can you delete the video? I'm so embarrassed. I said, no, nah, I ain't deleting it. <laughs> I got 11 million views, I ain't deleting that. Oh, hell no, I wouldn't delete that either. That's AMS right there. Oh, that's, that's the new one. Nah, I'm just joking. Oh. There go alpha male strategies right there in the, in the uh... <laughs> that's AMS right there. <laughs> Don't that look like AMS? That look like, hey, you know, Alpha Mills, you know, Alpha Mills, man, that looks just like you. I don't even know, know y'all three or four brothers, that's it. <laughs> I know MTR, I say him, I'm going to say this crazy. So, Eric sent the sub you're with is uh, repping. Hold on, the girl said y'all in her inbox. Damn, that's a damn shame. Y'all that thirsty. <laughs> Y'all gotta cut it out, man. Y'all can go to brew and eat some of that red I ate. You see that red I ate out there, brew? Oh, she said that y'all DMing her saying uh, they want to know what I said about foreigners. So they trying to, oh, like you said, you like foreigners. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> she gonna tell me everything. I'm telling you, all these chicks that I have on the channel, they gonna tell me. That looks just like AMS. I mean, just like you. You can charge your laptop twice. You 
even charged the phone like six or seven
We love the American women. <laughs> Funny as hell, man. Y'all are very funny. Y'all know I'm the type of dude that stay in the bathroom. Voice cracking and shit. Pink one got a stomach. They all got a man. They all like that.
go, Mr. Internet. He said the subscriber you with is repping uh, KMC, KZMO. I did when I was in college. Ace Fest, where you at, man? I'm almost done with the cigar. I gotta go to the next spot, man. Get something to eat at Velvet Taco. One taco. <laughs> he said, Austin being funny, I see the difference on me. <laughs> 505? Man, when I was, on, when I was at Knox Anderson, I was talking on the street. It was a thousand, a thousand people watching. What? You walk down the street? Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> I know nothing. These animals. They told me go tonight. Yep. I gotta cut my brother hair. I might go cut his hair and then get back out. Okay. That's why I love this. Right, right, right. I don't never stop now. That's what's up. I I'm So the girl with her husband, she just said, I could possibly have problems. She said she could have problems with her husband. Yeah, I gotta cut it out, man. I can't do no more content work. Because you motherfuckers ain't got no home training.
Fort Peak Pier when y'all came? Huh? Was it Fort Peak Pier when you came last time? You said you came here yesterday? It was like a third of people, a third. It was, it, that was empty. It was like 15, 20 people here. I've only been 
been the one country where cigars were reasonably free. You smoke? You smoke? You know? They playing that DJ Quick. Now y'all know he's somewhere that's outside my age range. People don't know about DJ Quick. I'm not being reckless, bro. I got my strap with me. Uh, hey there, Austin. Welcome back to reality. I can only imagine how much you must be yearning for the allure and sophistication of these exotic foreign beauties. Now you're back home. Oh, trust me, I know. Thank you for the 10 hour super chat. Get it. Yeah, you know what it is. Yeah, my mama tried to tell me. She was like, oh no, you can't ride with the gun. You goddamn right I ride with my gun. Some of you motherfuckers ain't got no sense. I might go buy me a new one while I'm out here. Somebody go hit the cash up for 500, I go get a bad motherfucker. $500 cash up, we gonna get a bad motherfucker. That's gonna, y'all gonna make me, I'm gonna be safe, for sure. I called you, so you got my new I'm gonna kick it for probably another two hours. I'm gonna cut my brother hair. I'm gonna get back out though. I gotta get used to burning that damn gas. Shit, I ain't paid, but I, I tried to pump gas. I was like, shit, I ain't pumped gas in two years. What are you saying? What are you saying? My mom? Yeah, I'm at the gas station. There's a little high rise right behind here. Always scary, Austin. Dallas got some unshamed dudes. Yeah, don't put it in there. We're not gonna worry about that shit. How you doing?
you going with the uh, one in the pink dress? He said, don't tell people you're packing. Yeah, I don't like to tell people that shit. It's like you said, it's, it's better to have a surprise. You got the wife, kids? I'm the boss, but I got a lady. I got a lady. I got a lady waiting on me right now. <laughs> How many? Or just one? I got one main one. one. That's it. I'll be chilling these things. <laughs> hey, y'all want to walk? Y'all want me to drive you over there? That's right there. Okay. Yeah, walk over there. He said I was about to ride on that man bike. <laughs> my boy Austin, man. So how many countries is it? 21. 21. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think after, uh, I'm going to go back to Paraguay and then after that, hit Turkey. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know, man. I'm in love with South America. That's my fucking calling. I already know it, man. I would go to the rest of South America, but Ecuador is not the shit right now. Yeah. Uh, that's the only one I ain't been to besides the other three. Oh, we just know we walking. We walking. We walking, walk. huh? we we walking go over. Oh, okay. Yeah, out here Istanbul is the shit though. Man, the air, I ain't been in, in the Istanbul, but the airport is very, very nice. So it makes you think the rest of the country gonna be like that too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was there uh, New oh, Year's. Oh, a lot of people go there for surgery. How'd you like it? Yeah, they strict in the motherfucker there. I oh, that's that part yeah. I was uh Barcelona. Hold on, we better yeah, let them go. She, yeah, she, she wasn't she, gonna stop. Yeah, she driving like she from Peru. That's how they driving Peru. Oh yeah, do some network. Got a small little Okay. Yeah, Ecuador is dangerous right now. They got some shit going on over there. They uh, got mayors and shit getting murdered. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's I stopped eating at Chipotle. That's, And I'm, I'm like I was telling him to meet Chipotle healthy. <laughs> All that goddamn salt I ate earlier, I was like, damn. Hey man, eat clean overseas. Yeah, you come here, we got all the HMO, GMO. Movie, I'm like, hey, man, <laughs> yeah, your best bet, I'm telling you, is to do the the carnivore diet while you're out here, cause mm -hmm. that that's already healthy. But that shit gave me a six pack. Yeah, burning fat. Ah, oh, shit. Ganesh, your case is ready, Ganesh. Mm, appreciate it. Thank you. Shit. Yeah, the tacos here, five dollars a taco. Oh, I appreciate it. I just I only need one taco though. I'm just uh yeah, that's the cigar. Uh just uh one chicken taco. The buffalo. Y'all 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 say thank you to Ace Ace Fast. He he got everybody the uh the food today. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's cold in the motherfucker up in here. Damn. It feel good at first. Damn. Oh, yeah, that's too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Dollar, don't say that shit. Thank you. Been out to any bars. Mm -hmm. been back. I was at Vedora. 
in Edison. Okay. Stir in Edison. Uh, Cause you know they got a stir and deep bellum too, but I don't like that one like that. See, see, he wanted a school, the uh, the cool subscribers. Some of you motherfuckers be weird when I meet y'all. Some of Floyd, Floyd out there in Columbia, yo. Floyd is <laughs> Floyd is funny in a motherfucker. They said, watch your drink around Ace. See, this is the good thing about being on live. If I ever do get drugged, y'all gonna know exactly who did it. They gonna be like, Austin was hanging around Ace. Next thing you know, the live stream went off. No, we ain't worried about that, though. Man, it's cold than a motherfucker up here. It's not, it's not even hot outside or no shit. They get, they act like it's July already. Yeah. Got 558 people watching. Y'all, uh, y'all hit the like button. Hit the cash app button. Just spent a hundred dollars on some tacos, man. Y'all gotta hit the cash app. <laughs> Roderick, thank you for the ten dollar cash app. He says, "Welcome back." Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, it's way better than just holding that phone. I know that's right. Gotta find somewhere to prop it up every time. Yeah, they got it cold in them. I'm gonna up in there. Yeah, they will. They will be about money. They won't, they won't, less, they won't less business doing that. <laughs> Yo, yeah, we've been live 400 minutes. <laughs> What's that, five something hours? It's going to be another. Yeah, we, it's gonna be another eight-hour live stream. What's, what's the longest you ever streamed the live stream? Twelve hours. That was yesterday. That was yesterday, all day, all day. I was live the whole day. <laughs> Shit, we went to get a SIM card. Uh, me and my mama was arguing on the live. Oh, they 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 had fun with that. Also, the chat got divided. It was one dude going back and forth with somebody for two hours. Two hours. <laughs> we went to Dave and Buster's. We went to Stonebriar Mall. So you had, you had been to a To where? Landscape. No. What's that? You gonna miss the concert? You like? Cause I don't think it was built up before you. This is a built up area now. Oh shit. Yeah. Tyrese says, uh, where you at now? We have Velvet Taco. Thank you for the cash out. Velvet Taco. I only need one taco because cigars give you gas. That's why I got this. Now, that's a reflux. If you so it depends. It, it depends on which one you smoke. I remember at one point every time I smoke, I was literally have as like bubbles come up. Yeah, but I smoke a lot though. Yeah. That was four, four or five. When I what was I when I was smoking uh, Ghana in Kenya? I was smoking Ghana, Kenya, Argentina. Four or five cigars a day. Damn. Yeah, man. I, I was going hard. I was going hard. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta slow down there. <laughs> Buenos Aires, I wouldn't get no action like that, so I just kept smoking, kept smoking. Yeah. When I did run into some action, I was too relaxed. I was just sitting back like this. So Brazil still takes the case? Brazil, number one. Chile, as far as South America, Chile, number two. Peru, number three. You get to Spain. Spain. Right, a lot of people say it's Spain and Portugal. Portugal for sure, though. Yeah, I've been to Madrid, Spain. That was pretty tough. Jose, thank you for the two dollar cash app. They there. I'm man. Now, when I went, it was like Spain is like a tourist city. Yeah. Where everybody's coming and going. They got like the beach and everything like that. They nice to eat it. Really? Really? 
Tel Aviv, uh, where? That sounds like uh, Israel, right? Man, I got a chick in Israel. I met in uh, uh, Colombia. She sent me a video yesterday of them shooting rockets. She could see the rockets from her house. But she was like, oh no, that's normal. Like, that's normal. I'm like, damn. That's gotta be some scary shit. And for them to be numb to that shit, like, oh, that's normal for them to be going at war that, you know, 10 miles away. Damn. Hell no, I couldn't live like that. No, me neither. You're right. Because she was, she was in Colombia. She's like, I've been traveling around South America, but I'm going to go back. I said, go back? <laughs> Should I be a refugee? Cause she showed me that uh, that Iranian uh, airstrike they just put out with our missile. She sent me a video of that. She sent me a video of that. She she sent me a video of that. She was asleep, but her sister took the video. They could see it from the house. It was super close, super close. Hell no. Appreciate it. So my boy, that, uh, he's getting off papers or whatever. He wants to get a table. When do you leave? Three weeks. Yeah, it'll be May. Uh huh. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So Velvet Taco has really good tacos. They're just super expensive. They five dollars a taco. But five dollars a taco is all right here because you only need two. Two tacos and you're good. Now I tell you guys, don't ever order them uh, lavender tacos. I'll never buy that shit again. I bought that. I was like, bro, like. Not only was this shit nasty, but it wasn't even filling either. These will fill you up. Yeah, five dollars a taco is insane. Trust me. And we in. That's why I'm, I'm not going to New York or Miami. California is crazy. When it comes to the traffic, the price, the laws, oh, I don't see why. I see why they leaving that motherfucker. cigarette smell though I don't want on some dates up smelling like a cigar at one point I was so I was so hooked on him I said fuck it I, I done been on dates smoking a cigar I was like I don't give a fuck I'm new to this shit I love it she's about to deal with it <laughs> can't have a main one right now Well, I do, but they not. We not consistent. My freedom is 
You know, I'm sure. <laughs> Another one, I'm gonna be sleepy. Appreciate it again. I remember the night we put you on, put me on what? He said the Columbia had you ready to book another month to brew. I told her that too. I told her if I hadn't bought my flight back to Dallas, I was gonna buy another month. Hey, old boy can keep slandering my name. He can keep slandering it. I don't give a damn. Uh, alpha male lifestyle. You ever seen it? He, he called me a nigger on the video. I think he did it twice. So, yeah. He's a failed YouTuber, though. Hell, he probably gonna review this video. He reviewed, he got about 50 videos about me. Him, the African lady, she got about 100 videos. They got short videos, 60 seconds. 60. Yeah, it ain't working either. I feel like I've seen you somewhere. I know, so big Hold on one second, hold on. Where y'all want to go next? Is it going to be some cheap there? Because they want to, they want to. Because we, uh, they want to see me approach some chicks. So I was thinking either Addison or, uh, Plano. You think Addison? It was some chicks up in there too. I was at a uh, Citizen Friday night. That shit was whack. Chicks in there had no conversation. Oh yeah. Mm. That white chick he got with him. AMS is out of uh, Atlanta, I think, or New York. One of them. I think he's in Atlanta now. Yeah, that one, the one with the black dude. That that wind blew that little dress up she had. That's I was like, damn. Yeah, so I guess we can hit stir after this. Go to stir and uh, yeah, I got somebody. My other homeboy is gonna meet me up there too. Woo. Yeah, that's why I only got one taco. That's all you need. Well, two is all you need, but. Yeah, it's worth the five dollars. It's worth the five dollars. <laughs> nah, I'm not starving no more. Yeah, I done been. I done, I don't. I think our only place I haven't been is Grandscape. I've been everywhere in Fort Worth, Arlington. I grew up, I was born in Fort Worth, grew up in Arlington. I was in Dallas for three years. Seguin. You? Louisville. Lu uh, that, that's in Louisville. Louisville High. Okay, my barbershop was in Louisville. Yeah, over there by the, uh, it was by downtown Louisville. 
Old Town. Old Town, yeah. It was, uh, uh, damn, what was the name of that street? But it was right off 35. Because uh, I used to exit 35. I used to go from 635, 35, uh, you know, the vitamin shop off 35? I think so, but it, it's, it's, uh, it was by the Chipotle in the Walmart. It was like, that was like five minutes from where my shop was at. Mm -hmm. I was telling them a lot of people that watch me from this area. A lot of people. Now, I want another taco, but I don't need one, trust me. The live stream will be over with. Yeah, let me use the bathroom real quick. Man. Oh shit, we got another guy right here. Hold on. He uh this is the guy we met at the North Park. Oh, appreciate it. So take your pick of what you want. All right, I had a I had this one before. Man, I'd have been in so many countries where they faked that one. Fucking banana Cuba, banana leaves. Yeah. <laughs> they, I was Cuba. smoking banana leaves. I don't she don't really like me smoke, so don't I do flavor, man. That's every time I do something they gotta be like the flavor. Man. I had two or three flavors. I tried this one, I ain't had this one before. You need I appreciate to it. it. Or cut it, let me know. I'll hit yeah. you up on what's up, man. She's okay. Like, I'm I'm in Frisco right down the uh, the next next yeah. Texas. So okay. I'm right around here. Yeah. She's I like, bring that brother's wife. <laughs> like I'll do that. Where's your uh, wife from? Dominican Republic. DR. Yeah. I gotta make my way over there. Yeah, I gotta make my way over there. Let me know though. Yeah. So Sue ain't gonna go to the Where where uh where you go? She's from Santiago. Santiago. Santiago got beautiful women. Santa Domingo got the, the best bodies. If you're just trying to pay for play, yeah. the sewer, but they not the hottest. Okay. Yeah, I, I know they kind of ghetto in the sewer. Yeah. 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 You, you do much better like Santa Domingo. Okay. Okay. I hit you up on one Yes, time, sir. Man. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Yes, sir. You too. Let me, uh, all right, let me use Getting free cigars today. I appreciate it. <laughs> I, sh I shouldn't have bought no cigars, man. He said his uh, his wife was watching the live stream, so he pulled it up. <laughs> That's crazy, ain't it? Yeah, when we were in uh, North Park Mall earlier, that was a guy I met in the mall that said he knew me, and he was with his wife. You never know who's watching you, damn. How he knows so much about the sewer. Well, I'm pretty sure that's where he started it. I don't know though, but everybody, it's like being black going to Thailand, right? Most of us gonna start in Pattaya. Cause my first time in Thailand, I was in Bangkok for a day. If you guys remember, I was in Bangkok for a day, and I was like, ah, uh. want some Churchill cigars? Oh yeah, that was basically a Churchill I got. It was just a, a, a skinny one. Yeah, we got a lot of love in the States. Damn, that's crazy. Cedar Springs, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know about Cedar Springs, man. Ooh, it's freezing cold up in this spot. When we get to 200,000 subs, we're gonna have to get some security. <laughs> Yeah, we need another drink. Um, you must you must be an alcoholic. You always want me to drink. I don't mind drinking. What's the most ghetto part of DFW? The South? Uh, really, it's ghetto all over DFW. Like in North Dallas, it's hood. Where I used to stay at, they used to break into cars and stuff. The people from the I stayed on the good side, so one side is super rich. 
and then the other side is like Mo three. Appreciate it. North Dallas is a, the rich part of Dallas, but there's a, just like, see, uh, you know, in a lot of cities in Dallas, uh, I mean, in a lot of cities in the States, the Southern part usually be the hood part, or there's one side of the city that's hood, but uh, in Dallas, East Dallas is hood, but they, they re-gentrify uh, re in that area. And uh, West Dallas is a hood as fuck. North Dallas got a hood. And South Dallas is a no-go zone. Unless if you're talking about the South Dallas near Uptown, because that spot is being re too. Y'all ready now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, happy birthday, Amaya. All right, y'all. So we're going to go back over here to Addison. And uh, shit. From, go to stir? Yeah, the stir, sir. Right. I'll meet you up there. Yeah, I went up there earlier. It was it was a it was a good crowd up there earlier. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna meet you up there, big dog. Okay. Yeah. I'll see you in a minute. Appreciate it again, man. Nice All right, nice meeting you as well. All right. Hello. Hey, I'm on my way home, baby. <laughs> uh, no. Nah. Don't worry. You got something? What's we gonna eat? You got something to the Or do I need to stop? Oh. Yeah. I tried uh, this restaurant right here. Oh. I'm on my way home. Don't worry about it. All right. Another uh, broken egg cafe. They said your wife pissed off. <laughs> I ain't married. That's my main lady, though. I'm, I'm, I'm divorced. <laughs> I ain't never getting married again in the United States. <laughs> you made it out of okay. I got my daughter from my first marriage. I made her mother. I just said her son every month. There you go. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a minute. That's a cigar. That's the place we was just at right now. Y'all see they playing uh, uh, uh that's Ti. Uh, uh, what you uh, what you know? Yeah, what you know? <laughs> they said BMT said fuck that. I ain't going to Addison. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the BT go home. <laughs> <laughs> Lady. <laughs> All, right, All right, bro. Nice meeting you again. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, we're gonna ride over here to Addison. See, the IRL streams is good, man. It's good. Hey, uh, 
right. I'm a Kenyan fan currently in Grand Prairie. Y'all know I love them Kenyans. Oh, shit. Put the phone back on the charger. Shit all on my pants. <laughs> We're gonna go to Lava Casino too. I meant to stop back by the crib in a little bit and cut my little brother hair. I wish I would have noticed his hair needed to be cut yesterday. So I could have did it yesterday. <laughs> He said the fizz in Plano. <laughs> he said now my family watching. That's good to know. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go kick it. My, my dad works all throughout the week though. So I'm gonna have to go kick it with him probably next weekend. My brother uh, <clears throat> stays in Fort Worth, so I gotta go over there too. I got some people to see in Fort Worth. My mom, but they live in the hood, right? Uh, my mom is like, oh no, I don't want you over there in the hood, which I would agree, but I still gotta slide over there one time. I ain't gonna spend, I ain't gonna be on no Nipsey Hustle shit and spend a lot of time over there. Hold on. Hold on. He said, that's my car. And I know, and I know the area, so I'm not looking for nothing. Uh, I know we're all in here. He said, "Be in and out, you'll be all right." Yeah, I'll probably be over there about an hour or two. Whenever I go see my brother now, but the, I'm gonna let y'all know they live in the hood. It's not about being scared to go. I'm definitely not scared to go over there. Uh, ain't nothing gonna happen. Ain't nothing gonna happen. When I'm, ain't nothing gonna happen while I'm over there. That's for shit show. <sighs> but it's just we uh, we've already seen with many influencers and celebrities how that shit. I have one sister, but my sis. I have one sister and my brother. I didn't meet until I was 15. I want my chapstick. I gotta have that. But I'm gonna go up here and meet my other uh, homeboy real quick. I got another homeboy uh, coming into town. I got a lot of people. I mean, I, I had friends in Dallas. Just <sighs> it's different now though, because I have <laughs> a, a following, so it's different. What was the Indian chick talking about? Not a damn thing. I guess she mad because I went to hang out with my own boys instead of her. Nobody worry about that shit, though. I need my chapstick. I must have left that in the crib. Oh, I know. It's in my, my shorts. Oh, shit. Good thing ain't no police around because, boy, I'd be driving like... I didn't got used to driving or uh, to riding in uh, these other countries. Man, I've been to Irving, man. Irving is like that mall, that, that dead ass mall y'all got in Irving. It says a lot about Irving. Like, I remember I went there once <laughs> to that mall. Irving is, Irving is, most of DFW is looking like this. It looks brand new. Everything been built within the last 15 years. Were you going to pit stop? Were you going to pit stop after the United States? Austin, were you going after your pit stop? Oh. Um, I'm going back to Paraguay. 
Paraguay is my place of just sitting there. Right, hold on. Those Paraguay balcony lives. Yeah, I think I might stay at the same spot. Paraguay is home. Like, Jason and I were saying that when we go back there, it feels like we're at home because it ain't nothing going on. We don't know a lot of locals like that. We know other expats, you know. So passing by So, one thing I like doing the police roll by, I put my shit on cruise control. <laughs> that way I know I'm uh, driving the speed limit. Thank you for buying a digital nomad uh, starter kit. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the subscribers that's pulling up on me dropping gifts. Any of y'all know uh, Jake Taylor Jacobs? I got uh, that's one of my homos too. He I used to cut his hair for four years, three years, four, three years. <laughs> that dude, but he he's a super loyal client. He done flew me to Florida. I done pulled up at his house, his uh his workplace. He done came to my house to get his hair cut. Then came to my barber shop. I done cut him before the set. He said, I got to delete my comments uh, speaking bad about Austin. Yeah, man. I'm your only friend. I'm the main I'm the main one that's going to tell you the truth, man. Even if it get me in trouble. Dallas Parkway. Let's see. Just ran that yellow light. Pull up the stir here for a little bit. And then, uh, I gotta shoot back by the house, cut my brother here, step back out again. <sighs> Floyd should do this. He should go live while he's driving around Texas. He should go live while he's doing his audits. left lane to slip to road Dallas. Man, I gotta get some more chapstick. I don't know what I did with my... I thought I had two of them. Oh, that's right, he did total his car.
you said get drunk for the rest of the stream. Maybe later. I'm not too drunk though. I don't because I gotta remember I'm in the states. If I leave my car some places, they might tow it. I get I get tipsy when I'm when I'm driving. I don't like I said when I was in the states last. I wasn't getting drunk. Some crazy shit, man. I remember in 2020, I did get drunk. I was drinking that whiskey called uh, Whistle Pig. Before I realized I was allergic to whiskey, that was what I used to drink. I fell asleep at the red light at Forest Lane at 75, right outside my house. I was sitting there like this, and the green light woke me up. But the, the light had been green for a minute, and I was like, oh, shit. I can't do that again. But that, it wasn't cause necessarily because I was lit. Austin, you sold your home in Dallas to go travel Latin America. I had an apartment. So, uh, so three things. But I was tired. That's why I fell asleep. I was overworking back then. Uh, three things. I uh, I had an apartment and I had a barber shop. I had to pay $3,000 to get that barber. Man, I was spending a lot of money to leave the States. I had to spend $3,000 on that. And then I had to keep paying my rent for another three months because I only had three months left on my lease. I had to pay rent for another three months. I am allergic to whiskey, I'm telling you. Whenever I drink whiskey, my uh, sinuses will get flared up and I won't even, I'm damn near, it's certain alcohols I'll drink it and I won't even be able to breathe. Like if I drink, if I drink a swallow of beer, it'll feel like I got an apple in my throat. Yeah, I made sure I kept my car because my car, I still got another, uh, I got this car 2019. I have a six year lease on it, so it'll be 2020. It'll be next year. I'll be done paying the, really almost 2026 because it'll be at the end of next year. And then I'll be done paying it off. car do I have? Don't worry about what kind of car do I have. Can't give y'all that many details. But I will say, like somebody's brought up some beer in the DR, there are some beers that I have drank, uh, like IPAs. Those didn't mess up my sinuses too much, but I think it was a number of things that made me feel like that, but it is beer. Cause I drank, when I was in uh, Bolivia, I tried to drink a, uh, uh, I don't even know. I think, it, what's the one that's with an H? It's in a clear bottle. Uh, Heineken. I tried to drink a Heineken. Well, I guess it's in a green bottle, but I tried to drink a Heineken. Or it might've been the one with a C that's in a clear bottle. I tried to drink a Heineken and I had a little sip because I knew I was allergic. And Jason had to walk me back to my apartment because I was <sighs> like I was <sighs> like I, I'm, I'm definitely allergic to that wine. I used to be like that. So I have to buy like the most expensive, not the most, but a very expensive wine that doesn't have the sulfates and all that because otherwise it'll make me. <sighs> Why Paraguay, not Uruguay? Uh, Paraguay is cheaper. Uruguay is like being around here. $50 for an Uber. $20 Ubers for 20 minutes. You're not going to save too much money being in Uruguay. In July, I would recommend you be in uh, Europe. But I was in July in Kenya. I mean, I was in Kenya in July. And uh, Kenya, even though it's wintertime over there and you got to wear a jacket, go look at some of my vlogs from when I was in Kenya in July. Lit. That's when I met Troy. It was lit. Kenya was lit. But I like beer. But not only am I having an allergic reaction, I'm, I have gas so extreme 
it'll have me hunched over. Like if I drank beer, I would have to take a, a, a gas pill or something to prevent me from getting all that gas. Cause it'll have, it'll have me. I'll be damn near ready to cry. Like it'll be that painful. It's just not worth it. I almost ran over this little cute Asian chick. Hmm. Yeah, so I can't drink beer. Wine, sake, I love sake, but I can't drink that. It's so much shit I can't drink. That's why I only drink gin and vodka. Those never, those have never made me feel no type of way. Man, all these spot, uh, parking spots filled up. I'm going to park right here. Hold on, I'm back up. Go ahead and go. Go ahead, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and get off my ass. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna get this parking spot right here. Cause I can already see. I ain't gonna find nowhere else to park. Oh shit. the fuck out the way. I'm gonna leave my charger in the car. Yeah, they ask me cop questions. See what we got going on. See if Ace Fast is out here. We're going to wait downstairs for him real quick. See what's going on. Oh, that's right. I don't, hey, you need a physical card to be up in here. So they don't have tap pay. No, it ain't no white folks up here like that. It don't seem as lit as it was a minute ago, though. Like, it's not as many people downstairs. Ace Fast City, about 10 minutes out. Thank you for the $2 super chat. I had to cash out my subscribers. I ain't gonna ask nobody for too much. It's some chicks that be over here in Sturgo. It's the same spot, yeah. Oh, shit. I would say Legacy West, where I'm at right now, sir. Uh, See if we got any cash apps, y'all. Let's see if we got some cash apps. How you doing? Uh, you have a uh, uh, that kettle one, the Sprite. Yeah, yeah. One shot. One shot. Uh, my my own boy's coming with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is the spot with the upstairs. Yeah, 
Man, I do not have my uh, chapstick, man. That shit killing me. Your hair is so cool, do you have diabetes? I would hope not. Last time, I, I got my blood work done recently. I ain't got no diabetes, I ain't got nothing wrong with me. Thank you. He said, bro, you still meeting dudes. Yeah, man, I gotta meet my homeboys. It's Sunday though. Over here at uh at uh Stir. Stir is like a daytime spot. So like after about uh around eight, nine o'clock, this shit gonna be dead. I'm just going back here and then we're gonna go somewhere else from here. Hey, Perver Ray, you talk a lot of shit. I'll show y'all downtown Dallas. He said, where's that incel wingman? I don't think he know incel. I gotta hit him back in the DM, but uh, oh, my other phone in the car. I need to get my other phone. So you know it is what it is. Ah. Yeah, it's just now getting dark. And the thing is that summertime, it's uh it gets dark at nine o'clock. It gets dark at like an hour. How y'all doing? It gets maybe Oh, YouTube, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. So I just have to ask why. I'm a YouTuber. They, they, I, I go around the daily life. What's going on? Long time What's going on? What's going on, man? Uh, I, I put y'all on the video. Uh, hi. Oh, wait, no, don't, don't, don't do me. Don't do what? Don't do, don't do. Oh, she got scared. She shocked I picked her. YouTube. Right, right. She shocked I picked her. Um, huh? That's, okay, there's like 2,000 and there's like 200,000. Okay. 90, 96. Okay. That's right. What's going on, man? How's Long doing? time no see. Doing good on the beer. Well, he just did it. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't awful of him, you know? Oh, yeah, I got, I got the dial with me. Right, 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 right. You don't do nothing else. You just, I'll be like, man. What's going on, man? How's life? You back in the thing. I'm readjusting. It's, yeah, life it's is great, though. though. It's different. It is very different. Very different. Yeah, I'm readjusting right now. Yeah, it's very different. What are you drinking? Gin. Kettle one. Kettle one. That gin, I, I'm tired of that gin fucking my stomach up. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. No, I'm fine right now. Thank you. They said she, he, he thinks that you're cool. He said, they said they think you're cool. But you don't want to be on camera, so, you know. But thank you. Kettle One is good. Been live for five hours. No, 500 minutes, how long is that? 500 minutes? 60 minutes to an hour? Six hours. Six hours. I was live for twelve hours yesterday. They want to see. They want to see me do everything in uh, life. Yeah. Yeah, 
Huh? You met with your mom? Yeah, I'm staying where. I said, have you met her with her? Y'all been kicking it? Oh, yeah. yeah. But you know, my mom. Don't do that. Got it, got it. No, they saw it. Oh. <laughs> they saw it yesterday. They saw my mom. <laughs> she's only when she's been drinking. Yeah. Only when she's been drinking. Have you, uh, oh, you don't really drink though. You're spitting though. I was just telling them that in bourbon. On the bottom left? I don't know what, it feels like I haven't left. You miss you, man. Yeah, it don't, it don't really feel like I left. Like I'm driving the same. I don't feel, when I got back, I was like, I just got out of jail. Right, right, right. It looked like, okay, hold on, I gotta readjust. We got freeways. Yeah, real freeways. No, no, yeah, real freeways. There was no freeways in Paraguay. Hey Kev, you love talking shit, man. He said he drinks just like his mother. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like, cold down here. It is. I was upstairs earlier. It was, it was. It was lit up there earlier. Yeah, I hear the music. This ain't a subscriber. Well, he's a subscriber, but I knew him in 2020.
Like, oh, you know, because yeah. everybody dressed yeah. like this. Yeah. And they were looking like, oh. Yeah. That's why I'm like, yeah, I can't. I can't go to the cigar lounge, man. I'm not. I'm not. It's not right. They got it too cold over here, though. That's because you've been in all the other countries, and it's used to, like, the warm. Where I was at Paraguay, it was 105 every day, and it was humid. It was humid like you were in a beach, but it was in a jungle. So it was that jungle humidity. So it literally, it literally felt like the sun was like this. That shit was hot. Like, it was hot. It was so hot, people weren't even at the pool. Yeah, it was too hot. They said it's time to approach some whales. <laughs> Love seeing you talk to him, huh? It really ain't nothing like uh, some of these older chicks. Yeah, older, yeah. Now, unless they want to see you talk to some old people, like them chicks over there, they, they out of it. They like shit. They like them cougars, though. Cougar will fund the next trip. Right, right. They want a cougar to fund the next trip. Y'all gotta fund it. You gotta go nip it. What y'all feel like doing? You gonna go to the house? Oh shit! Appreciate it, bro. You went over the side park. Okay, it's gonna be more people inside. How many people you got watching? Five, seven. What state was proud? Man, I done took a shower and it was still 400 people watching. I was going 30 minutes. They stayed. They stayed. They, they love me. They love me. I love y'all too. They said this nigga been lit. I've been watching him for 45 hours. I ain't been lit the whole time. That taco even me out. I can't even feel this. That's exactly what I had with some tacos. From where? I'm trying to check it out upstairs. We can go upstairs. Yeah. All right, you guys, we're going to go back upstairs. Good to see you again, Paula. Y'all yeah, dress for me. Oh, no, yeah, we'll I actually, I gotta go back to cut my little brother hair, and then uh, I gotta come back out. Yes, I'm coming back to cut major hair. I'm gonna leave here and then cut major hair, and then I'm gonna step back out because they want to see me. Oh, it's dead! It's dead. It ain't nothing like what it was earlier. Yeah, we need to walk to the other spot. I'm 
Saturday, Medora is like a club. Yeah, I've been to Medora on yeah. Saturday. My chick's up there with a bottle girl. Oh, uh, I, I got a bit Oh, you still looking at the at the you still looking at the camera? Oh, that's not what it was. Uh, yeah, the check. So what was Africa like? I love that. I still got on my Kenya bracelet. Kenya is a spot. I've been wearing this for eight months straight. Yeah, I haven't taken it off one time, but Kenya, yeah. Kenya, Kenya was Magusi. Huh? Magusi. Magusi. What's that? Uh, I had that in Ghana. The fubu, the fubu with the green. I had that in Ghana. I ate a bush rat too. I ate a, I ate a rat in uh, Peru, a guinea pig. I don't know. Did you see that photo I posted? It was on my story. It was the rat. It was the entire rat. It was like that big. It tastes exactly how it looked too. Slimy, salty. Yeah. But they say it was high in protein. Uh, can I can I can I, I cash up you because they don't take the tap pay. The the tap the tap pay. Can I cash up you because they don't they don't take the tap pay. Oh, my mom said the area, she's watching the live stream too. We got Polo with us right here, mom. <laughs> hey, two reps. Oh, let me cash up him real quick. Hey, you guys, they love me. She said, hey, Polo. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. Oh, you wouldn't? <laughs> you wouldn't say that? Yeah, let's keep it simple. They, they, uh, they said, my mom said, hey. Hey, mom. Yeah. Uh, is still in uh, Columbia? He in Medellin, too. I couldn't do Medellin long term. I could be there for a it's couple really days. Different than what it used to be. Yeah, I could be there for a couple days, but now we will walk around. There's some chicks following us around. I couldn't do that. You met a scholar yet? Not in person, but I got his number. I know him. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right, you guys. We're gonna walk to the other spot, and then after that, we're gonna go back to the crib. So, oh, just don't look at me. Like, hey. Huh? Yeah. Hello. Well, why why do you look like that? Oh, well, I, I saw you looked at each other a, a couple of times. Two, 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 two or three times. What's your name? Stephanie. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You, uh, you have an uh, Instagram? Yes, I have Instagram. Why everybody get, why everybody get quiet? Oh, yeah, now I'm just wondering why everybody got quiet. No, I'm not going to mess up his hair, though. No, no, you gotta. I'm on a, a live. You gotta. Oh, what, you, oh, what am I doing? What are you on me? Record something? No, 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 no. I'm saying I can't. I can't scan it. Oh. <laughs> Were you scared for me to come over here? No. My heart don't pump no Kool Aid. What'd you say? My heart don't pump no Kool Aid. Oh, your heart don't pump. What's that supposed to mean? Don't pump no what does that mean, That's though? Old school from yeah, I'm not old school. Yeah, I'm new school. That mean I'm not afraid. I'm not no, afraid. I'm not afraid of you either. Okay. <laughs> oh, I heard that. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. 
Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. you guys. Now we better go to the next spot. So, uh, Then next thing I know, he's like gone. I was telling him about how he's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna yeah. leave. And then next thing I know, it was the same thing for me. It's like, oh, I'm gone, gone, gone for real. I got I'm my passport gone. on a Wednesday. I was going for like two weeks on a Friday. Yeah, man. Out of there, bro. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, it's different. Very different world. You gotta beat him away with a stick when you dress up on the scene. Well, you guys, that was another cougar. Oh, somebody was hitting on you up in there? The second cougar for the day. Oh, okay. Which one? The one that was in the corner. What does she have on? Uh, blue, blue jean shirt and some red lipstick. Okay. <laughs> you like my old Red lipstick. The, the, I need some guaranteed action. That's <laughs> I know, I know. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop at this one spot, and then uh, we're gonna go over there. If not, I can always cut his hair at six a.m. But no, nah, I'll be over there before that. This, yeah, that's new. That spot wasn't there. I actually, I remember that not being nothing. Oh, we got two more cougars up in there. Lava Catina is a spot, yeah, yeah, right now. Yeah, that is like popping. You know? But I mean, it's more like outside. It's not yeah. Like I think on Sundays they do uh, all white parties. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what it was when I was there on a Sunday. I stay at the, uh, the Grand State. Okay, okay. So yeah, yeah, man, I'm always up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always. That's my that, uh, go to uh, Legacy West. Yeah. That's yep. I was telling him about the Grandscape. He probably was gone before it started to get built up. Yeah. Yeah, Addison is. Yeah, Addison the chain. Oh, we were just talking about that, man. Everybody Addison pushed up north. Yeah. Austin, everybody went to north. I think playing. It, it's been happening where at first it was North Dallas, then it went to Addison. Mm -hmm. Now it's Plano. Yeah, I don't even fuck with Deep Ellum. You catch a straight oh, bullet there. I, yeah, yeah, I went yeah, to Deep Ellum Friday and I was like, eh, news. no, it wasn't my crowd. Yeah. Deep Ellum, it's not what it do. It's dead in here, too. Damn. <laughs> but normally doing like football. Usually, season, yeah. Yeah. When the games is going, people are out here. But with this off season, it's, it's really dead. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's it's like eight people in there. <laughs> Very silent. Yeah. You already went to Vidora? I was at Vidora or uh Vidora fuck Vidora. Vidora earlier. Yeah. You try to speak another language. I was at Vidora. <laughs> Yeah, she said my heart don't pump no Kool-Aid with the Debo voice. She did have that Debo voice. <laughs> All right, so now what? I got to cut my little brother ears real quick. Okay. And then I'm coming back out. Now, if you go out, you probably have to step out to like a club or something. Yeah. Because you ain't gonna find no bars, it's just jumping. Yeah. Not on this Sunday. Lava Catina, are you going to Lava Catina? I mean, I live right there. So oh, okay. okay. Pull up to it. And I'm you like, going back home? Yeah, which is right up I mean, there. You working there. tonight? You know, I'm like uh, Alan Crisco. What, what okay, club okay. are you working at tonight? Yeah, that's something like right up there. Theory? Yeah. Okay, I might come up there. You said it's called Nowhere? Where's it at? Okay. All right. Well, yeah, I'll probably be in theory. Yeah, theory is like a uh, theory in Uptown. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. I didn't like theory like that. That's like that place where they try to charge me five hundred dollars for I mean, a table and all that. Oh, 
Yeah, he, said, he said, y'all good people. I'm about to slide, though. Yes, sir, man. Good to meet you, man. Be safe. Always. Good to see you again. Always, we, we will meet in the daytime. Uh, it'll be three weeks. Three weeks from now, so. Yeah, we'll hang out. Yeah, we, we got to hang out during the daytime. Yeah. You know, you got to catch your bedtime. So, uh, right now, I'm, I'm going to go back. Yeah, $500 for a table. In Dallas, it's $500 for a table. Now, that's a culture shock for me because in, in Brazil, you can get a table. Like two two bottles of alcohol yeah. Yeah. and and five Red Bulls for sixty dollars. Yeah, no, that's dead up here. You shit, it's gonna the bottle of alcohol gonna be more than it's gonna be six hundred dollars yeah. down here. Yeah. <laughs> no, but if we do do theory, I mean it won't. You know, connects up there. What's up with that though? Like the same bottle of alcohol, yeah. it's the same do. bottle though. That's it's not like it's their version of that. It's the same brand. You talking about it? Huh? Talk, uh, you want to go in there? What does she look like? She, I give her like a seven. Oh shit! Knee gave out. Okay. Yeah, it's straight. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, let me use the, let me use the bathroom real quick. Yes, I am. Yes, yes, I am. She's like, oh, he's on live. American women love the live stream. the video okay yo 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 thank oh you. don't we love the people they want to be in the video so much thank you so much we got it we got her over here oh it's her it's her birthday today it's her birthday oh she want to take a she want to take the picture okay we'll take the picture right. i be forgetting All right, let me get out of here before they figure out who I really am. Uh, he said, I see why Austin left Dallas. You want to live out here? Yeah, I'm gonna come my uh, brother here. It'd be probably like an hour. 
And then if you want to meet at Lava Cantina, yeah. So maybe like. Yo, you gotta hit me on WhatsApp though. Oh yeah, you got the American number too. Yeah. What is it, the plus? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna scope it out so it's make sure it's worth your time even coming out. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. Sir. Okay. All right. All right, man. I'll see you in a minute. Let me know how it is. Hey, you guys. They said he hanging with busters. <laughs> Y'all are funny. Latinas also go find that. A place we going to, uh, Lava Catina, it's not going to be Latinas there. It's going to be uh, black. Well, at least when I was there last time, that shit was 100% black. Like a hundred, it wasn't a white person or a Latina in there or Asian, just black folks. So that's what that was looking like. Very, what you mean, AA? Where are you from, AA? Black folks need love too. They sure do. I'm gonna give them some love. <laughs> Glory is is a nice spot to hit up over here too, but as ghetto as this shit and God, I don't think it's when I was here in 2020, 2021, early 2022, it was better. It was more diverse. All right, it was more prettier. You had a selection, you had Asian chicks, white chicks, Latina chicks. Now Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with black folks, but you know, it's kind of ghetto now. Then ghetto don't mean just black, because we was in Kenya, and that, that wasn't ghetto. He said all black women is born. Not in Kenya. <laughs> Not in Kenya. When they come through in the wintertime with them, they be having them red trench coats on, super thick ass thighs, walking with one, one heel in front of the other. Oh, you'll forget about that all black is born quick. You you'll forget about that. Oh, all black. Nah, Kenya is where is that? You like black girls? You go to Kenya. You go you you go to Kenya. It's a wrap. I was stuck. Floyd was the only reason I got up out of there. Floyd was like, "Let's go to Romania." I, I wasn't gonna turn it down. Hold on, let me put on my GPS. Hold on. Yeah, if you like, I'm telling you, you like black girls, Cali, Colombia, Salvador, Bahia, uh, Chile. No, I wouldn't tell you to go to Chile for black. They there, but I wouldn't tell you to go there for that. Uh, Salvador, Bahia, Cali, Colombia, Cartagena, Colombia, and Kenya, Nairobi, Kenya, only Nairobi, 
I mean, you can go to other cities, but I'm telling you, Nairobi, can you? Uh, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, Uganda. Now, if you want to see some super thick damn jeans about to explode in any minute, the Uganda is the spot. If you want them light skinned, super thick, fucking beautiful ones, go to uh, Rwanda. Only thing about it is you got to spend some time there because they're not outside. You can't find, I mean, you can't find, you got to find them online or you got to have a, a friend circle, which that means you're going to have to date one at a time. You can't just walk down the street and find them. Now, Roby and Dar es Salaam, you just got to walk down the street. donkey bus yeah that that is what it's like i remember i was in uh what what's the name of that mall in uh kampala i was in that the main mall that everybody goes to. i was in that one and i was like yo what the fuck how everybody got ass like this now this shit is crazy don't stream and drive i ain't turning it off i'm just not gonna read the, uh, the chat like that Thanks for your concern, though. Now, they got them legs, too. In Uganda, they got the legs and, I mean, they got the tight, naturally, no gym. They get no gym needed. They got the legs and the tight waist and the ass. Titties, too. I mean, titties, too. Fuck it. They got the titties, too. I need my women in the gym. I need my women in the gym too. That's why I like Latin America because you can find black chicks that's in the gym. Beautiful and they got the abdominals. <laughs> they got they got the tone to their body is what I'm trying to say. But Brazil's black women are unfucking defeat, undefeated. If you ask me, best black women on the planet, Brazil. Brazil's where it's at for any chick. I mean, they even got fucking Japanese Brazilians. White girls with uh, gin gingerhead Brazilians. Black Brazilians. Mestizas. All of them over there. It's crazy. African women got the best. I will say African women do get... When we talk about in the bedroom, yeah. Africa is 
fucking undefeated. Yeah, it's kind of hard, man. When you've been to Brazil, Kenya, uh, Brazil and Kenya, it's kind of hard to decide if you're looking for the black chicks. Like, Brazil got, I don't know, man. But Kenya, it would be the easiest because they don't they speak English. So it would be easier to communicate with them there. It would be easier to get along with them there. Versus Brazil, you're pretty much going to have to learn Portuguese. You're going to have to. Like, you're going to have to. Unless if you want the chicks, that's for everybody. Because the ones that know English, they you're not the first gringo they fucking with. Even if they tell you. Because I had a chick try to tell me. Like, oh, no, I've never been a gringo. Bitch, you live in Rio. Like, all the gringos come here and you know English fluently. Come on, I'm not falling for that. Africa passport, bro. Free lady is talking shit. Thank you, Joe uh, Baden, for the two hour super chat. Yeah, she gonna keep doing it. Gonna go to Japan. live eight hours
believe it. We still in love. I, it's easy to do these live streams this long. Because it's just me going. Major. I'm ready for your haircut. Yep. <laughs> Where we couldn't you hear it? Where we couldn't you hear it? Okay, so I have this sale. This kind of matches the 
I feel a part of the family. I need a drink. Oh, thanks. I'm glad y'all are enjoying the live streams. No, because I'm just going to put, I'm going to put like, like, Spray yours with WD-40. Now I got a uh, Andes Clipper oil. A cold water? I've been going for two, three hours. No, you, you just didn't come here to get water out here. Major issues. 
Mamãe, que não saquei no diabo, bruxa. Eu não sei se 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 You gonna twist his hair? Uh, I think he gonna sponge it. He said he gonna sponge it. Oh, okay. He gonna sponge it for tomorrow, and I'll probably twist it if he wants me to. That it took me almost how long, man? It took about an hour to take your hair down. Hour thirty. Yeah. It took a minute. He just to get his hair down. I know he is, and he has so much danger to the point where his scalp is sore. They said they feel like they're a part of the family now. No. Oh, you're you're a subscriber. Yeah, one of them uh, messaged me and said, you know, that basically, you're a natural on camera. You should start your own channel, like doing cooking or doing something. And if I need help, let them know. So, like, I've been watching you a lot. Yeah, man, that's going to be, that's going to, oh, my God. You're going to look like a million man. His hair so thick, that's why I told him I twist it. It'll be real nice. I can just find it. Your head feel better, don't it? I know it do. Boy. Those are the ones I got. Huh? What? What? Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, um, I'm not going to lie, I don't pay him. So I like to try to go out. My goal is for me to be up at 4 30, but that's probably I don't think it's going to happen. Maybe.
42 years old, an ex-soldier who had previously worked in military intelligence. He looked like he was uh, quite scared, especially for his age. He was 41 when I met him, and he was an activist. He had said that he could bench press about 400 pounds, and he worked out rigorously. In fact, he had a diet that was commensurate to, to keeping a very, very strong build and a very small amount of body fat. Ron Hoff lived alone in a small studio apartment in the suburbs of Newark, Delaware. Few people even knew he was there. We called Ron and his friends. You know, he's a neighbor. Um, you know, we got this, you know, little neighbor who talks with the mailbox, whatnot. Ron was uh, kind of disturbed by the neighbor making too much noise in the apartment with the loud music. He would get down to the basement and show the room and he'd send the cow up to the apartment. And that was usually, you know, stop the Friday and Saturday night parties. Ron Hoff would let nothing distract him from this obsessive daily routine. Yeah, we get the same parents. He divided his time between his home and his work at a car lot in downtown Newark. This looked like the type of guy that lived a very comfortable, relaxed life, not a conformist at all society, but more of a guy that just lived life the way he wanted to live life. He was quick to smile and quick to, to joke or be friendly, but Ron would not initiate conversations with people much the, the way the next person would. He, um, he kept himself. How are you doing? Oh, that bad. Have a little friend with the house there. Huff didn't easily let others into his life, but his neighbor, Jeff Wilbonner, was one of the few who came to understand that Huff's passion wasn't people, but animals. We got the mailboxes, and he was mentioning that he had a collection of lizards, and wanted to know if you know, I was interested in seeing them, and I went down there thinking that you know, these lizards would be small and in cages, and in fact they were you know, six, seven feet long and had the free reign of the apartment. Ron Huff had converted his whole studio apartment into a giant music As a healthy temperature for a Missouri state degrees, Huff had heated up his home to benefit his pets. Who the hell would have their apartment 80 degrees? Do you know how hot that is? Inside? Outside is not hot, but inside? When your skills exceed your tools, thank you very much. Okay. Ron Hoff had 
made a decision on how he was going to live his life. He would have told himself to his work, his body, and his beloved animals. One day, we spent the bikes to come to work at 9 o'clock in the night, and we didn't receive a phone call by 20 at night. We figured, well, possibly, you know, he's, he's ill and knew that he didn't have a phone. So the rest of the day, we went by and we had never heard from him at all. Following day, we sent an employee into his apartment to see if Ron was okay to check on Ron. It had been three days since the colleagues and family had heard from Ron Hop. Such behavior was completely out of character for such a conscientious man. The next day, his family called concerned because they also had not heard from him. So we called the police. His officer was carrying on to the front. They immediately noticed that there were what appeared to be large uh, lizards roaming about inside of the park. At first, the police saw Hop's lizards.
Major, his lizards ate him alive. They shot him. Why the hell would he just keep him around? He had no control of him. It's a pretty harrowing experience for the officers at first because primarily they didn't know what killed this individual. They didn't know if, if there was something inside, some sort of exotic animal that was responsible for it. We're not trained as far as business and knowing which ones are poisonous, which ones can hurt you, which ones are non threatening. So it made a very difficult mission uh, to conduct the investigation. But as we got closer and the evidence technicians began to take the photographs, and uh, look at him and examine the body a little bit closer, we realized that um, part of his facial uh, region had been consumed. There was a lot of uh, injury to his soft tissue, his hands, uh, his shoulder. Jeff Wildonger, one of Hawk's two friends, found himself face to face with his neighbor. You know, the coroner and medical examiner were working on that, and the door opened. It was such a graphic scene in my mind that I just felt like I had to try to get it out of my mind. So I just scribbled down a sketch of kind of what I had just been burned in my mind that day. His face was completely missing. You could see his, his molars up by his ears. His entire upper torso was just black from dry blood. His internal organs were bursting brown. It was a horrific scene. Due to decomposition, studs only. The other injuries that his body sustained, we were not able to get a clear picture of what he looked like. When I was able to obtain a photograph of him, I realized that he was an individual that frequented the same workout. The one thing that makes it a little bit more difficult is while I wasn't in front of this, I knew it. But the police were only just beginning to discover who Ron Hawk really was. How much am I charging for this haircut? Uh, I ain't charging him nothing for my brother, but I still gotta figure out my set price. I'm not charging the same price I was before. Uh, I didn't keep my business because I wouldn't cut hair full time again. There seems to be some characteristics shared by a lot of these long-time animals of certainly knowing awful lot of the animals in the wild, and there seems to be a compulsive aspect to only. He said 500, you get right. Also identifying themselves with the animals, but they but often the animals seem to take over for the person's personality and be their kind of public persona um, to the outside world, and that without that animal, the person no longer seems to feel like they have a legitimate place in society. In many ways, Ron Hoff's obsession with reptiles was not unique. Here at Cincinnati Zoo, the former head of reptiles understands that he and all those who work with these creatures are different. My colleagues that I've worked with over the years, we are all unconventional. He didn't cut his dreads, though. Were those extensions you had in your head? Mm -hmm. Oh, he had extensions, apparently. I didn't even know. Introverted, but at the same time, gregarious. We want to talk about the things that we're interested in, but we don't want to talk about anything else. You I was testing the look. Huh? Yeah. I was testing the look. Or hungry, or cats, or any man. Those relationships are very different. We have emotional attachments to these animals. And they tend to view them as more as individuals. So it's as if he said never again. 
when you work with a large collection of reptiles, you may have six or seven hundred in a collection. Never again. You tend to view them as a species. You're interested in them. Never again. What? Not an individual. For a zoo professional, they have so many reptiles in their care is normal. But an individual having an overwhelming number of pets can be an indication of a psychological condition known as boredom. Okay. 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 Often the lack of resources and funds lead people to keep animals in their hats or in their backyard and their living space comes up anywhere. We can go to Austin, you guys, if you, if you guys donate. Go to Austin for four days if you guys donate. There's a moth right there, man. Just a little bit. I thought about that, uh, want to be mystic, but no.
never spoken, but he told us many things. That he used to allow me to hate me, but he stored up. And occasionally, your right foot gets hit. That's, that's crazy. Look, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's super that's strong. Mm -hmm. He may just fall off the ceiling here in a minute. <laughs> That's crazy that he still that he survived the day. That's why I say he got to die. If he can survive the day, I'll be told him to sleep. Because wherever the light, like when I turn the light on in the kitchen, that's not a good experience. Tonight, like you know how we keep the light on in the kitchen at night? We just get hustled. He's going to gravitate. Like, no, he ain't going to go. Interesting.
His baby hairs. Talking about his mustache. Okay. You just did one side. Hmm? One side of his uh, mustache. Yeah, bro. That's not true. I like it. Yeah, it's not Eyebrows. I just clean them up because maybe the eyebrows grow wild. So he's got to be trimmed down, otherwise it looks like a bush. He looks like a different person. Oh, hell no. See, no, the door got to stay closed. I see a bug over here. Where? Oh, it's over here. I have an awesome spray here because I can't reach it. And this one over here acts like he's not going to die. He is a straight up savage. This is what you do, this is your world. Then it's like when I'm on the stage, I got a piece of meat. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not I don't like Thank you. 
Thank you guys. Thank you guys.
to wipe my clippers off for the alcohol. I need to go buy some more disinfectant. I got some alcohol. You need some alcohol? No, I, I got it ready. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> John just be talking, don't he? Huh? Talking about this dude in the comments. Somebody. I'm just talking. He said, oh, great nephew, you, you learned from the best, which was me. I don't even know this guy. <laughs> Thank you, Butterfly Angel. Let me hit up what's his name, see where he at. Like, yeah, my fault for not answering your texts and Lines in there, and every time Lisa do, she messes, she don't cut it. She don't cut it right. She like two of them next to each other. One here, and then one of them. One in the middle, straight. Side. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, whenever Lisa does it, she always like. I don't know. She messes it up. So he's not knowing. I think Sam should take a step back. And Egypt, first and foremost, apologize to Brianna. Sorry for punching. Mm -hmm. You know you're wrong for that. What's going on from here on out? I'm going to take care of the relationship that I've got. Uh, well, Egypt, Sam, I have nothing for her. What is she doing, Sam? Did she need to stand here? I think it will. Yeah, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. What if kids are right Damn. Now? What? No. What? Let me see. What? Oh. what? Let me All see. Right, I, I gotta go <laughs> Come here, Austin. Let me see, Major. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with it? <laughs> Major. Huh? Let me see. What's wrong with it? You said make them far apart. Let me see. We all understand how to do stuff. So we did from the college stuff, which you educate people, which is smart. Uh, we come out that way. Come on, let's see. I think it looks good. I really think it's good. I will tell you, Austin fucked you up. But he didn't. I think it looks good. Like, look, literally. You know, that look like what you asked for. You said one in the middle. You said one in the middle. You make it slanted, and then you said leave a little space and then do another one. <laughs> okay, so I think it looks good. I think it looks really good. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking too. Huh? <laughs> he said he got that Adidas line. He said that's fresh, bro. Like, look, it looks good. I did ask for it. You right? You don't like it? I think that you just not you you have, you're not. It's used not used to it. Yeah. You're not used to it. Anytime something is new, it's gonna be like. <laughs> Someone said you lying. <laughs> He said, yeah, mama's lying to you. I'm not lying. It does look good. Like, well, I think it looks unique. It looks good. I really think it looks good. Well, if you get bullied tomorrow, we'll know it doesn't look good. It's not going to, he ain't going to get no bully. If Travis walk around here with his hair looking like a piece of carpet stuck to his head, uh, it looks good. You know why? So wrong. I said, 
not lying. They're going to ask you some food, son, because the truth will be told. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. It does look good. He said, damn. <laughs> because that's what he likes, those little parts. He does like those little parts like that. So, I mean. He said, he said, he said what? Angela and Roman. They need to sit down and talk it out. I'm trying to see what they put in. He said, you look fine with it. It'll be. Yo, Austin, one of your, the, one of your moderators said you messed it up, Austin, but it'll grow back. No, damn, he said, wait, let me see. You messed up the eyebrow, Austin. <laughs> I think it looks good, though. I really do. I, I, and I'm not just bullshitting y'all. Like, I really think it looks good. Let's see. He's only needed one line. <laughs> he only needed one line. But you wanted two. You asked for two. He did exactly what you asked him to do. <laughs> Somebody said Travis has carpet hair. Because <laughs> I said that. But he, it's just the way he just plucks at it. He just plucks at his hair like it's like, I don't know. Yeah, Alright, I gotta get ready for bed so I can get up and go to the gym in the morning. I wanna be at the gym, baby, by 6.30. Damn. Damn. No, I don't wanna be on the camera actually right now, but, I mean, they are in my house, so... These motherfucking bugs, Austin, make sure that you keep the damn door because I can't deal with this shit. Look, there's another one, Clyde, right there. Hell no. Hold up. Motherfucking bugs gotta go. I can't deal with that shit. All right. All right, y'all gonna go do your thing. Mom, they just talking about Travis. They didn't have a taco meat. <laughs> he actually has very nice hair, though. Did you look at his hair? He has good hair. And he just need a good haircut. His personality. How much good. for a house call? Huh? They, they said, how much for a house call? She charged him up. $100. Get that back, though. That's what Diamond charged me. She charged me $100. She charged whatever she charged to braid my hair, and she also charged me an extra hundred just to come. So that's what it's about. That's I mean. I, oh, and a hundred on Yeah, I, I bring my enhancements too, though. Yeah, but diamond. Whenever I get my hair braided, uh, literally, I pay for the cost of the braids plus another hundred dollars plus I tip her. So. Yeah, they are being thirsty. I see that. Huh? Talking to the camera. Dallas does the shag and the, the south side, yeah. You're coming to Austin and we're going to spoil the fuck out of you. Oh, thank you. Who said, who, who is that? Are you, are you, what? I can't tell, are you white or black? I'm not gonna judge you, I'm just asking because I can't tell through your photo. Uh 
in a serious amount of trouble for this. He said the 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 spot closed at eleven. Who was Neon Eyes? Yeah, there's a lot of action in Austin. Neon eyes. If you really, if you really about to spoil me, you gotta f follow me on Instagram. We can set up the spoiling you're talking about. Yeah, we, the place I want to go to, the dude said that it closes at eleven. It's ten o four. Oh yeah, I've been to Austin. I used to have a barbershop in Austin too. You gotta follow my Instagram so we can set up the uh, the spoiling you're talking about. We can go around. I just gotta figure out where is it. At. She playing. My Instagram is Austin Holloman. Soft guy here? No. Is Legacy West still open late? Yeah, I seen the soft guy era. You know, you Yeah, Austin, uh, if I was to go back, I would stay over there by the domain. That was my favorite area to be at. It was very peaceful there last time I was there. Yeah, she should be DMing me if that's what she really want to do. Are you going to eat any more pizza? Over 1,000 lives have been saved by the Look, here's another motherfucker. Austin, come here. Two, push down. 
What door open? Look, Austin, can you spray his ass right quick? Here. I need to spray the buggy. Well, kill him then, shit. You want him on your ass tonight? And then there's another one over there. The door got to stay closed above the blinds. I notice everything. Because I, I don't do bugs. I don't do nothing dirty. I can't do it. I can spot a bug from a mouth away. <laughs> I can. That spray got my eyes burning, but hell no, he got to go. I was gonna pick up the whole roll. No, your ass country doing that. Because a life saved is priced. Say 20% of your order with a life Then he had to make a noise behind me. How do you feel behind the... Oh, my God. Mm. Okay, Austin. And then get this one right here, then. Here, right here. Is it the camera? What? Okay. No. How do you feel behind it? Behind it. Okay, man, get this, Austin, get this one right here. Y'all gonna have to start initiating y'all bottles of water because it's sitting in the rain and bottles of water. Right there, Austin, get his ass because we don't, the thing is, I don't want to cry. Ooh! Okay, well, don't have the towel with you. How long is this located? into the garage so you guys we gotta figure out If you if you really trying to spoil me, you gotta get on the Instagram. Yeah, Dallas spots do close early, 2 a.m. It's better than uh, Bolivia, Paraguay, Uruguay, Argentina, and those four countries, cities, and those cities I went to, people don't get to the club until two a uh, midnight, one two a.m. and they'll be out until six a.m. I can't do that. I'm okay with. It's staying open till three or four o'clock, but y'all don't get there until two. It's too late. Yeah, yeah, and I'm glad you you like watching the love. I don't like strip clubs, man. I really don't. And the ones around here are way too fucking ghetto. Like, you you feel like you're going to get into a fight over there. Let me check my Instagram. Yeah, she ain't hit up my IG yet. Seem to be 
tension between Doe and Allen. But no solid clues emerged. And news stations picked up the story. Yeah, she wants to set up a fake Instagram. And you can sleep in my room, you can sleep in Major's bed, you can sleep on the air mattress wherever you want to sleep and you have too many options. Yeah, I'll be going in three weeks. Yeah, I'm almost at 97. I need 3,000 more subs. Shit. But if my homeboy ain't trying to go out, I'm just going to stay inside. Dallas really isn't. Dallas is a, a daytime Sunday spot. Cause where else would I go out tonight anyway? Duplicate the same formula from Latin America cigars. Cold approach, tender swipe, dates. All we gotta do in that list is tender swipes and dates. Uh, tender swipes in Dallas are gonna be a waste of time. Like, even before I got my tender rate, that, uh, day naps didn't really work, and now that I got it right, it still doesn't work. Like, my shit is pretty much, I might as well not even have it. But dates, we that'll be easy. No Amigas for Austin tonight, then, from Benjamin. I'm, uh, thank you for the two hour super chat. This is the Dr. Alley Kit Bar Detox. This is your spring delivery. The Home free delivery on over 2 million items. Fast and day delivery from our store to your door. It's spring delivered your way. Yeah, I got a feeling it's gonna be dry if I go out. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't get married at this age. But we approached, what, 15 chicks, 15. We did three or four in Knox Henderson, three, I think, at the mall, like four or five in Addison, two, three at the cigar bar. Yeah, it wasn't a bad day. It was actually good. Now, here's the thing. Let's see how many of them we hear back from. <laughs> That's what we really got to talk about. We can sit around and get numbers and, and, and all that. Oh, my, my, my heart don't bleed Kool-Aid bullshit. We could talk about that. <laughs> but what about the follow-up? Because it's when I was in the states, I used to complain about this too. Like, oh, we had a good, we had a good day. I got a lot of numbers. Be dry as hell the rest of the week. So, let's we'll, let's see if we talk. Let, let's wait for the follow up. I'm just putting out anything here. And like I was telling y'all about the first cougar. Thank you about the first cougar from earlier. Uh, that was like, oh, I love you. When I told her I was from Brazil, she's like, oh, I love you. I messaged her. She didn't even text me back, bro. That is what. That's why. That's why I told y'all earlier. If I wasn't on the live stream and I wasn't walking around, I would have just got her on the spot and be like, "Oh, well, take me. Which where are you? Where where are you going? Let me go with you." I would have just rolled with her. Cause I know how they are. All that talking. 
not gonna not gonna hear back from her. Now I'm telling you, in Latin America, you you listen. We approach fifteen chicks. I'm at least going on one date today, and if not one, if not only one today, it'd be one today and one uh, tomorrow. You you gonna get you gonna get you gonna get dates when you do it. But over here, bro, you do all that shit. Yeah, they want to see what dating in America is like, so we're going to do it here, too. But, uh, man, that fucking follow-up rate is damn near Z. I'm telling you, the dating strategy for Dallas is you have to be free to, to take them straight home. Because once you get their number, I don't give it. I've had some chicks super interested. Oh, laughing and smiling and giggling and don't hear back from them. Should have got him on the spot. Cause they got I guess the competition is so high. The competition is so by uh high, it's like she gonna forget about you in an hour. Or something something is different. I don't know what it is, but something is happening. Where they so you my best thing been to get him on the spot. <laughs> it's very weird. Hundred dollars L K L A K Y and shit. Sometimes I can't smash you on the spot. Like today, like I'm work. I was I met you while I was working. Got to smash him on the spot. Got to. That's your only option. The man is supposed to follow up. I text him. Ashley celebrated her honeymoon. Along with over Yeah. Staff. I'm telling you, but in, in Latin America you can you can get them and, and they'll still be you can i I'm telling you, you can you can even talk to them and wait. A week later to go on a date. But you gotta, you over here, you gotta go for it. You gotta own the spot. Chase a little or we, or we look desperate. Well, since y'all think that way, that's I'm taking my ass back to Latin America. Why the hell would I chase you and you're not even gonna text me back? I already approached you. I already flirted with you. You was already telling me you love me <laughs> and then you want me to chase you some more what the fuck what about you put it do your part text me back <laughs> what the fuck bruh like what that shit is dead <laughs> you might as well stay in at this point and just chill with the chat yeah even after the club, same thing. Got to smash same. I'm telling you, I'm telling. What if you donate five hundred dollars? What about it? Yeah, cause uh, you have too many options. I do now. Yeah. He said the they love the chase only to reject you, and that happens too. You can't win, cause you be like, oh, you know, something be like, text her again, text her again. Don't text back, or they'll, they'll they'll go on a date with you, and then when you're on a date, you're like, hold on, is she still interested in me? She her whole energy different now. So yeah. Uh -uh. Yeah, the shit is the shit is crazy, bro. It is what it is. I mean, we just doing research. She said it's just almost a day she'll get in touch. See, that's my uh, that's my culture shock, right? Cause Colombian chick that I met that I was fooling with right before I came back here. 
I met her at the gym. She left the gym. I didn't notice until about 10 minutes after she left. Text her. Boom, boom, okay, let's meet later. You free at 9.30 tonight? Okay, let's meet. Hit her up again around 8.30. She said, actually, I'm ready right now. Let's meet now, because if I go back home, I'm not going to come back out. Same day, date. I hung out for four or five hours. She came back to the crib. It's there's no it's there's no com, there's no comparing this shit, bro. This shit is completely different. Ooh, it's different. Ooh, it's different. Fast doesn't always mean good. It's better than nothing. <laughs> it's either fast or it's nothing. Like he said, that's because they know you're exclusive. I mean, not because we can't say that about whenever I was um, in Kenya, an all black country, plenty of Nigerians with way more money coming through this, tricking on them girls, plenty of it's dudes all from all, all over Africa with a bunch of money spending. I mean, these dudes are spending money on those chicks. You still can bump into a chick. What you doing later? Okay, let's go. Uh, Let's go shoot pool later. Later that day, you'll be on a date. Just about. You know, so. Versus here is like, man, you talking about, you literally would have to approach 30, 40 chicks in a day to not be dry for the day. Like you'd have to approach 30, 40 to have that probability of one that's gonna meet with you. But maybe, maybe it'd be better in a different city. Uh, in Austin, I know I got. Now, I, again, Austin is better. I went, I went there for Austin on my birthday. I got there on a Friday, smashed them Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Shit, damn near Monday too, but no. Um. The thing is, I told the chicks it was my birthday, so I was telling, I was, I was leveraging that shit, like, oh, you know, it's my birthday, so they would kind of snap into a different mode, like, okay, you know, I'm gonna give him something for his birthday. But I wonder if it wasn't my birthday, would they have said that? The right ones will come. Well, here's the thing, that sounds like I got to get into a relationship. I'm only here for three. I ain't trying to get into a relationship. The right ones. We trying to have fun. But uh, man, even I'm just, it's just different, bro. I was in uh, Bolivia ten days. What the third day I bumped, in, second or third, the second day I bumped into a chick. Met her at work. Later that day, she was like, yeah, yeah, I can meet you. I can meet, like, the interest was high. Yeah, I can meet you. I can meet you after work. We went to a speakeasy, hung out. And it, that one, you know, the, the shit is, it's, it's not comparable, bro. And it's not that they have too many options. What the hell was that? That was that bug from earlier. Uh, it's not that they have too many options. It's because uh, in Nairobi, they got plenty of options. I mean, again, the chicks in the the the, the better experience with the Nairobi chicks is they'll go on a date with you quick, but they got so many other dudes they dealing with, you can't get them to hang around. So they'll come to your house, sleep with you. First thing in the morning, they go, and they'll come back and sleep with you again. But you ain't they ain't gonna hang around you for two. That they got other shit that they doing, which is hey, that there's a con to that. <laughs> But it's better than nothing. Damn. I'm wondering, was they just teasing me today with all that laughing and giggling? And let me open up my Instagram, and my other phone. <sighs> Cause you, it, you'll sit back and you'll be like, "What was all that shit for again? What was that?" I'm telling guys, no, your only solution is to smash them on the spot. If you can't fuck them immediately, you're not fucking. <laughs> and 
my entire life when I was living in Dallas, that's pretty much what it was like. If I go down my roster of chicks I slept with, I had to, I had, I had to fuck them within the first couple hours of meeting them. I think there was one chick that I met one night and then we went on a date the next night. But that shit was rare. Like, <laughs> that shit didn't happen. So, I mean, I guess it's good if you're thinking like, oh, you can get some immediately, but you got to think about how would you have to go through to get that. Yes, I'll take the Arab mattress. No, I saw it. I saw it. Guys, we got the mummy cigar. This is one that comes wrapped in a tobacco leaf, which all cigars are wrapped in tobacco leaf, but this is a whole leaf. And you, uh, it smells like a damn reptile cage, but you take it out. You can smoke this leaf too. I've smoked the leaf. No big deal. It's nothing. It's just cool, but it's nothing like I'm not gonna buy the cigar to smoke the leaf that's wrapped in. Then it's a regular cigar in there. So. So I cut that too deep, but it's too late. How do you know you cut too far? Cause you'll, well, number one, I heard it snap. Like the cigar sound like I punctured it. When really you're just supposed to cut short enough to where the cap, cause the cigar has a cap where the mouthpiece is at. And you're just supposed to cut it where that cap looks like it's coming off. So, but yeah, man, the, 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 the dating scene in Dallas is instant. Oh, let me mother phone. Right. Paraguay balcony vibes, yeah. Hey, I miss Paraguay, man. I miss my boring place. All you can hear is birds. Make sure that, like, the door, so wherever you put the party in, 
make sure that door is locked, and okay. make sure that the other door is locked. I always lock every single door. Okay. And if you want to, I, I, if you want to bring the gun back in, I mean, it's up to you. Oh. Just, just make sure the doors are locked. Okay. This is why I use a lighter. I would have been done lighting it. Okay, so we're gonna go on Bumble. Oh, I got an Amber Alert. It's been two years since I seen an Amber Alert. Okay. Some girl followed me. Gotta be American. No, I've never smoked cigarettes, no. She in a DMV, ain't even no point. Isn't she a type? No. Yeah, man. I've been getting hella followers on Instagram, man. I think that'll be at 100K for my damn YouTube. So the girl from the restaurant, she says, good. I was like, how are you? She says, good, but people are writing me. They are sending in my inbox asking what I said about foreigners and have tagged me, untagged me on TikTok. Oh, and they've tagged me on TikTok. She said, I can have problems. I'm about to say, what problems? So, let's see.
Yeah, the hostess. Yeah, Bumble out here is like trash, bro. These date naps out here are fucking trash. Going out and approaching is like decent. Like it's not, it doesn't feel as bad as it was when I first was here, but it's like, I've been exposed to South America. Like otherwise years ago, I would have been like, oh, I had such a good day. Problems with her husband, that shit got a hand, yeah. Her life shouldn't be ruined, though, you know. The, the, the interview was innocent. Like, there was no flirting in the interview. Look at how many likes I got on Bumble. Zero. How many chicks do I want to smash in my lifetime? No number. I'm at a point now where the chicks have to be a good quality of chick. Like, I, I want to be proud. I slept with them. Like, this is on Tinder, right? Good fucking luck. Like, that's a nice one. Good luck. Motherfuckers don't even message back. That's in Peru. Never mind. Those will, you can do something with that. But let's go to Dallas. Smashing that right. Dallas. Like, I could put my shit on a booth, right? I ain't trying to pay for that shit, man. Because I know it should be a... That's a really good looking white girl. That's because she got that oil on there. Really good looking. Like, let's see if it matters, though. It's like Jason said, you forget how, you know, people tell me, oh, Austin, you grew your beard out. You're an influencer. Bro, that shit don't mean shit. It helps, but obviously not helping enough. I ain't craving white women. I'm craving... I'm craving women who want me. You saw I approached some black girls today. Most of them weren't that cute. Really, I didn't like none of them black chicks I approached. I mean, except for the cougars, but... I mean... The young chicks, no. Like, you notice how the chicks talk to you with no motive here? Like, the Nigerian chick I approached? And she was looking at me, so I talked to her. I got her IG and shit. Her WhatsApp, I mean. She never texts me. Like, none of those chicks I've met today have messaged me back. <laughs> that shit is fucking crazy. Like, at least you don't, you're not going to win with 100% of the women you approach overseas either, but damn, at least they send you one message back. They ain't send me shit. Bruh. Like, y'all remember the first chick I approached and she was about to run away because she was running? I'm like, oh, you, why are you running from me? She ain't even. <laughs> Damn. Bruh. Like, they, they're, they're, when they, when you're talking to them, they're not talking to see you again. They're just talking to you because you're talking to them. Like, they're not interested. 
Like, look at this one. She looks really good in the gym. I'll tell you what I'm going to do tomorrow. If I see that chick at the gym that I saw today at the gym tomorrow, I'm just going to, if she's, if she's, if she entertains me when I talk to her, I'm just going to walk her back to the car and tell her to take me home with her. That's, that's what I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. Like, because if I can already see if you don't do that, like, bro, this shit, this shit is just practice. It's just practice. And you're just going to be practicing, practicing, practicing for nothing. At this point, I'm telling you, just give me the illegal immigrants because they're not Americanized yet. Damn, they got some bad white chicks in this area. What's creepy? What's creepy? He said, living your whole life with women. No, I got shit to do. But we're not going to make it seem like I'm not supposed to have a libido. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is how I ended up smashing fat chicks. Because you go for the, the attractive chicks and, like, the shit goes nowhere. The big chicks, yeah, you, you can fuck them. But you're going to fuck up your confidence, too. Like, what is going on? They got some bad white chicks over here in Plano, though. That's all I'm seeing is white girls. And so for dudes that are living in Dallas, and you're like, like, oh, I only want to date black girls. Good fucking luck. You're only going to date black girls and all, and all races of women are doing this bullshit? So you're gonna know your you're gonna know your selection down to one race when everybody on some bullshit. You might as well get bullshitted by all of them. You got a better shot. Why did you take the Dutch girl for dinner in Chile? Cause she was interested. I'm not only dealing with white girls. He said women don't bother with players too many too much of a headache and stress. You can't be a player if ain't nobody hitting you back. <laughs> but no, I'm not I'm not stressful for no woman. How am I gonna stress them out? I got other shit I'm doing. I can't stress them out. Now if they expect something that I didn't promise them, maybe yeah, but I ain't promising nobody shit. This shit crazy though, man. Shit crazy. At this point, I need to go to, a, if you wanna have sex, you just need to show up to a swingers party and be willing to fuck a dude's wife in front of him. Which I don't wanna do that either, but I could, I could see staying here long enough your ass will get comfortable enough to do it. I could actually see how dudes could resort to three, four hundred dollar pay for play in somewhere like Dallas. Because if you think about, look, look, look at this live stream. We live for almost six hundred minutes. That's ten hours, right? For 10 hours, granted, I, in between driving, let's subtract, and my, cut my little brother's hair, let's subtract three and a half hours. So six and a half hours we just spent outside. And I ain't got shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. 
Bro, do you know I would go to the damn mall. I would go anywhere in one of those other countries. Six and a half hours, I'm in some I'm guaranteed I'm in some I'm in somebody guts. And it ain't even about getting guts, it's just about getting the data. Damn, give me something. I mean, damn. I can't believe I uh, again I see how I went crazy. I see how. I'm gonna just have to lower my standards a little bit and just go for some, some more average looking chicks. I gotta broaden my horizons. I can see that. Got to. Cause I, I've been in South America. I only been wanting the beautiful chicks. But shit, coming back, shit, you better open them options up. He said it's harder to pull women when you're streaming, don't have a wingman. Bullshit. I done pulled women on streams in South America and went on dates with them later on. That's bullshit. It's the it's, it's the culture of where we're at. And for dudes that be in the comments, I don't know what you talking about. Uh, I've been smashing chicks in Dallas. Let's see what they look like. And if they look good, tell me if you paid for it. Why the fuck would my mom lock the door? Hold on. That door was locked. Oh, sorry. Huh? We just used to lock the door. I'm sorry. It's alright, it's alright. Is my screen frozen? It's fucking going live on uh, directly through the YouTube app can be annoying. Hold on. There we go. Finally, shit. So we got a five dollar super chat from. Uh, window seats only i got a lot of respect for you seeing your family side y'all seem like cool genuine people thank you very much for the five dollars super chat yes i appreciate it yes, we are some cool people thank you Gonna have to open up our options, man, and go for some less attractive chicks. Cause we gotta, we can't, we can't leave Dallas with. I mean, I don't mind leaving Dallas with nothing. That's if I didn't try. Now, if I'm trying, I need to see some sort of return, man. Shit. Got a match. Let's see what she looked like. So this is a match that we just got. She looks big. I'm not even going to show y'all that. Let's see if she missed me first. I'm going to ask her to go to her Instagram. But she ain't got no full body shots. So she probably big. And I'd be damned if I'm going to the gym and I got to deal with a big girl. I got a damn six pack. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I 
I'm telling you, you can see why there's so many issues. Especially if a guy like me is having issues. I done been all around the damn world. And then been with women in every goddamn culture. Hell, we were even in Romania, a damn 99% white country. And uh, the chicks were willing to walk around with me, walk around with me in public, knowing that the dudes are probably going to be looking at him sideways. Still getting action over there. This shit diverse over here. I just gotta like it and then they unlike me. Yeah, this shit is some bullshit. They just notified me, said I gotta like it and they said that something changed. Yeah. I mean, damn, man. I don't get it. Yeah, Romania is like that. Yeah, if you, cause it's it's you guys seen the vlogs. It's all white. Like if you're black, they're gonna look at you because you don't. There's no way to blend in because there's too many white people. Like you're not blending in. That's impossible. But uh, the chicks there still would entertain you in front of everybody. I still have a Discord. Uh, I'm telling you, the, the more research we're doing, the more we can see why the simps exist. Like I could, if I had, I ain't gonna lie to you. If I had, a, if I was making five, six grand a week, I probably would just start leveraging that. Like, hey, look, look, I ain't got time. You're not texting back. Hey, I'm gonna send you $400, just pull up. Pull up. I'm gonna send you $400. Cause it, it's, this is crazy. I can see how dudes, I can, I can see it. We got a new match. Let's see, this is from a black girl, it looks like. 23 miles away, so she's not close. Uh, she got her she, her pronouns. Black Lives Matter. Mental health awareness self-care she's a phone caller she likes touch and she's in college let's shoot her a message they said red flags hey at this point can't even worry about the red i mean when you ain't got no green flags coming through you can't worry about the red flags He said, you're supposed to be a high-value man. Don't fuck anything. Hey, we just doing research, man. Don't let it kill your confidence. It's not. But you better believe as soon as I get back to Paraguay, I'm going to spend that whole first day just approaching. Just to get my shit back. Just to get my... Just to get my 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 mojo back. I ain't lost it, but I'm just saying getting back in that loop. Shit. Yeah, the pronouns are kind of a turn off because it's like, you know, like she finna be just, you're probably gonna be debating about fucking hormone blockers or something stupid like that.
like I couldn't imagine uh, being Brazilian, a Brazilian man, and then coming here and trying to and trying to. But I'm pretty sure they only go to Brazilian circles and they date within those circles because I don't see them just jumping in the mix. So that's what I need to do is figure out where the Brazilian circles are at, where the Latin, you know, the, the Spanish speaking Latin, where, where can I go where there are only those people there? No Americans, just the foreigners. some water real quick actually I think I might get some wine and take y'all with me actually and this is why I do this research because hey I can help some men that's living in the states figure out what they need to do because not everybody can travel so you got to figure out what you got to do while you're here because this is crazy. Yep, this is crazy. Yeah, wine turning into supper. See what's gonna happen. He said she could have told me she was cooking. He's stuck on using Bumble and Tinder for some reason. I tried to use a uh, hinge, but for, it's like even though I'm using a new email, it still goes back and it's like, oh, use this phone number, 6454. I'm like, I don't have access to that number anymore. Hold on. 
bowl was way too hot. I mean, we could try hinge again. While we're on live, but. <sighs> Another 12 hour live stream. Jason Henry said, $25 for thanks for the entertainment. I'm glad you guys find it entertaining. Thank you. Black and cheeps, cheespa. Let's try that. Let's try the cheespa. Do y'all remember, remember how big those girls were at the cigar bar? <laughs> that shit was crazy. I mean, it wasn't one chick that looked like in there that looked like she hit a gym. Not one chick in there looked like she had ever been to a gym. And the thing is, I want to get some dates so I can get some Patreon content or we can even get, uh, you know, some live footage or a vlog. But damn. I just told that Colombian chick earlier that I said, I'm coming back to Peru. I might as well go back over there and tie the knot with her. So go back over there and tighten up. Man, those girls were big. Woman from your mother's generation kept hating, held uh, waiting, held the range. Yeah, but those chicks that were in there, they were, those chicks were like in the forties, and they were well overweight. This live will be going until I finish this cigar. Maybe, who knows? I might just max it out of the 12 hours. Hold on. Are you serious? Hold on. God damn.
So this app ain't sending me a code. She is crazy. So that cheese play app ain't working. You for real been streaming for 12 hours. What have you been doing? So basically, I'm gonna have to cut this live uh, up into certain portions. told me to email the, the support team. I emailed them. They never got back. That was like five days ago. This is why I've only been using Bumble and Tinder. Let's see. They sent another code to this one. Facebook dating is actually a good one. I met a chick in uh, Plano off Facebook dating. I need to use that whenever I get back to Latin America. I forgot about Facebook dating. Facebook dating seemed the chicks on I hear Facebook dating is instant too. Thank you for the two dollar super chat, Mikhail. Yeah. So Hinge is not working. I might try a different phone number. Their email, their support doesn't email back. lost a bunch of yeah we lost like 300 people what the hell that's fine though try my new number. Let's see if that works. Oh, um, you just sent me a message on WhatsApp. I uh yeah the, the, I was I was paused looking on the uh, the thing. So let's try him. Let's see if I get a message. Okay, I didn't get a message. Yeah, let me get my other. Let me get my other number. Hey, 
I might just have to use my little brother's number in a minute. Nah, I wouldn't do that. At this point, I would say dating in Zambia is better. Okay, I just got a number. Hold on. Eight, two, two. Eight two two nine two six. Okay, yes, that number went through. So we can sign up for Hinge. Now I gotta check my email. I'm gonna have to pause this again, hold on. Fucking finally. Shit. I had to lock the phone and unlock it. Because you can't close the YouTube app because it won't let you back in the live. Okay. So. Let's do this. Okay. Thank God it's only 1122. What are your pronouns? He. But don't make that visible in my profile. I don't need nobody trying to. The thing I like about Hinge is you can nail it down by race too. What type of relationship are you looking for? What is your intention? Life partner, long term, short term, open along. Let's do that. How tall are you? Ethnicity, black. Don't have children. Want children, but don't make that visible. I should put my hometown is in Brazil.
Where do you work? Influencer. Yeah. Where did you go to school? Highest level. Okay, now let's put some photos in. If you feel like this is lame, stop watching. We're setting up a hinge profile. Okay. Let's go to my camera roll. Let's get some photos. This one, this one, this one, uh, this, okay, we're gonna do this, okay. Miss Jefferson, don't come in here trolling me. Tell my where is my black queen. Good question. We approached some today. Oh, wow. It just deleted all the photos, so we gotta do it again. Okay, this one, this one, this one, this one, and that one. And that one. It takes a week to get past scammers. Well, luckily I'm here three weeks because that, that's bullshit, though. Dating in America. Upscans, ups, up scan send a dollar super chat. Thank you very much. If you guys are enjoying the show, hit it for the one dollar cash app. We're, we're smoking the Oscar Leaf cigar and it's getting really, really good. Select a prompt. Dating me is like, uh, damn, what does my other app say? Dating me is like Oh, maybe my Tinder isn't working too much because it's in Spanish. I need to switch that. But I haven't been really using Tinder out here, so uh Let me see what I put on Bumble. Giving from back 
Okay, put that one. Another prompt. Dating me is like, okay, put this one. Break this. And another one. Let's see, date vibes. The best way to ask me out is. I'm gonna do like the freelancers in Thailand. We do massages. Personal, two truths and a lie. Ooh, this cigar is hitting. Subscribe to go on twice as many dates. Fuck it. One month is $50. Or one month is $30. We'll do $30. Let's see. Jesus. All this to get some pussy, man. <laughs> I guess it's cheaper than all the gas I burned today and drinks I bought. Well, I didn't buy any drinks, but. This is the first chick that popped up. She's pretty. This is Hinge. Uh, here's another one. He said, I can't rock with that. Why? Let's narrow it down to race. Let's see what the black chicks look like. Where the hell are the filters at? Get verified. Yeah, let's do that. Maximum distance 100 miles. Are you kidding me? 20 miles. You guys know I've been charging this phone all day on this battery pack I got, and I've only used like 70%. Of the uh, thirty percent of the charger. Let's do twenty one to forty. We gotta we gotta we gotta open up our options. He said, you might as well watch porn. No. But I could see it getting to that point because it was at that point when I was here last. All right, 
This is a black chick. Now she looks cute. Very attractive. Here goes another one. So this is probably the best app to find the black girls. Because the other ones, you can't narrow it down by race. And then. Love W said. Five dollars for much love, awesome streams on point. Thank you very much. I'm gonna keep doing these streams. What if I told you that I don't want to fuck you? Is what her bio says. That's one of her prompts. <sighs> It's, I really like this one. No, they're not. They, these aren't average looking black chicks. For America, this is like pretty. Like she's like a solid nine right here. This, these are the, the best black chicks on the date naps I've seen. In America. He said nine is crazy. It, an American nine. A Texas nine. In Texas, in Dallas, that's a nine. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. So if y'all are in Dallas, use Hinge. <laughs> this one chick says... Her bio says, impress me, humor me. And then she put her IG. So we're not going to expect nothing from this one, but I'm going to send her a like anyway. Hey, Austin, are you and your dad at the same height from uh, Love W? $5. Thank you on the cash app. Yes. I'm actually two inches taller than him, I think. Now, this is a pretty, this, she's very pretty. I give her a nine. I send her a rose. You mean to tell me I paid $30 and they, they only gave me one rose? A rose is like a super light. She's ghetto as hell, no. That's another one. Hey, now if I could date one of these chicks, why is her thing say she's black? I mean, she could be mixed, but shit, the white is overtaking the black if she is mixed. She does not look black. But, hey, she might put that because she might want some black guys. So, fuck it, we're going to give her a like, too. And here goes another one. This is what I was looking for today, like these type of chicks. Couldn't find them. But if, I, if we can get them on a date nap, it's just fine. I'll just, you save money anyway by not having to drive around. So 
a little skinny chick. She's cute too, though. He said they look like OnlyFans girls. That's fine. Ass on her, boy. Her face is like, eh, it's not ugly, but it's alright. Do they compete with women overseas? No. They would be an option. Like, if I saw them in Africa, they'd be an option. Not in Latin America. She's not black and she's fake. Look at that bottom picture. Shit's too perfect. I'll like her because I'll, I'll just see if I can video chat her to see if she's fake. Hold on, I should have went back on her. Now she got a little extra weight on her, but I'd still smash. No, I would not. Never mind. I saw another angle. She's cute. She looks like she could be bisexual. It's a really good cigar. Y'all know I love them afros. She got a nice afro on her. We gonna like about 50 black chicks. We only gonna do black chicks today. And if don't none of them motherfuckers work out, then we gonna switch races. <laughs> so this chick says... <sighs> She's convinced that we're in a simulation. Interesting conversation she'll probably have. She probably thinks that there's an evil scientist controlling all this. Uh, this chick is a no-go. Don't tell me we ran out of black chicks. Okay, I was about to say. She's not black. She's bad. Right? Like her. Now these will be easier to date because they're black, but I ain't when we get on a date all that playing and joking and shit, I ain't trying to do all that. And I, I joke when I'm on a date, but I ain't, you know, the way how they joke, you'll be like, all right, bro, we finna wrap this date up. You, you, you playing too much in the wrong way. This is a white chick. She's not black, but motherfucker fine. They got some back-to-back -back baddies. So Hinge, I do remember in Dallas, Hinge had the best looking girls. Because I had some dudes that uh, would come in my barber chair and they would show me dates they were going on off hinge. <sighs> She's beautiful.
She's beautiful, too. She's not black, but she look good. Dr. Durden, you being too crucial. You gotta lower your standards. They bad to me. Now look at them thighs she got on her, boy. We got to get straight to the point. She got that as her first picture. We got to get straight to the point. She ain't as cute, but I'm still going to like her. Chick, she bad as fuck. <sighs> While I'm in the States, I'm going to cancel my other memberships. Cause that Bumble and that, that damn Tinder ain't doing nothing out here. This damn cigar falling apart. I would smoke another one, but it's already late. That's one thing I do like about Hinge. You can null it down by race, so it makes it easier to find exactly what you're looking for. Boy, she got an ass on her. That's another picture of her. Hey, if they wearing filters or not, fuck it. I'm trying to get a date, man. Shit. Fucking cigar is done. Okay. Uh, why were these chicks not outside? Like, we drove all around town. Burned like $30 worth of gas. Now that, and she's pretty. She look kind of mixed too. Damn dog look fake. Two truths and a lie. I was born in East Africa. I'm the youngest of five girls and I ran into Billy Eilish. She's definitely from East Africa. Looking at that picture, she's definitely from East Africa.
She's right. I like that. She's looking for a long term relationship. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay, look at this one. Yeah, Hinge is where it's at. They're going to have to uh, sponsor me. Now, her outfit is kind of sluttish, but she looks good. This right here, she needed to delete that photo. She got on way too much makeup. She looked like one of those indigenous Peruvians. That one's cute. Ah, uh, shit, man. I'm gonna swipe on her because she got an afro. We might get some Patreon content off a of hinge. Yeah, my charge is about down to 50%, but man, I could literally charge this phone on this battery like eight times. That shit has been charging nonstop all day. That's the reason why I can do a 12 hour stream. Cause that other battery pack I have, Two charges is done. The shit would have been six hours. This is a blurry picture, but this is uh this is good. Yeah, Hinge and <laughs> Hinge and Dallas is good, yeah. That is makeup. The majority, like, she's the type of chick, if you go on a date with her, she'll fuck up your shirt. That was one thing I complained about when I first got on TikTok. Was going on dates, and then they would fuck up your shirt. I don't know if y'all remember that video of me sitting in the car and I was like, I like my shirts. I like my nice clothes. Y'all fuck up my clothes with all that makeup. She's right. We done liked about 30 chicks already. So I should have some matches in the morning. What battery pack is this? Uh, I bought it in Peru. It's a, uh, 
I don't know, but I spent, what, 60 or 70 dollars on it. When I was in Ghana, there was one dude, he had a battery pack that was like that wide, and like, it's not some shit you could put in your pocket. It was, it was made for somebody that's live streaming that's carrying around a laptop. That shit could power the whole system. Like, you could probably charge your phone on that shit probably 20 times or more. She's all right. At least these chicks are fully dressed. Like you said, Anonymous, they're fully dressed. She's skinny, but she can get it. You fuck a skinny chick, you gotta take a pill. You bitches could take some dick. <laughs> this is a white chick. She look good. <laughs> She's all right. If she matches and her game is right, I, I, I'd take her out. But that's not really my cup of tea. She's cute too. Yeah, skinny chicks, if you, chicks with the biggest asses be like, stop, stop, wait. It's another white chick. I'm glad I got a second phone. Makes this all possible. She look good too. But yeah, skinny girls, uh, you gotta really have your A game to sleep with a skinny girl. We gotta match, let's see. Get this one. Oh, look who liked me. I don't like her at all. Okay, so I didn't get a match. Okay. This dark skinned chick, she's cute. You know who she looks like? She looks like Marlo. <laughs> she looks like Marlo from Ghana. She looks really good. It's that orange dress. Motherfucker fitting like a glove. She says, I like, I go crazy for cologne or hygiene, Hispanics and classy men with respect. Yet, you, all your photos are in the mirror working at the fucking DFW airport and you have on the sluttiest outfit for your first photo. Are you kidding me? I'm a classy guy with a lot of respect. I would not take you out. And she talking about Hispanics. You better open up your options. This looks like a mixed chick. She needs to open up her options. She ain't limited to Hispanics. Cause not too many Hispanics gonna date outside their race. What you looking like that? Where are you planning to be for your birthday uh, on May 16th? I don't know yet. I know for a fact I will at bare minimum be in Paraguay 
Paraguay is not a place to celebrate your birthday. Unless if you're like me where you don't plan on doing nothing. I don't have any plan. I don't plan for my birthday. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, I don't know though. Thought about going to Turkey. I don't know. She looks kind of young. Says she's 22. When Floyd set the tender to Omaha a few streams ago, it, it got me wanting to go to Nebraska to see the talent of snow bunnies. They got some out there. And if I go on a date, I'm going to wear the same outfit. Tasha match with you. So this girl match with me. He said, hit her up in 12 hours. <laughs> nah, I'm going to hit her up right now. And if she don't like it, I'm unmatching her ass. Tell me, I'm from Brazil. Look at them hips she got on her though. Mm -mm -mm. She got all her her face covered in a lot of her photos. That's a red flag. Brianna, you just want some attention. I'm looking at you in the chat. He said those hips are from Legos. It looks like it, yeah. The African roots are strong in her blood. You can see that. Got that one. He said that gap, though. Yeah, she did have that gap. This one's straight too, but we not going to have a good time together, I can tell you. I'm still going to send her a like, though. That's not my type of chick. We really up reviewing women. Oh, that's what we do on this side. We didn't did plenty. We didn't scan around the world on Tinder and Hinge just to see. And we we went we did it for uh we did Tinder in Greece. Every Greek ch damn it was just like this, but in Greece, damn near every chick was a goddamn nine. Like it was, I was like, yeah, that's unbelievable. It was unbelievable how many bad chicks there were.
she got them eyes like that uh, hostess out there in what you call it in Peru. She looked like she could be mixed though. She not that cute in the face, but now with her body, she can still get it. Look like her shit stink. <laughs> So that one chick matched with me. Let me see. She hit me back. No. She not my type of chick, but I, I smash her too, though. <clears throat> He said all cats are gray in the dark. You right about that? Like that one. It's funny how everybody's agree, uh, responding to every chick I put up. Okay, she can get fucked. For sure. <laughs> oh, that's funny. This one too. This one too. He said a head doctor. Yeah, Anton, you know we do the 12 hour live streams over here, man. She got a booger in her nose, but she cute. This one nice too. They got some bad chicks on the hinge, man. They really do. This one nice. I take her out. I like her hair. I seen this one on Bumble. Yeah, I, I narrow my results down to black. Now they look good, but we gotta see what they act like too though. She makes herself look like a fun girl.
All right, we got to run out of black chicks. I'm tired of swiping on them. They look good, but we got to... We need to come to a conclusion. Good stream, still thinking about next stop. Yes. Thank you for the $2 super chat and get it all. Get it all, yeah. This one right here. Latinas would be a good one to switch to. Asians, they... They would be good, but... said Latinas party too much. They do. She was the baddest one. I disagree. Now this one is a nice. She looks like she would have a good personality. Slide to Europe for your birthday. Better weather now from Proud. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's. I'm really thinking about that Greece or Turkey. <laughs> this girl really put in her bio that she was self-centered. No. Because that means she's not going to give me no pussy. Yeah, some chicks really do think it is a good thing. Like, oh, I'm I'm very self-centered. Like, no, you're automatically disqualified. Because I know how to date is, but I've been on dates with self-centered chicks. And you can't get a word in. They don't ask you questions about yourself. She has nice teeth. All right, looks like we might be running out of pretty girls. She's straight. Yeah, Jeff, you know I'm still alive. You know I'm a... Uh, you know what we're going to do. We're going to stay alive. If we were on kick, I would stay... Actually, I need to double stream at the same time so when YouTube gets to 12 hours, I can just... Uh, Swap. So this girl speaks Spanish. She says she wants to learn English this year. It's a white chick. Put a one in the chat if we should do the Latinas.
This one is cute too. Okay, let's switch to that team. Hold on. Hold on. Got this one. Look at them titties on her, boy. Okay, let me go to Latinas before I keep swiping. Because I got a lot of beautiful chicks, so I keep swiping. But let me go to Latinas. God damn, boy, they be fine. Look at her body on this one. Shit. I think the black chicks I might have sent, like, what, 40, 50 likes? One thing about the Latinas in the States, though, they can look fake at times. Like, when they come here, it's like they, they can do too much. But this one's cute. She's cute. So far, the black chicks got them beat. I think we need to stick to Latin America for Lat Latinas. I'm only in the States three weeks, man. Hmm. He said go back to black. That's what I'm thinking too. They're not, they're, the Latinas are not impressing me as much. Yeah, they're not. I think we might have to go back to black. I think the Latinas might, yeah, let's go back to black. The, the Latinas, they're some good looking ones, but they're not doing the black ones. Like, You said keep going on the Latinas. Yeah, you're right. We need to do an even number because we're doing research. We got to see what works. We did a lot of black chicks, so we'll be fine. The Latinas are not, no. They're just, I'm telling you, when they get over here, they start to switch. They don't look the same. The ones in Latin America will have you forgetting about black women.
Like, these are the best photos. I think the black girls just got better outfits and photos. Yeah, he said OD on plastic surgery and uh, makeup. They do, yeah, because they do it in Latin America. But for the most part, they'll just get, like, their breasts done, and then they'll get their tummy. They get excess fat taken out their tummy. But they're not doing as much like here I mean they'll have the lips the nose the breast the stomach their ass and it'll be like shit it looks like a damn trans almost or they they look so perfect you kind of don't even want to approach them because like they don't look realistic anymore but in Latin America they do yeah we're getting a lot of no's from the Latinas I think we should just stick with the black girls He said, yeah, something's going to fall off. The Latinas on the app are like, okay. Like, no. Like the girl in Peru at the hostess, she has a lot of them beat. Then again, she was mixed with black, she said. Yeah, no. No, they're not, no. They all look like Miami girls, you know what I mean? Like they don't, they look like materialistic, superficial. I'm too perfect, you know. Yeah, we're getting a lot of no's in the comments. I'm, I'm saying no too, you know. These aren't the same Latinas I was meeting in South America, it's not. It's just not. She got some legs on her. She got her face covered. I mean, she got this. But... This shit way better than Tinder, though. I'll tell you that. Yeah, most of these Latinas are probably going to be from Mexico. But Mexico got some... Bro, Mexico got some better chicks. I just seen some fine-ass Mexicans. But I'm not seeing them. Hinge. Damn. Yeah, you got to think about it. These Latinas aren't as attractive and they're a different race, so it's going to be harder to date them because you got to take that into account.
She's pretty. We got another like from somebody. I think we've seen some better, like, no, yeah, no. So let's see some Becky's and then go back to the black one. She's pretty. I mean, basically, these are Becky's. Like, they're the white Latinas. They're just not Anglo-Saxon. So they're... But let's do the white girls. Okay, so she might not be happy. This girl says she's white and she definitely is mixed with black. She has curly hair. She has black features. It's not a white girl. <laughs> it's not. It's not a white girl. Okay, we got this one. Yeah, she said she put on her thing, she's white, she's not white. I geek out on tats and straight teeth. I got both of those. That's what she said. I don't know, that girl, she didn't seem too white though. She had curly, she just had African roots in her features. Got a two dollar super chat from Dr. Umar Johnson. Excuse me, where are your loyalty to the community? <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Hey, we started with the black. Now this is a good one. She looks crazy as hell. But look at this one. He said flat back. Yeah, that other one did have a flat back. But I just got back from Peru, so that don't bother me too much. Because they got plenty of flat backs over there.
Yeah, it looks like on Hinge, man, the black girls are kind of undefeated. Like, they have back-to-back eights and nines. She got them blue eyes. That one's a go. <laughs> he said Austin searching in a good credit section. Yo, them white folks gonna have some good credit. I sent it you to 3,000 lashes from Dr. Umar. Thank you for the two other super chat. Honestly, if it wasn't for you guys wanting to switch, I think I would stay on black. Now she looks real good. That's her first photo. She in the gym. Them sexy black girls we were seeing, they should have been at that cigar lounge we was at earlier. But they weren't. He said, also remember what happened to Jonathan Majors. Now this one is bad. I mean, her first picture is good. Her, her, one of her last pictures is good. This is her first picture. He said, black girls don't go to cigar lounge. It was plenty of them in there, just wasn't the ones we wanted. She got a dude. I don't know why chicks put dudes in their profile. They need to put their swingers if they're gonna do that. Now I'm assuming she's the one on the in the white. She got a few black features in her. Like she looks like she's mixed. (sighs) 
<sighs> Put a one in the chat if the black chicks was the best. They were. We gave it a fair shot. We could do the Asian girls too. We could do them too. They too specific with these Asians. It says South Asian, Southeast Asian. Bro, just put Asian. We're not gonna know it down that much. So this is not the Asian we're looking for. This is more of an Indian. And she's not pretty either. Okay, maybe we do need to put it on Southeast Asian. Because she don't look too Asian. She look more white. She's Asian though, but she got more... Now she's bad. Yeah, the dark skin Asians are bad as fuck. I love those. The ones that got the brown, brown skin. Oh yeah, we got it on both Asians. This is an Indian. Yeah, you're right. Asian could be Middle Eastern, Indian, Paki. That's right. Those are all considered Asian. The girl I was with in Bolivia looked like her. <laughs> <laughs> 